is if you put the pistol to him and say, Point blank. That's a fact. That's a fact. Give me that shit, right? Yep. And Point snatch blank. off a nigga. You feel me? That's but the only chain, way. You feel me? But like, we don't respect the chain hitting the flow. We don't respect the cat burglars, You're man. Thieving that. <laughs> You're a thief. You're not a robber. You're a thief. Nah, that's crazy, man. It's unrespectable. Yeah, hey, it's a couple yo, of people here. Wait, wait. My son T fucks like this? Oh, yeah. That's a fact. Nigga, mouth is crazy. Pause. Bro, I didn't even know. He's nuts. Bro, listen. But bro, listen, bro. Listen, like this right here is the saddest story in hip hop history. <laughs> bro, he, bro, he could have been a hundred million dollar nigga like, oh. like Gillian Waller, right? Listen, not because he was talented, because because he was yeah. first. He's got the market. You feel me? Now he, I'm gonna tell you why he wouldn't been a hundred million dollar nigga. <laughs> yeah. nigga. He already sold his rights like a cheap. Oh whore. man, he to sold to, his rights like a cheap whore. To Chris Morrow or the Combat Jack, right? Because like, Ay, probably Combat Jack and. I don't know. Tell I, main, I right? always say fuck Combat Jack because he started to treat hate. I don't care if he's dead. Damn. I don't, I don't care. What are you going to do to me? <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? You can't, well, he, you can't really do nothing right um, now. Him, right? the family, the people <laughs> yeah. who love him, they go, oh, Choi, yeah, you fucked up. Nigga, if you, if, to me, he's like a, uh, he's like the niggas at the U.S. to go kill because they fund terrorism. No. What? That's a fact. Like, <laughs> he get, you give a hater a platform. Oh, nigga, yeah. Fuck oh, yeah, true. Right, yeah. Because, because like, he signed... Like Tech Stone, right? He put him on to the podcast again. No, not sure. Yo, yo. Poppy, man, come on, man. Yo, you you were beefing with Poppy too, bro? I wasn't. I'm never beefing with these <laughs> niggas. No, he's just, he's just a nigga <laughs> with things to say. But I don't, niggas that get fucked by other men <laughs> should have nothing to say to me. Yo, listen, hey. He's be careful, a, though, bro. For me, because Asan said, bro, I cried at night. I cried at night because they ain't let me kill them niggas. Uh, yeah, listen. If you cry cause they cause they ain't let you kill niggas, bro, I wanna be with you. <laughs> but you got that's also the same <laughs> man. He's the same man that say you let African Ben Bada come on his thighs. Come, so nah, it's like, nah, hell no, he say that, bro. It's a fact. Uh, nah, hell no, he say oh, that. Oh, where you been? Nah, hell no, 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 no. Y'all nah, know what's going on nah, East Coast. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, hell no, he say that, bro. Listen. Oh, I need the rest of the I need the rest of the crew here. Listen. That's what's going on East Coast. He claimed I, I that's know why he, he was mad. He was mad at Cassie for getting money because he I'm fucked the rap nigga and didn't get paid. No. He, I'm that clip. Bro. He too was in a freak off, but he didn't get paid for it. <laughs> Wait, he let a nigga come on his thighs at like 14 years old? Uh, yeah, I think he, no, he was 16. He was consensual. At 16. <laughs> Chloe, Chloe, can you charge me up, please? It's consensual. No, hell no, nah, man. He, he said it, he said it, nigga, nigga. He said a nigga told him, yo, <laughs> when you, to get strong, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta beat off and be like tense like this, and then that would make you strong. And in the gym together, he said yeah. that's how you get strong. You, you work out and then you beat off right there in front of a man. Yeah, yeah. And that's he was told. doing it. At, nah, of course he was doing it. Fucking retards. Listen, he was with I, it. I understand, like, like, like convincing like a nine year old of some bush like that, bro. But, but like, you convincing a sixteen year old? Yeah, but the beach did come on that, bro. Like, that's not. No, not that's not even the worst part. He, yeah. he convinced him to have man sex with him and to come on his thighs. Like, the, that's not. <laughs> The beating the dick is, that's the least of the... Of the Gotta uh, hear that clip first, man. Come on. Yeah, bro. It's a fact, though. Oh, the black thumb is spoken. All right, come on. Let's do it. I didn't even know we was live. I didn't get my charcuterie and all that. You see, we have a fine spread here at the fact, though, show. We uh we sip champagne and Yo, we listen. have charcuterie. Yo, and, listen. When I walked in, man. Yeah. Listen, like, for y'all who has never been here, right? Mm -hmm. The room atmosphere just screamed opulence. A little different. Right? Opulence, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Hey, I'm not even talking about, like, the setup. I'm talking about, like, the atmosphere, right? That's absolutely. Like, the dance, cool warmth. Again, nigga, you ever experienced cool warmth as, as air? Like, like, bro, this air is just different, right? Right. I walked in, man, bro. Troy Avis in the wolfiest coat I done, I done ever seen. No, man. And listen. I just keep it first, warm. I'm just trying to keep warm. No, fair, listen. And the first thing I told Troy Av was, hey, bro, I'm not humble. I'm just broke. Meaning, right? Listen, right? L like, when I dress humble for niggas, yeah. I'm not a humble nigga, Troy. Right, right. You feel me? I'm just broke. Broke. <laughs> but, hey, don't get him. Don't get it fucked up, my nigga. First chance you get? <laughs> first first I get, bro, you niggas gonna feel it. As you should. Look, they, they supposed to. They supposed to. That's a fact, though. Man, and then, come on, man. And then what I, said, what I said to you. Listen. What I said to you. Listen. Troy said, bro, I'm gonna get you this coat. It's a fact, though. Listen, I'm gonna get you one of these. It's, and guess what? Them coats is custom made. You ain't gonna see another nigga. It's only one other nigga. That's my man, and he got his shit custom made. Yeah. That's what we do. We do custom made shit. Huh? Troy, but listen, though, but like when I'm violating these niggas in them coats, 
Yeah, as you oh, should. They gonna say, bro, Troy, bro, like, what have you done? Nigga, it's Frankenstein, nigga. This is what it is. That's fact. That's, look, it's called the fruits of the labor. Mm -hmm. Like, when niggas tell you be humble and shit like that, well, nah. it's usually a hater. That, oh. That's a way to hate. Oh, be Troy. humble. Listen, Troy. They don't, got, I, what I was gonna say yeah. is, they don't see the hours that you put in. Of course. They don't see the work. They don't see the time you was in the gym. Yeah. So when Michael Jordan stand up and holds up six rings, oh, be humble, you're back, nigga. Mm -hmm. I work for this. Blood, sweat, and tears. Nigga, I see you do a lot of work, nigga, consistently. Of course. You don't care if that shit getting fucking 10 likes or, or, or uh, a thousand. Uh, yeah, facts. It's, but I mean, it's the consistency. Yeah, of course. Not true. Listen, like, speaking of that, right, like, the, like, the only person who don't really, like, Acknowledge you being cocky, or or like hate on you for 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 like feeling yourself is is like a, a hater, right? Mm -hmm. There was a snaggletooth sissy called Tackstone, right? Yeah, Ratstone. His name is Ratstone. Sorry. Yeah, a snaggle, a, movie, yeah. A, a snaggletooth sissy called Ratstone, right? That's right. I did a deep dive, right? Because I was truly trying to understand the psyche of this hater, right? Absolutely. So I was it's watching. important to understand the psyche of a hater Fact. because it prevent other haters in history. Of course. But it's very difficult if you're not a hater. Of course. It's like trying to understand why a man would prefer to be with uh, other men than women. Mm -hmm. We don't do that, so we wouldn't understand it. It's no going to be very difficult. No facts, right? But listen, so I'm watching like this interview, right? Mm -hmm. Bro, and I heard something my ears like could like could like cannot even like comprehend. Like, bro, I heard something that I'm like, wait, hold up now, bro. Like, niggas think like this. This man said, "Yo, I'd hate Troy Av because he thinks too highly of himself." <laughs> I hate Troy Av. <laughs> well, I can't round of applause because I never even heard that part. Bro, he said, "I hate Troy Av because he thinks too highly of himself." How dare he say he bringing New York back? How dare he say he are restoring the feeling? I said, bro, you hate the man because he's confident in himself? Yeah. Bruh. Now, like, again, like, and I that's, always that's thought, right, that, like, that was a myth, right? Shit. That's some absurd shit to, to right, say. That's absurd. But, yeah. but listen, though. But, like, is he felt comfortable saying that publicly because he felt as if, yo, being a hater was, listen, like, this nigga, like, whole, like, like, vibranium, mitochondria, which is filled with hate and bitch-assness. Absolutely. That he was comfortable saying it publicly because he truly thought that that was some flash shit to say. Oh, I hate that nigga because he feels too good about himself. And, and and also, he truly thought that it was a safe space because there was other, he was in a community of haters. Who? And then you have people from, gave him platform, like Speak Combat who? Jack. You know, it's a fact of show here. Yeah. We're dealing facts. I don't, yeah. I don't spare or sparse names with niggas. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't even care. What are they going to mm -hmm. do? Nothing. But anyway, niggas who gave them platforms, it's like you, they get around and they huddle and they start saying things. And, and they start out as, uh, you got to never confuse love for dick riding. It's always, mm -hmm. it's very different. You know what I'm saying? Sucks. So when these niggas get to being around a circle of hate mm -hmm. and then they get the platforms to, to spew it out, then why would they hesitate? You know what of, I'm saying? Of course. And why would they? Why would they? But... Nevertheless, uh, he got, wait, wait, he went with haters. He went where where uh, that though, right? haters and dirty niggas go. No facts, jail, right? Yeah, but okay for 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 a long time, a lifetime. Of course. Now wait, but wait though. Now I was kind of mad at you though, right? Because again, and this has been the only time I've ever been mad at Troy Ave, right? Was yo listen, bro? When I heard your song called Middle Finger from the Stand, I said, Yeah, too yes. just to quit. Yeah, that was a fact. I said, yo, I said, bro, Troy Av about to restore the feeling and make this nigga feel what Jill feels like, right? <laughs> but Troy Av went to the stand and he was a real nigga about it, right? And he just addressed what this nigga said about him. So I'm like, bro, Troy Av, bro, why didn't you listen, why didn't you go to that stand and bury that nigga? All right, well, I'm, let me let me tell you. So yeah. initially, when I'm sitting in jail, yeah. this was a even I think uh, Noriega said it when I was on Drink Chain. Mm -hmm. This is one of the most unique his, uh, uh, situations in in street, internet, hip hop history, right? Yeah. So there was never any blueprint. Like mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's well documented that you know I come from street beginnings. I always try to never try to stay in the street. Always try to open a laundry mat. Try to buy real estate. Try to just do shit to get out the street. The street was a way to get money, and I use it as a platform. Whatever, right. but. Nobody, it was no big homies. It was nobody who been in this type of situation mm -hmm. where uh, a situation that in the streets, when we have problems, we keep it in the streets. They start in the street, they stay in the street. Mm -hmm. I had many problems. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, even I, I got shot on Christmas. Got shot, of course. On Christmas Day. Of course. I've seen who did it. Yeah. And we just kept that in the streets. Yeah. But there's never a situation where 
some shit starts on the internet. A nigga crash out in, in public. Stalking. Like, if a nigga tell you, nigga, I'm about to hit your car, room, yeah. nigga, you don't say, yeah, well, come on, let's do it. Of no, course. nigga, let me get the fuck out the way, because 10 times out of 10, my car is in the upwards of six figures and shit. Of you know course. what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. But, but whatever. Yeah. So, when, when everything first went down, I'm sitting there like, man, what the fuck is, like, nigga, I'm thinking, all right, you know what? Nigga talking crazy on the internet. I never experienced this type of shit. Then it became stalking. Mm -hmm. And then so, boom. To, like, at that night, Irving Plaza, I didn't even bring no guns in. Of course. Because, like... Uh, you I, never been this. I, I feel like, exactly. I yeah. feel like when you a real man, like, you don't never want to do... I'm Don't get it fucked up. I'm with violence, but mm -hmm. I'm not with unnecessary violence. Exactly. It's stupid. It's foolish. Yeah. It, it goes against getting money. Of you course. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So... For somebody to have a gun in the club and is, and and then you you pull it out, and and th this why I, this was shit got me fucked up. That people mm -hmm. was thinking that or saying people like Chano mm -hmm. and all these other suckers, broke broke bum ass niggas, struggling rappers and the niggas who've been hating. Now they had a a reason to hate. I came in the room aggressively and I was yeah. hating. And was, nigga, the aggressive act is when a nigga yelling, "What's popping?" And backing out a gun on you. Absolutely. It doesn't get more aggressive than that. Fast, of course. But because in, in their mind, you know, these niggas be pussy, they'll turn around and run away. Of course. I, niggas in crisis, most niggas, when it's fight or flight, they're going to choose they're flight. They and it's no, it's nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. unless you talk some gangster shit. Facts, of course not. You know what I'm saying? You want, nigga, when it's time to perform, I'm going to put on. Facts. So if a nigga back a gun on me, that wasn't the first time. Mm -hmm. I hope I pray it'd be the last time. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I'm always nigga. I'm a back a gun on. I'm going for that gun. Of course, it's a fact. The facts. But that's what that's what rats don't underestimate. He yeah. thought he was gonna back a gun and I was gonna back that nigga. I'm gonna punch you in your face and then I'm gonna take. Now it's gonna be a war for that gun that you back. Of course. And then I'm gonna try to kill you with it. Of course. This is a fact. But anyway, uh. I get I get locked up and I'm thinking and I you, you, wait you kept it solid by the way kept it, I kept it it, it was dumb you it, didn't say a word at all at all mm -hmm. it, it it was dumb by the way but whatever of course. you live and you learn and um so now I'm sitting in jail I'm like oh, you know what fuck it the, the homies is gonna handle this they gonna go in and and find this nigga you know what I mean all yeah. the people that I put on people that I fed yeah. you know what I mean niggas I put in the game yeah. y'all niggas go go do work well, yeah. and then you know after everything's done then I'm gonna tell them the whole story of what really happened of course. you know what I'm saying yeah. after the work is done yeah of course sitting in jail niggas coming to visit me what's up what's the update yo no. man we can't find this fuck oh, you man. mean you can't find this niggas that's crazy need to find something that's crazy you know what I mean starving niggas only got one job right that to kill niggas. <laughs> Right, no, wait the I didn't say to kill niggas. I said that I'm not, just saying they was gonna up. go in listen, and investigate the issue and see what was happening. Listen, bro. If I'm Troy Ave, right? Listen, I had to grind in the streets and sell these CDs to work my way up, right? Absolutely. I'm up AMS now, and I'm bringing you dirty draw having niggas, right? Right. I'm putting y'all in luxury hotels. Mm. I'm, <laughs> mm. Listen, up, I wasn't bro. even up M's at that point. That's the crazy part. Of course, but and Troy, I was still feeding Troy, niggas. But Troy, listen, but Troy, you was bringing them again, bro. Like niggas like Drake, from niggas like Act. Niggas it's in. not hanging around no yeah. niggas with dirty draws. You was bringing the dirty draws niggas around, right? For me to like again to to motivate them niggas, right? Yeah, just to just to be just to be a real yeah. nigga. Put your niggas on, and you stink draws having niggas, right? You see that I got into a situation. Your job is to crash out. You, you are the crash out dummy. I have you around, but you're the crash out dummy, right? I do my job, and you do. Yeah. It's not even so much crash out. It's to see. So, so flock. This is how I go in the streets. You never let the breadwinner go down or take everything. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So if so if if we got guns in the car, it's yours. all right, nigga, take the guns. Like I've been in situations where nigga, if I'm riding with. The, the nigga, the big dog, nigga, yeah. I'm going to take the gun. Of course. It just is what it is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, that's that's how it go. So, to get to a point where um, now I'm sitting in jail, I can't defend my name. Now, nigga's yeah. saying I, I killed my man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And nigga start coming out with stories that I can't defend. Mm -hmm. And then the haters running with it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Then start doing interviews and all kind of shit. Mm -hmm. Instead of just, nigga, uh, count your blessings, nigga. You... you Got away with that for the time being. Sure. Chill out. Now you want to antagonize. Now you want to... And, and just doing shit that's not anything of street. So if a nigga's not in, in in the streets, you don't put shit in the public. You don't play shit out in the public. Yeah, absolutely. But, but then 
when you say like I'm a mirror, how a nigga treat me, I'ma treat them, but worse. Of course, you feel me or, or better. Uh, yeah, of course. Somebody treat me good, I'ma be great to them. Of course. If you treat me bad, I'm gonna be terrible to you. Violate you. That's a, I'm gonna violate you. Uh, yeah, with, and I don't have no rules. There's no, uh, uh, there's no rules to reaction with me. Uh, of course not. And I, <laughs> I just have no. I always been like that, and I could be like that comfortably because I never start no issues with nobody. Of course not. So but give I me a feather. Feel, listen, give me a feather. I'll give you a brick. It, there you go. It's, yeah. Right to the face. Yeah. All <laughs> right. Fact. So anyway. But um, wait though, but Troy, I. Right. But here's my issue with you, right? Is and he did all of that, and you still said, "Bruh, man, bruh, I'm still gonna be as solid as I can be," and just say the information that he already said, right? Absolutely. You still try to keep it solid, why? Because I'll be real. If I'm you, bruh, ain't no listen. There's only one road to the streets, nigga, and that's survival, right? Meaning the mm. last man standing wins this shit, right? Round of applause, YK, for that. <laughs> I mean, real. survival. Right? Listen, listen, right? Listen. And even like the principles of no snitching was created for survival, meaning this, right? Yes. For the, right? As it's the top. Yeah, right. Look, like again, like the bad cops said that, yo, the blue wall of silence exists because we don't want the good cops turning us in for doing fuck shit. Mm -hmm. The criminals say, hey, no snitching because we don't want for, want for civilians, right, who are productive to turn us in for doing fuck shit, right? Mm -hmm. So now, um, you're like you're being like caught, right? And he already told on you, right? He already ran on you. He already snitched on you. But you took the stand and you did everything in your power to keep it solid and only confirm his lies, right? Right? Saying, yo, right, yo, bro, like he said you did. Nah, hell nah, I ain't do that. He did that, right? Why didn't you take it further and really bury this nigga and make sure he did life in jail? Well, all right, because he deserved it. He, 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 well, it, it wasn't up to me to just bury him. You feel me? Um, like I'm, I'm. When it comes to revenge for certain shit, yeah, I'm always choose death first. If you can't do that, then whatever else goes with it. Of you know what I'm saying? However they come, and um, so like I said, the rules had changed. Yeah. So I, we playing by a, a certain set of rules, but I, I said to myself. I can't keep letting somebody else's energy dictate how I move. Mm. So like, I'm not a nigga that's gonna go talking crazy about a nigga on some like a, it's certain shit you don't say. If you want to have opinions on people's music and shit, yeah. but when it come to violence, yo, I'm gonna do this. When I see, I'm gonna kill you. We take that as a threat. Mm -hmm. And if you really from any street shit, not to keep hampering on the street shit, mm -hmm. but I'm saying like if you come from that, it's it's cool to evolve and shit. When you come from that, niggas don't play with death. Of course. Niggas don't play with no death shit because that shit is, could be real. You know what I'm saying? No type yeah. of threat. But so when for a nigga to do that in the public was mind blowing to me because anybody I was going to do something to or, mm -hmm. or try to see, nigga, I'm not putting that in public because that's a, a fucking trail for the police. Of course. You said you was going to kill him on his day and now he's dead. Nigga, you did it. Of course. You know what I'm saying? We don't play like that. Now, okay. So now, so do you regret not burning him, right? Because now you see that this nigga ain't learned a lesson. Meaning, right, listen, like, and he got sentenced to 35 years in jail. Yeah. And, and he's still bragging about sending goons to get your butt and jumped. It's crazy. So, so he ain't learned a goddamn thing. So I'm going to tell you something. When I first came home from jail, yeah. um, I first came home from jail and I went, I pulled up on, on 50 Cent. Okay. 50 told me, he said, nigga, listen, now you on the clock right now, nigga. Yeah. He said, you chill out, let the time go by. Yeah. And then, nigga, when it's in the fourth quarter, you tell him, nigga, that wasn't my gun. That was that nigga's gun. Yeah, of course. And that was the only bit of advice yeah. that I got from all the niggas because I don't take advice from everybody. Of course. They ain't respectable. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of niggas got more niggas got more more opinions than money. You yeah. feel me? So I don't take advice from everybody. Of when 50 told me that, I put that in my computer. I said, all right, no, no problem. But then it was shit that I would... Thought I would have never seen yeah. in the midst of that. I would. I didn't think that this nigga would get picked up by the FBI and then start saying, "Well, well, well Troy Ave, why is he get a bail <laughs> when Troy Ave shot these people over here yeah. and him and his people did this over here?" I'm mm -hmm. like, "Nigga, you saying this in open court, talking about crimes that mm -hmm. the police know nothing about? Yeah, you just bringing up crimes like, are you trying to get me in? What part of the game is that? Yo, what though? So, uh, here, so like you said, you said something very interesting. You said. Yo, 50 told me, wait till that fourth quarter and say, that's that nigga gun, not mine. 50 said, yeah, that nigga, that, so, ain't, that ain't your gun, nigga. That's, that's that nigga gun. So, based on those facts now, 
Do we think think like the rumors, you know, by Irv Gotti and them that yo, that Fifty Cent put paperwork on? <laughs> I don't. Hey, because <laughs> hey, I'll be real, my nigga. A uh, nigga who can tell you, hey, nigga, fourth quarter, that's that nigga gun, not Mars. I hundred percent believe he put paperwork Listen, on them man, folks, bro. Fifty, di- <laughs> 50 diabolical, and <laughs> and fifty, man. fifty and Tupac oh, is my man, favorite. Right on them folks, man. Fifty, Come Tupac on now, bro. is my favorite rapper. We'll have no Fifty Cent slander here. Yeah, 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 you know, facts, man. Fifty can do no wrong <laughs> in my eyes. Right, let's, but, but but Troy, listen though. But bet, but that Look, statement alone are, makes me think the streets is Game of Thrones. The, folks, the streets is Game of Thrones. How he won is how he won. I wasn't there. I don't know about all this cold shit. Cold nigga, man. How he won is how hey, he won. Yo, cold nigga, though, man. Hey, he's a cold nigga, man. And look, I'm a cold ass nigga too. So anyway, Facts, uh, anyway, hey, listen, I said this, we gotta do. I gotta roll the fucking intro. I like to welcome everybody to the Facto Show. Mm-hmm. I'm your host Troy Allen, Notorious Ave, Real Ones. Welcome, Facts. Pontius Pilots, E to D. You know what I'm saying? As usual, mm-hmm. um, this is a different show today. I just want to have a conversation with my guy, and and hopefully this this might be the works of something we we spoke about doing some shit. Yes, yeah, East Coast, West Coast, because you have inflammatory, outrageous opinions, wait, and wait, I'm wait. very outspoken. No, wait, 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 wait. You see wait, how I put, wait, this, wait, 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 I put wait. this sauce on your shit, Pause. You the godfather of all the shit, though. Oh, no, no, no. Listen. Academics is the godfather. No, 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 wait. wait the wait, war in Chirac no, was... No, 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 right? So look, no, listen, so look. I thought he would be killed by all the gremlins out there. Listen, listen, though, but you actually, for example, right? When Troy Adams like, came out and said, bruh, like, the streets is a myth and all these niggas is bitch-ass niggas. That was fight, though. We thought, what? Hell nah. Well, I, I see niggas that was supposed to be real running. Ass his yeah. elbows. I don't run with shots fired. Nigga, I duck for cover and yeah. grip up or figure but out when I heard situation. That, though, I said, Troy, wait, 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 pause. Are you telling me that Meek Mill ain't really a, a gangster and a killer? Wait, hold up now, Troy. Are you telling me that that the, 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 the pot smoking low baby and, and catching over them niggas really ain't gangsters? Well, the he, only he person said, that I can attest to is casting over. We call him Assing over up there. Damn. Assing over. He's not a gangster. He was a crypt that turned blood. It's an automatic violation. How'd that work? And then, but here's the thing. I never really... How you say you don't respect... You say niggas is pussy if they pay yeah. other niggas yeah. to kill niggas. Yes. I don't... With me, like, nigga, I, I don't even been rapping about it. I started from gang origins. Mm-hmm. I always shot up, but my gang origins was, man, let me fuck with a couple of my niggas. They on some gang shit in this neighborhood. Nigga, we could... They got... The block and mm-hmm. some gang violence shit. Nigga, let's get some money. So I bought two pounds of weed and say, hey, yeah, let's start selling some weed over here. Okay. And then that gang shit. Never yeah. no jumping in, getting beat up to be in the gang. None okay. of that shit. It was, it was that type. All right, this is a business opportunity. Let's turn the fuck all that violence shit. A lot of these niggas be in gangs just for protection. Mm-hmm. Just to roll deep and hey, that deep shit don't mean nothing. Because when them shots go off, his asses and elbows running. Of course. It's a fact, though. So to become successful and still be on some gang shit, to me, that's a number one sign and a telltale. Nigga, you pussy. That's a fact, though. But not only that. Wait. I don't okay. look. Not only that. Yeah. Like, I'm not even. I deal in facts. This is opinions based on facts. The yeah. fact, though, show. Even if I got a problem with a nigga or, or don't like him or they may have said fucking uh, 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 unfavorable things about me, yeah. I still deal in facts with them. Of course. That's why in any beefs and diss songs, I obliterate these niggas because I deal in facts. Of course. But uh, the, the case... They all hoes, though. Hey, this, I can't say all of them. But in the case well, of no, whoa, 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 in the case whoa. of Asanova, I've seen him plead for his life of right course. there. He, he asked me, please, don't... Like, like when niggas have guns on them, mm. I've seen him being asked. That's how he gets the name Asanova. Wait, wait, wait. It's a wait, fact, though. Wait, but that's like a... Like, that's like a... So this big six foot seven nigga is saying, <laughs> please well, not six foot seven. Six five. He, he's probably like six one, six two, but it, it oh, don't oh, matter if you three yeah. feet or eight tall. Eight, yeah. Until like eight feet tall. But like I, I talk about, listen up, bro. This big six foot one nigga with, he, with bro, he's so broad, bro. He got muscles on his dick, right? Like he is like pause. I don't like, know what he has on like, his dick, but bro, this nigga swole. So wait, so this big swole nigga was was like was was, was like saying, "Yo, please don't kill me." Yeah, please, yeah, please. I, I had nothing to do with that. Please, like, this this a fact though. Like niggas back, nigga. That's you could tell, you could really tell who a man is when they under mm. pressure or when they in a crisis. That's how you tell a real character of a person. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Or when some money's involved, what they will and won't do for money, their integrity. That's how you tell a real character of a person. You feel me? I so look now when a nigga dolo. 
by yeah. itself and they still gonna put on and perform, yeah. that's when you tell the character of a person. I know you gangster when guns come out and nigga, it's a situation and then you perform. You don't perform like a pussy. The facts though, right? And Claudia, that's can why, I get another drink, please? Right? I got it. Listen to right? And that's why... I, I say that 99.9 percent .9 of these rappers are hoes and bitches, right? 99.9 is a lot, right? Cool. That's, that's a high number. Cool. And who's <laughs> tough then, right? So, so, so look, so look, so okay, so look, so then we can only judge. Uh, uh, we can only judge. I'm only gonna judge. Tell me one rapper action. that's tough other than Troy. I can't say. I can't. All right. Well, tough. Yeah. Tough, I'll yeah. use another word. Who? Who's gangster? Tell who's me a gangster solid, rapper. Who's solid? No, 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 no. I right, nah. off, off the rip. I'm gonna say because no, he, who's gangster, right? Because Listen, look, Tyler is just a nigga you, who who is a righteous nigga. That's cool. But tell me a gangster nigga that you know that you can respect as gangster. You gotta remember, I haven't like I came and I met niggas on rap time. I have, I don't know niggas from the streets, so I don't know what their history exactly is. Exactly my point. But, right, but right the history that, that I do yeah. know, I'll Ooh. say this man on my shirt, Tupac. Hell was some nah. shit. Come on, Flacco. Pac was gangster. There will be no Pac slander. How if anybody, Pac did, I, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, I'll, cool. I'll show you how. Okay, but and I'm you. glad because we have a. a Wait, no, no, no. That didn't happen in Milwaukee. Well, I was going to say we got some brothers from Milwaukee here. Yeah. But when they put that fucking knee on, uh, what's his name, George Floyd's neck, it was millions of niggas from the street, from the hood. They stood there and watched. And they pulled out their phone and their camera. When a simple uh, black man was getting just beat by the police, sure. not in near death, crying out, oh, help, I can't breathe, mm -hmm. just getting beat up. Where did Pac do? He bust his gun, nigga. This is a fact, though. Now, whether niggas won't say he didn't know it was police or not, it doesn't matter. He still did it to the police. This is a fact, though. Uh, sure. Okay. Oh, this is, okay did, sure. we, did we or did we not? Sure. Did we or did we not see Tupac, nigga, going off? He, he, like, so he went off in Vegas against um Orlando mm -hmm. and stumped him out and the shit. He was with a bunch of niggas. Okay. Bunch of niggas shit don't count. Okay. But at that time, we got to remember, everything Pac did before that, said that he would do that up until that point, all his actions. Okay. So if he did anything different, if he fell back like a pussy nigga, say a pussy rapper or just pussy niggas, hey, yo, that's the, yo, y'all go get him, that's him. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I think, I think that's so. I judge a man by his actions. Okay. I don't care. I'm not a nigga who's going, I'm not a nigga that's going to roll with the wolves, nigga. I am a wolf, nigga. Uh, yeah. I'm a wolf in the pack. Mm -hmm. So, if, nigga, we come on. Y'all niggas going to go on my go, not your fall back. Hey, yo, y'all get him. Sure. Like you see a lot of these niggas do. So I'm going to say 50 Cent, no, and wait, I'm going to say wait, 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 Tupac, wait, 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 pop. and I can go on with some more. Go ahead. Okay, Pop. Now, I was always told by street niggas, right? Especially a real nigga like Troy Ave. Once you do certain things, we don't even respect you as a gangster no more. So once Pop went to that hotel room and took that pussy, we don't respect that nigga no more this, as no this gangster. This is blasphemous. Right? YK, this is blasphemous. He was found guilty, this my nigga. This guy flown all the way from the fucking West Coast. He was to found guilty. Some... Are you shitting me? He was found guilty you know, of taking yo, pussy. Flacco, my man, but niggas been off the wall with their mouth since Suge Knight went in jail. This is outrageous. Right. What it's the... outrageous. He Would you be talking guilty. like this if Suge was, was home? Guilty. Listen, though, he... of course, listen. But, but look, though, if he was found guilty of taking pussy, Troy, how can we now say this nigga gangster? I was always told certain things ain't no coming back from. If you go to a hey. fucking hotel room and take pussy, we don't respect you as gangster uh, no more. Nigga, right, you's now, a weirdo. Now, 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 wait, okay. right, again, again, right. let's, wait, though. Again. That, that's alleged. That's alleged. No, he's found guilty. He's found many niggas nah, found guilty nah, nah, of listen, everything. Listen, listen, hell not. Nah. If you go to court, that's what we determine, nigga, right? If you did it or not. You went to court and a jury of your peers said you took some pussy and I was So it, here's the facts. We had an interesting guest on here, okay. Gully TV. He, he did an uh, interview on Haitian Jack. Here's the facts. It's like you got all the homies here, right? Yeah. You you go to you go to a hotel and the homies bring some some girls there. Uh -huh. You fall asleep in your room. Sure. You wake up, the bitch is screaming, ah, uh -huh. oh, what happened? Ah. Yeah. You the most famous nigga there. Yeah. She puts rape on everybody. You didn't uh -huh. even touch the bitch. Sure. Nigga, how do you defend yourself against that? But that's a lie, and here's why. Because <laughs> I heard that story before. Where again? He didn't touch it that night. He got hurt from her in the club no, 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 another time. No, no, he didn't touch it no, no, that no, no, night. No, 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 I've been in the, these situations, not the rape the, part, but. Wait, wait the right ass, right? Wait the right. So look, I heard that story before, right? By all the street niggas who, bro, like Pac is their Jesus, right? So they wouldn't do anything. Now she went on Vlad TV and said, bro, that's a lie. That Pac was fucking me. Pac was on top of me, right? Pac fucked me too that night. So I'm saying it's this. And then what? So she's saying Pac took pussy from me too. 
and Pac went to court and was found guilty. Uh, let's, uh, so let, let's. So let's, I'm just saying, right? Again, like this. Flacco, myth you're, of, you're a logical yo, bro, person. Pac was asleep in his home okay. and pussy. I, that's I like not this. true because she said Pac took pussy too, and Pac went to court and Pac was found guilty. You're, you're a logical person. You're a logical person, right? Yeah. So again, at how this, can Pac be gangster? At this time, no, Pac no, 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 was no, way. No, 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 no. Go ahead. So let me hear this. So, so again, so Ab, I'm tell you. how can Pac be gangster when he is again, again, a convicted rapist? All right, okay, I, I, I'll tell you. Okay. He's a, Mike Tyson is a convicted rapist. Do we believe that? But but nevertheless, yes. whatever. Yes, Mike <sighs> took that pussy. Man. Come on, bro. Okay. Bro, no, Mike, I, bro, Mike is off, many, bro. Many convicted rapists, whatever. But, but come on now, bro. Uh, Donald bro. Trump grabbed the bitch by the pussy. That's sexual assault. He's still your president. And, and mine's Gary. And mine's, by the way. Listen, All right. Guess what, though? I'm just saying. Hey, Don't, guess what, though? Dup, dup, dup. Hey, guess what, though? I'm guessing. That good white man, Daddy Trump, ain't never went to court and got found guilty of, of touching no pussy. But he was accused. They never accused. followed any charges. Accused. And the charges got filed, he wasn't guilty. But I know damn sure that Pop, again, was accused of taking that pussy. Uh, yeah. Pop so, was charged with taking that pussy. And Pop was convicted so of taking that pussy. He was accused and charged and convicted of taking pussy of a bitch who gave him some head in a club earlier. Let's look at the character of the person. Who gives a, who gives a nigga head on a dance floor? All right, that's just one point. Now, at that time, Pac was way more famous than I am now. Sure. Nigga, I have no shortage of pussy thrown at me. Okay. I have no shortage of pussy that I have to take. So why sure. in the fuck in God's green earth, not to say curse yeah. word in God, but why would Pac, in your realistic mind, if I, you had to gamble, sure. and somebody say, yo, I, I, I'm going to show you the tape. Yeah. Flacco, I need you to bet all you have. Nigga, you're going to bet your fucking joke. You'll leave sure. out of your ass naked. Yeah. We're going to show you the videotape. Yeah. You're going to bet all you have in your future. Okay. Well, it's videotape. Yeah, of course. Did Pac rape this woman, or was she just another bitch in a train? I guarantee you wouldn't bet everything and leave butt-ass no, naked. Listen, you would think about it. No, listen. So, look. So, and here's where it, it goes from. There's no answer, though. You didn't give me an answer. Listen. We need an I'm answer. Betting, would you bet? I, I bet everything everything I got oh, that Pac took that pussy. Stick and crazy. here's why, right? So, look. So, right? I'm going to give you my no, coat, because no, it's going to be a cold walk in New listen, York City. Right? Get... So, listen. So, so look. So, she could very well have went there to fuck Pac, right? But Pac engaged into a freak off, and she said, "Whoa, nigga, I'm not with fucking you and like twenty of your other homies." Nigga. I'm well, not with. Well, it. You know, she knew though. No, those are her homies. She knew them. Be Pac, the, yeah. the homies introduced her to Pac. Sure, but she want to fuck him, right? Did, did, and Pac well, wanted a freak off, and she, she said, "Nah, Haitian hell, Jack. nah, nigga, you too freaky for Haitian this." Haitian Jack was more of a nigga. He was more of that nigga than Pac was. As that, wait though. A groupie is a groupie is a groupie. Yes, yes. But though, if the groupie say, hey, listen, I'm the biggest slur on the planet, my nigga, but I'm not into this freaky shit, Pac. Like, I don't want no freak off, nigga, with your five homies. And you still took the pussy? Nah, bro. We cannot say you gangster if you was convicted. Now, now, listen. Now, listen. And if Tupac's estate file an appeal and get it overturned, and then we can have the conversation of, yo, it's Pac gangster. But if Pac took pussy, nigga, and was convicted of taking pussy... You too real of a nigga after ever saying that any nigga who ever took pussy is a gangster. All right, well, I'm, I'm, let me tell you this, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it's gray areas and it's and it's levels to different shit. You know what I'm saying? It, this is a fact. If it's we black being and black and white, I, I I see what you're saying, but there's gray areas with, it's with black all and this white. shit. Charge, accused, charge, and convicted. Hey, <laughs> listen, uh, listen up, bro. Uh, listen up, bro. Listen up, bro. Like Pac had three stages of clearing his name. Accused. He could say, nah, hell, that's not true. Blah, 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 right? um, Feel me? Charge, and he could have pled his case and gotten a job. This I don't trust nah. it. I've been, a, I've been accused of things. Let's just take it to the smallest level. Sure. I've been accused of fucking uh, talking on my cell phone while driving. I've been charged and I've been convicted. Mm -hmm. Did I do it? Absolutely the fuck not. Bullshit. I, I didn't do it. Man, bullshit. There was times man, I did it, but man, at that time I didn't do it. Man, listen At now. the smallest level. I know. Listen, man, I know that Troy F. Is a money getting nigga. Listen, listen up, bro. I walk in the room, I hug my nigga, and my nigga smelled wealthy. Yeah, it smelled good. I that know that fine. Troy Ave, right? Good. Listen, I know that Troy Ave, listen, driving ain't stopping Troy Ave from picking up that money card, nigga. Right? So, do the I phone, believe the phone Troy was on, on speaker. that phone? Yes, I do. The phone was on speaker. Man, come so on, I didn't nigga. have it to my ear. Hey, listen. The phone listen, was on speaker. Listen. You see the gray area? Half phones, speaker, talking on the phone while driving is illegal. Well, listen, man, we talking about uh, rappers who I believe are uh, uh, gangster solid. 
I'm yeah. going to say, and you had an inflammatory remark. I yeah. seen you on Academics the other day. Okay. Great work, by the way. Yeah, but even some things you said are outrageous. Uh-huh. I said, like this, I said this QCP in the face looking ass nigga did not fly <laughs> all the way out here. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. And hey, listen, though. <laughs> hey, man. He said, hey, listen, you're though. saying wild shit. Hey, listen, though. Speaking of QCP, bro, we the same person, right? Yeah. Listen, I would like to think that I'm the top rat, right? Oh, my gosh. But after I read that paperwork, bro, oh, hey, bro, QCP bit the cheese and said, sir, can I get some more? <laughs> I said, hey, bro, I ain't never seen a nigga snitch. Come back and ask a snitch some more. Listen, this nigga told, can I can say, oh, wait, no, no, no. Sir, can I fix that up a little bit, right? It, right? You feel me? And tell better. So when I oh, seen uh, that. Yeah, tell better. Come right? on now. So when I seen that, and I said, oh, wait. Like, Troy F. and already told us that the streets is a myth, that all these niggas is hoes, and they play with who they can play with, meaning this, right? It's a fact. Right, that all these rappers, like, for example, like, Meek Mill was on Twitter talking about, nigga, bro, listen up, man, I'm the voice of the streets, nigga, right? Listen up, bro, it's death to our rats, nigga. Listen, Meek said, I'm gonna make sure we taking all rats out the culture. Mm. No, he didn't. Yeah. And, 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 and Oh, and yeah, said, he was on the 6 9 campaign. And said, I we was disappointed at Meek. I was disappointed. And take all rats out the culture. But I was disappointed at Meek for that because he didn't, he didn't have to take on that battle. He didn't have to fight that. And Absolutely then when he not. seen 6 9 he didn't kill him. He caught please. Yeah, it was, I don't know if he caught please, but Av, he didn't kill him. Or, Av, listen. He, Av, listen. Av, Av, listen. You know, that's what, you know that's what happened with Nipsey Hussle. Oh, it's just oh. another thing with street, hey, hey, with street with the streets being a myth. Speak These on niggas it. play halfway. Speak on I'm gonna it, get back to uh, uh, before the Nipsey Hustle point. I'm telling my Me. rappers I think is solid. Yeah, I'm gonna say Little Baby is solid. How? I'm gonna tell you why, nigga. How? Because I seen you He's say some outrageous shit. He's biggest all around. First of all, Little Baby's a sage. Shout out to him. Okay, I'm a Sagittarius brother. Uh, secondly, yeah. Um, I seen him go back to his hood and and he and he helped out an OG. That probably looked out for him. I don't know exact shit of what happened. And and a lot of niggas, niggas can't wait to forget when they get successful. I seen him put multiple niggas on from him. And I noticed from trying to put nigga, multiple niggas on from a, around where I'm from. So a rich and fuck then, nigga gave an old broke fuck nigga some money. And and somehow a rich fuck nigga giving a fuck nigga money. Make that fuck nigga a real nigga now? I'm going to tell you. I'm, I'm going to continue gonna, to tell okay, your actions. Okay, go ahead. Little Baby was... Getting money. That's what his thing. Hustling. Uh -huh. Doing his thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Some niggas in the violence. Some niggas in the getting money. Some <laughs> no, niggas in okay. the bitches. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, yeah. But I think, to me, to me, getting money and keeping it 100 and taking care of your family, that's gangster. Like, not shooting the gun and all kind of shit. Like, like that's cool. That come with it if niggas disrespect. Sure. But that ain't... If you just on some nigga, I'm just a hitter. Okay. And then what? You okay, know what I'm saying? I, but look, right, but again, also too, though, and I was told, again, listen, I learned a lot of my life lessons from you, Av, right? And you told me, if you not no loyal nigga, you not gangster. I can't Oh, I know you. where you going. I know where you going. Right? I know where he's going. Right? I know right? where I'm taking my jacket off for right? this because so, we're going on a ride. <laughs> No, this listen. nigga here. No, right? Oh man. So, I had, oh man. I had similar so, I had similar thoughts. Right? Oh my gosh. If you're He's not going a loyal nigga, I can respect you, right? So look at this. So baby B again, bro. The whole ass niggas, the snakes, are usually great with getting money. Why? Because they got no morals and principles, oh, right? Come on now. You, ah, well, you just throw a shit I'll out be there. Real. The whole ass niggas and the snakes are usually great with getting money because they don't got no principles, right? So low baby. Still linking up with the same niggas who killed his right hand man, meaning this, right? So look, right, so right, so look. So about two days ago, right, baby drill, um, arrest footage like got dropped, right? You know, you know, I brought that up with a fact though. Show that they said baby drill had something to do with Marlo, but go ahead, I'll right, let you. So look though, so his arrest footage like got like you know like got posted right like two days ago, right? Yeah. And while getting arrested, right. To go get interrogated for the murder of Lil Marlo. Wait, that was the arrest footage for that? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right? Oh, uh. Right? And this nigga said... <laughs> four, four pockets full like them little baby niggas. While getting arrested, this nigga is taunting little baby and I'm saying, I got four this pockets is, full. This is in the police footage, like the camera, the yes. body cam. And he said, I got four pockets full like little baby in them. This nigga is toying little baby, no. 
Wob, listen, Wob been carried away to, 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 to get interrogated for the murder of, mm. of uh, like, uh, like uh, Lil Marlo. Now, two is this, right? So, oh Baby God, Drill damn, this is crazy. was the <laughs> only person to ever get interrogated and questioned for the murder of Lil Marlo. After Lil Marlo's death. And this is a fact. Ba- for a fact. Baby, I know you're dealing facts. For a fact. Right. Baby Drill posted a GTA clip running down a nigga from the back and killing him, right? And he titled it, Who Running? And then in the background playing a Lil Marlo song, taunting Lil Baby and them. In multiple songs, Baby Drill. This is a high, drill, le- this is a high level uh, uh, fucking buffoonery. Right. <laughs> high level buffoonery. It's coonery. Yeah. In multiple songs, he has alluded, right? Like, for example, right? He told P and them, bruh, fucking advance, you should have gave that nigga a bulletproof car, right? Again, taunting Lil Baby and them about killing Lil Marlo. Lil Baby, again, the hoes and the fuck niggas are usually great with getting money because they got no morals and principles. Lil Baby is still linking up with 21 Savage to get money, right? Is Baby Joe associated with 20? Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah. Young Nudie and 21 yeah. Savage. Okay. So Baby is still linking up with the niggas who killed his partner to get some papers. So now I'm asking you, Troy, if he's getting money under those circumstances and feeding his family, is he still gangster when we know the money he getting is under some real peculiar circumstances and he not being loyal or okay, keeping well, the thorough? Well, I'm going I'm to I'm just speak a little bit on hearsay, sure. not too much on hearsay because I don't really know about it. But matter of fact, I'll speak on the fact, though, before I speak on hearsay. I've been in places with people who uh, friends of mine have shot. I've been around. Uh, I've been amongst friends of niggas who close friends of mine have killed. They're friends. You have yeah, killed niggas, Troy. Whoa, whoa, hold up, Ice Cream Chuck. What? I've been listen, convicted listen up, or bro. anything. I've killed nobody. I killed, these I niggas, killed some pussy last night. These and niggas. Have, and many nights before that. These niggas, have made, these niggas have made several attempts on Troy Av's life. If Troy Av wasn't out here really killing niggas, right, really paying to get niggas killed, these niggas wouldn't hate him. Again. Yeah, I'm not paying to get niggas killed. But you know what? You do bring up a viable fact. Sure. Most times... When, but not saying in my instance, but I most times when niggas got to come at you with weapons, firearms, they know you a dangerous nigga. You was terrorizing And I'll leave niggas. it at that. Uh, it, it, I was listen, just getting money. Listen up, bro. I was just hustling. If these, listen, if these dirty niggas is coming out, listen up, bro. These niggas couldn't even afford a North Face jacket. These niggas came outside in negative 12 degree weather in an H&M hoodie mm. to kill Troy Ash. They wanted this nigga back. <laughs> They wanted him badly, and that usually comes with what? You was out here terrorizing niggas, spanking niggas, bullying niggas, and getting niggas killed. I, no, I don't know about killing. Uh, uh, I've okay. terrorized a few neighborhoods and niggas, but you know, but all in fitness, I, I've terrorized terrorists. Oh, I've bully, bully. One of your bad or you only bro. bad guy, but I never. I can't say any murders. So broke niggas came out to have in I'm negative four degree weather in an H and M hoodie, nigga, thin as a motherfucker to hey, kill you. That's oh, crazy. Hold up, Ice Cube Chuck. <laughs> that, that's that's not, crazy. I was going on a point. Okay, sorry. All right, so so um so I've been around places where you know it been people who you know niggas done violence and niggas have done nothing. Okay. Niggas salute and tip their hat. Mm-hmm. That was other times to show me the streets is a myth because y'all niggas supposed to be on go. That's y'all man. Y'all wore t-shirts of the niggas. Y'all burned candles and had Moet bottles. But somehow, some way, you found a way to justify <laughs> yeah. that this nigga's gone mm-hmm. because he was a fuck nigga or he did some bullshit. But it's really y'all niggas is pussy because the people that did the work is more on some real gangster shit. And I know y'all can't play with them. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So maybe that may have been the case. Sometimes niggas be whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But like I said, I'm not from that hood. I don't know, little baby. I could what? just see the actions that he that he Man, did. Now, I would have not done those. But we don't know if... Baby yeah, Joe killed Lil Marlo is just L- listen, rumors. Sure. Okay, bet. Listen, Lil Baby and them is who I call Memorial Warriors, right? Meaning this, right? We all know, right, the bitch-ass niggas, right, who will go to the fucking memorial, wear the T-shirts, man, and they pour more wet bottles, man, crying, and plotting to my man, but we can't wait to catch them niggas, right? They are Memorial Warriors. You know why? Because we know for a fact we know for a hundred percent fact that these niggas will go to that fucking fucking like you know like the repast, the funeral memorial, and they will plot on the death of niggas and that's and it stays there. You know why? Cause after they leave that shit, my nigga, bruh, these niggas have a fucking feast, 
right? Have a buffet, eat well, and they don't never slide again, right? Lil Baby and them was at the <laughs> memorial with the T-shirts, plotting, drinking, emotional, talking about, man, we can win to catch some niggas. So, I know Troy Ave, and I know real niggas, and I'm saying this, it don't matter if you kill my nigga. If you out here claiming you did, nigga, you gonna die too. That's a fact, though. So, I mean, I mean, or at, or at least an attempt. But, but, and he comfortable. But in, but in, uh, in, in, um, in, in defense, let's be honest. We don't know if there was any attempts. Yeah. We don't know if there were or weren't any attempts. So we can't, we can't say that. But you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll beg to differ on that ah. point. Right? I think that should be the name of our podcast. I beg to differ. Yes, you feel me? That might be fire. It's right, that. Like I beg to differ on mm-hmm. you saying the fucking uh, future should die. Of course, he should die because he die. his music allegedly got Juice World hooked on drugs. Listen, listen. I beg I'm to saying differ. Future, I'm saying Lil Durk. I'm saying Twenty One Savage. Big Meek has entered the building. What's up, DJ Big Meek? How you doing, Yo, man? Yo, but listen, man. DJ Big Meeks. Yeah, DJ Big Meek. Big yeah, Meek, he's man. all. He's all. Yeah. We, I don't think we have a camera on you, but it's all good. Yeah. What's hey, up, my boy? You listen good? up, bro. Hey, yeah. DJ listen Big up, Meek. man. Hey, listen Was you up, doing bro. some violence and gambling? Hey, listen That's up, my man. man. All he does is violence and gambling. I don't trust no light-skinned nigga <laughs> with a hoodie and a fucking do-rag on my nigga. Like, what? Like, I think that's a ski mask. Even worse. A do-rag? <laughs> even worse. Listen, sorry. It's even listen, worse. Listen, so good. listen a, a gray hoodie and a ski mask going walking in? <laughs> God yeah, damn, man. man. Yeah, you, you right. So, but, well, don't worry. This is the Avin Flacco Show, and you all good. It's all love here. What does GIGPS mean to me? I mean, God is getting the paper straight. You feel me? Like, I'm super blessed. I'm blessed with good health, good energy that I give and receive. And that just comes from me really being a genuinely good person. It's like the love outweighs any negativity that may come my way. And that's how I'm able to go through so much and come out stronger every time you feel me i pray a lot not just only for myself but for others and with that in mind i designed these clothes really thinking about peace and comfortability because that's really two of the main things that i personally want out of life i'm here to motivate spread love and destroy hate i'm Troy Ave. god is great and the paper straight Sorry, yes, but look, now look, so here's why, again, Future, 21 Savage, Meek, Dirk, and any other gangster rapper you oh can think of, gosh. I wish nothing but death and jail, meaning I go to night praying, nigga, that God take them niggas and put them in jail or kill them, and, and here's why, because dumb niggas' music is responsible for leading a generation of kids to the cemetery or to a jailhouse, so I don't think I'm harsh, big bro, if I'm wishing the, vi- listen, I'm just wishing the very same thing their music did to those kids, uh. right? I'm just wishing that on them. Meaning this, right? If your music, right? For example, you yeah. know, uh, you're like Kirk Franklin, yeah. and right? And your music is empowering niggas. Well, guess what? I wish empowerment on you. And if you're a future, Lil Dirk, Meek, and others, and your music is responsible for a generation of kids going to a jailhouse or a cemetery, well, guess what, nigga? I wish you enter a jailhouse, and I wish you go to a cemetery, too. Well, you know what? Um... Uh, Big Meek is biased because his future is one of his favorite artists. Oh, right? word. Yeah, he's biased. He's biased. Oh, word. But, but there will be no blasphemy on the Reverend Future, man. Like, that's oh, crazy. Man, fuck Future, nigga. Oh, fuck that nigga, nigga. Man, listen now, bro. I don't give a fuck about Future. Lil Durk or none of them whole ass niggas. You know why, why? Bro? What's the problem with Lil Durk? Are you, you said he didn't slide for Lil Vaughn, uh, for King Vaughn? L- no, listen, it's not that. Lil Durk makes drill music. Lil Durk says, yo, I, I make, listen, man, pick up your stick and slide music, right? But they killed Lil' Tim, didn't they? No, hell, bro. Listen, whoa, listen, bro. Lil' Tim right now, nigga, is at a hotel right now, fucking hoes, drinking more wet, and eating Popeye's chicken, nigga. Wait. What? Cooling. Somebody got killed. It wasn't. Cooling. Lil' Tim right now is comfortable. Lil' Tim right now, my nigga, right, is chilling in a... In a five-season fucking hotel, my nigga, fucking on the baddest hoes in Madison. This is outrageous, man. Right? Lil' Tim is chilling. Now, I think you mean Lil' Pop, right? Lil' Pop. Some, who right. was in the car with him in L.A.? Yeah, Pop, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. listen, though. But still, 
I wish death in jail and on Dirk because Dirk. And, 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 and again, sure. there's nothing wrong. It's this why this why I fuck with you, you yeah. my man. I beg to differ with you on certain things. Like little mm -hmm. baby is not pussy. He pussy. I think he's on some, you know, whatever. I beg to differ. I if fuck little, little baby, baby ain't pussy, I mean, uh, slide on twenty one seven. Ah, whatever. Baby. Why would he slide on twenty one? If baby ain't if pussy, beef is not with twenty one. If baby ain't pussy, hey. slide on twenty one seven. I dare you. Uh, if baby ain't pussy, again, call out QCP on a song. Listen, fuck it. So listen, fuck a bar, nigga. Say okay. QCP name and write in the same sentence. I dare you, nigga. He won't do, you know why? We all know sometimes we have people around us nah, that crash out. Baby is a hoe and know so who young to play Jeezy, with. So Young Jeezy pussy for doing verses with um, Gucci Man. Pussy is a motherfucker, nigga. Okay, round of applause for that. Wait, 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 wait. wait One wait, of the wait. first things we agreed on in a while. Ah, <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Ah, ah, oh, listen, ah, listen, 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 ah, listen, so, ah, look. God bless the dead, right? But if a fuck nigga, I don't care how tough this rapper think he is, nigga, mm. set in your face and say anything about banger is immediate violence. Nigga, immediate violence. I don't care if it's an FBI agent, <laughs> nigga, the president, nigga, the president can say something is violence, nigga. Immediate Not in my violence. face, online, whatever. And that's the thing, niggas don't play with me in my face, nigga. Yeah. It's it's always violence if we in person. Mm -hmm. We not gonna do that. I don't be in no shows and niggas yell out obscenities. None of that, nigga. When I'm in the streets, it's pictures and smiles and nigga that's it big me could have tested that we just, we just went on tour we yeah. we did like 15 six, nothing but smiles and people in show Troy have whatever niggas don't play with me in person in person i don't know if i'm, I'm different in person you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but whatever of course but listen no, no and you built a little bit more sturdy you feel me and right in per and, and then I'm, I'm 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 with the shits in person you feel me? that's yeah, a fact course. though yeah, like whatever on. i'm not i don't want to call it crashing out but nigga not gonna disrespect you know, Disrespect me in my face Online yeah. Whatever Like we That's internet games I don't even yeah. give a fuck about that You know what I'm saying Why do you think though that That um, my like stance on Future Lil Durk And these other gangster rappers Dying and going to jail And me praying to God They die and go to jail Why do you think that's harsh well I, well, well, I too share your sentiments of I'm okay with, you know how niggas in the street be like, I don't wish jail or, or nobody. <laughs> Shit. Nigga, I heard niggas say they don't wish jail on nobody who have killed niggas. <laughs> that's crazy. You killed niggas and you yeah. won't wish jail. Yeah, that's I, crazy. I, I, like, jail ain't that terrible. If you, a nigga could do, because like, I've been to jail. Yeah. I'm probably going to go back to jail. Whatever. Now, Hopefully God everything forbid. works out. I mean, I got, I got a case. Yeah. But anyway. Once you get to playing dominoes and spades and you got people cooking for you, you get a little head from a little CO bitch, mm -hmm. you get to get into a routine. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. But when niggas say, man, I don't wish jail on nobody, I be like, man, you just, nigga, you're, you're, you're poisoned and, and brainwashed by street shit. Mm -hmm. You haven't grown. Absolutely. I don't give a fuck. You can't tell me you'll kill a nigga, but don't wish jail on a nigga. Mm -hmm. that, that's worse. Death that's is final. Dumb. Or whatever. So I yeah. share your sentiment. But to, to say that Future's music... um. Like, all right, my music, I've always, my music, no matter what I talk about, I could only tell my story. Mm -hmm. And I don't be, I know to not be irresponsible in that way. Yeah. I never talk about senseless violence. I talk yeah. about, nigga, any violence a nigga could go through my whole catalog. Mm -hmm. I don't talk about robbing niggas. You told your story, I'm, though, right? I told my, but my story is, nigga, get money, hustle. If niggas violate, then you could do absolute violence to them. It doesn't matter. Sure. But, but what, though? always get money first. But, but future. Wait, though, but, though, it has the key word. What are you going to say? He's right? not using drugs. As that's my point. You told your man. story. This fuck nigga had, had the nerve to say. Why he gotta be a fuck nigga man. though, Flacco? Why does he have to be a fuck nigga? Because this fuck nigga. You got you calling niggas wide nose, big headed niggas. <laughs> you talking out. You, yeah. you on a look, rampage. Now listen, and here's why I think he a fuck nigga. So you mean to tell me, nigga, you is, you is greasing your nigga hands with millions of dollars. <laughs> By lying about doing drugs <laughs> and brainwashing kids to do drugs crazy. as well. Crazy right? niggas' hands is crazy. That's a fact, right? You feel me? <laughs> you his, were right, though. Right? Crazy his scrawny, bony nigga hands is being greased with millions of dollars oh by creating a lie. Meaning this, right? Now, if you just telling your story about how much you love to do drugs... I would say you still a fuck nigga, but I somewhat understand. But if you lying about doing drugs, Claudia, you another done drugs. another Red Bull for this man, Claudia, because he's on a roll. Yeah, right. No, look, no. Listen, Wait. if you listen, if you lying about doing drugs, you never done drugs, and the only intention of that is to monetize and get as rich as possible, while you knowing you are destroying lives. You are the most despicable nigga I know. Well, let, well, let me speak from an artist standpoint. Sure. From an artist standpoint. 
when you start doing your music and doing your shit, you just doing you, telling your story, telling what you think. Mm -hmm. Well, I, for other niggas, they say what they think will sound good. I'm just telling my story. Mm -hmm. I have... I, I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that I don't think Future set out to destroy lives. I don't think, at, and a lot of times as an artist, you don't really understand your impact or your influence on people until you, like, get to really see and touch the people. You just making music, putting out niggas, playing in their cars, they playing on the SoundCloud, they playing on the radio, whatever. You don't really personally know your impact. I think, and I'm almost sure if I had to bet on it, if it was a 50-50 bet, I would bet in Future's favor that if he knew it was going to destroy lives and kill people and all that, he wouldn't do that. And then again, Shit. again, like like I, like I if niggas go to jail behind selling some drugs that I told niggas, yo, get money, do your thing, I'm not opposed to that because niggas, it's a risk. It's like a gamble. It's like FanDuel. Mm -hmm. You might get, you might, you, the, the Ravens might blow it, they might win. You know what I'm saying? But the, Wait, what you say, one, like you don't, you don't think... That future knew the impact. So, so first off, that's almost impossible. Now listen, that was that was impossible. Listen, oh, yeah. oh, 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 go ahead because I got a point for you. Yeah, How was that? We on a facto show. Sure, yeah, yeah come on. Shh, listen, this ain't off if the record, nigga. Yeah, listen, we got yeah. Course, listen, no, let me hear this. If you reach the level that future reached, where like you're seeing, bro, it's like, yo, and it's a cultural movement. No, I need nigga. some food for this, right? Like it's a movement, a right? A lot of niggas fuck bitches a and Gucci flip flops. Up dirty sprite, right? Like it's a cultural movement where, like, yo, people are are, are like picking up pills and lean right now because it's a cultural movement. So, what I'm telling you this, bro, is once you get to the point where he got brought to where, like, it's a cultural movement now of doing lean and popping pills because of him. Now you can ignore it. Now listen, if you just like a local rapper, right, who's popping your shit and you go viral once or twice. It's hard to really see the impact of it. But if you're a future and you're witnessing a cultural movement and a shift in culture, right? So now, like, it used to be cool to, to, to like, sell drugs and get money. Now it's cool to be a fucking druggie, right? And a junkie. Mm. And that's because of mm. future, right? Preach. Right? Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't, you can't just say it's because of future. You come come on, Flock. You can't just say You can't just say it's because of future that niggas is. A lot of niggas were doing drugs before future. And I'm going to tell you this. Me being a New Yorker, drugs the, the use of drugs is not really prevalent pre mm -hmm. prevalent in our culture. Okay. As well as hey, y'all you loud as fuck. The as as well as the um the, the frequenting of strip clubs. Yeah. It's not really that prevalent. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I think through I think through music is um shifted uh uh music influences mm -hmm. and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Influence cultures, whatever, whatever. Now, um, the drug use out on my times going out of town, like I said, I used to, I used to send pills to Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I had a nice little beautiful white bitch that would sell some pills for me. You know what I'm saying? Niggas would use them. This is past the statute of limitation. Yeah. But in New York, them same pills would make zero dollars. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that culture is what it is in different places and facets of the world. We can't, we can't just blame. Future and say, yo, he he's the the reason and the, and the purpose of that because niggas you like so for example, down south, mm -hmm. different places like that. You know why niggas use drugs? So because it's and as opposed to New York, New York is always some shit open. It's always some shit to do. Mm -hmm. Like nigga, like in in the south, I don't know about now, but be, before the south, you go to the mall, you mm -hmm. go to the strip club, you use drugs, you chilling your hood. Yeah. Like, it ain't no corner store open at 3, 4, 5 in the morning. Yeah, it ain't no after hours. Fact it ain't multiple clubs. Like, niggas is bored. Nigga, that's what niggas do. That's a fact, though. Yeah. So, by him just saying drug, I feel like he's just telling his story. And if other niggas are stupid enough to say... But, if he, it wasn't his story, though, F. Nigga, if he's saying, yo, I'm but, smoking but crack, and niggas start smoking crack, that's dumb. No, 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 no. F, right? So, listen. Right? So, listen, F. Now, you're a rapper, right? So, you know this. There's an FCC rule that states, yo... Amen. That you can play the same artist song more than four times in a three-hour span. And you know why? Because mm, wow, so music is hypnotic, meaning this. If I say boopity boop boop. Round of applause right? for Flacco coming here dropping a fact. I didn't even know that. Facto, yeah, right? If I say boopity boop boop once. What the fuck? Bro, that shit trash, right? Uh, no, sorry. If I say, yo, I love sucking dick once, right? You say, yo, say, hey, yo, 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 y
if I rap social stand and say, yo, I love sucking dick, right? If who? If I repeat. Hey, we'll have none of that. You so got to use that quote. Yeah, like, well, like, 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 if you say, right? 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 Not sucking dick. We never come no, on. No, 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 no. You no, said no, some no, shit about Wiz Khalifa. Wait, 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 wait. Russell, look. Russell, look. Too much. Wait, wait, so look. Russell, look. So if I blast a saucy song, right, of yo, I love sucking dick, right? Once. You will say, hey, yo, pause, nigga. You gay ass nigga. Around the tenth time, you bump your head like, okay, I love sucking dick. But well, not me, I wouldn't. Cool. Around the hundredth yeah. time, nigga, you go into his concert screaming, I love sucking dick. Around the thousandth time, nigga, you wondering how dick tastes, nigga. <laughs> That's just the fact. It's scientifically proven, nigga. It's not me saying What it. type of science is that, nigga? It's hypnotic. Scientology? Music, <laughs> listen. Your science is wrong. Music is a form of hypnosis. Meaning this, right? Music is literally used to hypnotize people for hypnotic therapy. So if I'm using music, right, to program you to think that sucking dick is cool, you're going to start sucking dick by the 5,000 listens. That's disagree. a fact. Look at, look, look at little Nas X. What? He's promoting that shit. Nigga ain't jacking him. And that's the wonderful thing about what? music. There's so many options and choices that you're not stuck in the threshold of mm -hmm. bullshit and like, dick sucking music. Bullshit though, Al. So it's like a choice. There's so many right. drugs out. It's hey, you know what my drug you, of choice is? You choose like the My drug of choice is bitches. So sure. I like to do. Sure. Niggas like to play games. Hey, bro, you had Niggas the baddest, like to, listen, you had the baddest chick I've ever seen in my life yesterday. That was, just plenty, bro, just plenty more where that came from, bro, I promise I said, you. Bro, I said, bro, Spanish chick, about five foot seven, light skin, like, 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 like she was thick a little bit, of, but, but still slimming. I said, bro, ass fucking them out here like this. I'm, let me keep Nigga, it buck. God damn, that bro, bitch, I can wait to get some money, man. That bitch was a disposable camera to me. Really? Oh, fact, though. Fact, though. Yo, that's but crazy, I, I did, right? At this point, once, maybe twice, I do I'll check my last one, bitch, like that, bro. Man, I'll give you an Instagram. You can go from there. No, no, no. <laughs> In fact, me, no, we don't have... <laughs> you know what I mean? That's crazy. Man, but anyway, no, there's many wait, drugs. Wait, if wait niggas... Though, right? if, no, no, wait, though. Uh, and he said, well, there's Lil Nas X out here, and there's not a slew of hip-hop fans wanting to suck dick now. I'm going to say this, right? You tell me a nigga who listened to Lil Nas X on a daily basis who's not sucking dick. Who? I don't know. I don't be. Exactly my point. He might have a point. point. I can promise he you, nigga. He has a point. He has a point. <laughs> I, I, I but I don't to that point, YK. Hey, come he on has now. a point. I got to give you that. That's the point. But, That's but then Lil Nas X is a choice. I can go in and search Lil Nas X on Spotify, but sure. I don't. Sure, but as with though, right? So look. So where does the option of a choice come in if I'm a kid in middle school and I go to, you know, a, a school party that's being played? I'm in the car and the radio is playing that. I go to school, my friends is blasting that. After a while, nigga, of hearing the same song five times in a day involuntarily, I'm going to go home and search it up and start bumping it too. I'm, right. I'm, and, and as you say this, I'm, yeah. let me take off my shades. Because as you say this, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to take it back to a time yeah. when I was a kid in high school, and I'm thinking about choices. Mm -hmm. So I made a conscious choice to listen to BG, Chopper City, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't pushed. I made a conscious choice. Now, BG was shooting dope, nigga. Did, he stole my dope did, dick. Did he rap or no? Uh, I don't I, Well, hey, according I, to I, WAC 100 and, and with... Hey, I have a real nigga, though. Hey, listen, man. I have a real nigga, bro. So, I'll be real, though, Av. Like, you don't, like, name a couple questionable idols now, bro. For me, Pac was the first one. I said, whoa, nigga. Like, like, bro, he took pussy, nigga. That's your idol? I don't know. Now, BG. I'm just saying. Man, I come listen, on now. All hey, I'm saying, bro. I listened to an album. I was, I'm just hey, trying to make I, a point. Hey, man, shit. BG was talking about dope dick and, and New Orleans nigga, niggas. Nigga, dope that, dick. Hold, 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 hold I'm going to try to tell you. Hold, 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 hold up now, nigga. That's, That's the thing. BG, BG was rapping about Is how that, dope. You heard of that? How dope a nigga dick was? Right. I know folks heard of that. In New Orleans, yeah. niggas that sniff a little dope and they'll fuck a bitch. It's called giving them the dope dick. Mm. Same way niggas be on perks and shit out here. Right, like, right, right. Uh, niggas okay, rap about okay. perks. I never use a perk. I don't, like, that ain't my shit. Right, and I was a, a high school kid. You, that. Wait. I never said, let me use dope, because I'm like, nigga, you was dope fiend, you a junkie, and that's that. So you enjoyed listening to BG rap about how immaculate his dick game is after Well, absolutely, absolutely not, because but you, he but didn't you rap about that. Him. He said, something, something, moving slick, hit a bitch with the dope dick. However he said it. So he's and bragging that was the, about... How immaculate his dick game is off the dope. Well, niggas rap about that all the time. I rap about time. that. You enjoyed it though, right? Like, I didn't. I didn't enjoy it. I, I heard it. 
Man, because it's different. Man, listen Look, up, nigga, man. you won't catch me. If the you first won't example you me. give me <laughs> you is won't catch BG. Me. Listen, he said, bro, back in my glory days, man, bro, I listened to BG and rap about that dope right. dick. Right. Nigga. Well, listen. Nigga. Huh? There, there's a saying where you shouldn't throw stones if you live in a glass house. It's true. Okay. And I watched you yeah. uh, Google a picture of a man's penis. Of course. And then show it to other niggas. It's revenge porn. You're sharing it. I'm a whole ass nigga, You though. shared it with him. Okay. BG a real nigga, though, right. You feel me? I'm a whole ass nigga. I know this. My name is Poetic Flacco, and I'm a rat. I'm a whole ass nigga. And listen up, bro. My pronouns, right? Listen. My pronouns is F. Listen. F. My pronouns, right, F? Yeah. Is I'm a rat, whole ass Jewish nigga. Mm. Feel me? That's my pronoun. Jewish for what? Like you, you stingy with the money? I'm a rat, whole ass nigga, Jewish nigga. So meaning, <laughs> hey, if I so meaning this nigga, come and fuck with me if you want, nigga. Mm. I'm a rat and I'm Jewish, nigga. I'm undefeated. See, you, you absolutely you can't are. Fuck with me, lie. nigga. <laughs> I'm a rat and I'm the most protected class, nigga. I'm Jewish. Look, you can't fuck with me, nigga. Look, here's the thing. I don't, I think. The word rat only uh uh um is, should be used. I don't I don't think it applies to you because you're not in the street doing business with your friends and then you turned around and like because here's where niggas get rat True. from the term. True. They get it from the mafia. Dick yeah. Rider mafia movies wanna be John Gotti and all these niggas. This way that's that's what's wrong with black culture. Mm -hmm. We do niggas dick ride us a lot and influence, but we take over niggas culture and run with it as law. So the rules of the mafia, you never telling your friends. It's in sure. many movies, right? right. Absolutely. As, as a civilian, as a as a working man, as a businessman, doing doing your thing, there's never no rat and shit. And unless Wait, unless me and you go drive in the car and then you like, oh, Troy Evans smoking weed in the car, officer. Sure. Now that's some rat shit, and I don't no, think you would do that. No, but listen, no, watch. <laughs> you don't know, nigga. You feel me? <laughs> oh, 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 boy, you don't. Yeah, hey, 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 listen up, man. <laughs> boy, you in for a rude awakening, nigga. Oh my god. And we in that vehicle, nigga, right? And them boys pull. Pull us over, man. Feel me, man. Listen up, man. Feel me. Drugs and guns in that car. Oh, yeah. I, I said, ass, 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 you gonna tell him? Oh, listen, man. Ass, ass, you gonna tell him, folks? It's a good right? thing this nigga can't fit in my Ferrari. Okay, Fast. on to the next. Fast. No, 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 no. On but to listen, the no, next. No, no, right, no, no, wait, though. But, but listen. And here's why I claim the title of a rap, like, proudly, right? Listen, bro. If I go to a rapidly rapper, nappy nigga page, right? If I go to a nappy rapidly rap nigga page, right? A rapidly rap ass nigga. And I see, bro. Wait, hold up now, bro. So last month, he had a Bands Coop. This month, he got a Rolls Royce. The next year, he got a Lambo truck. Oh, no, nah, he winning too much, nigga. Oh, no. Nah, hell no, nah, nigga. I got to find something, right? So if I know, oh, I hey, like nigga. That. I right? like that, nigga. <laughs> so, so I said, hey, bro, he winning too much, nigga. I got to find something. So that's when I started my investigation, nigga. Like, oh, he got beef. In Milwaukee with this local rapper, but he mm. got an interview there. Oh, 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 I know he's strapped. Oh, guess what? Oh, guess what? And he's a felon. Mm. So I know you not going to no city without protection beefing with a local rapper. Oh, hey, sir, there's this rapper, you know, who's doing an interview, blah, 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 right? Because listen, right? Because look, these whole ass niggas always love to post, hey, yo, this got done with the best interview ever. Oh, word. Mm -hmm. Just Google where that place is. You see that a lot at No Jumper. Facts, right? Mm -hmm. Listen. Just, blah, 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 blah. Hey, yo, he's over here, and, and he got a gun. <laughs> Anonymous tip. Don't, listen, so look. Anonymous tip. Don't know it came from me. X Punch made Dev how he got arrested. You feel me? Anonymous, what? Anonymous what? tip. Don't know it came from me. Hey, bro, he just came over cool here. Low. He got a gun. What happened when Punch made Dev? Oh, he I've never heard this guy's name, but wait, he got arrested for what? Uh, for again, for going to a city where he got beef with niggas and carrying a gun, knowing he don't have the right right to to bear arms. <laughs> On oh, an anonymous tip, <laughs> anonymous tip, cops pull him over. Hey, feel me? And take that gun from that nigga, man. Feel me? Oh, guess what though, Af? Hey, hey, guess what though? What? Uh, and he had the nerve to diss me. <laughs> Like, like, right, feel me? <laughs> and he had the nerve to pick a fight with Flacco. Right. Man, listen up, bro. That was, listen. A, bad, that was a bad mistake, bad decision. <laughs> Man, quick. <laughs> listen up, bro. But, Ab, listen up. But, Ab, bro, what I seen, bro, bro, listen, man, like, and he was a 2K uh, YouTuber nigga. Yeah. Started rapping. And each and every month, bro, like, his changes kept getting bigger. Mm -hmm. Calls getting bigger. I'm already hating. And Flacco, you give me you a reason. Never, you, you should never be a hater. Shit. You should never be a hater. Shit. 
Wow. That's what I'm saying. She never be a hater. L- all right. Wow. So let me get back to my point that you okay. try to veer me away okay. from. You're very good at this. So. Okay. So you're saying that. Uh, let me get my. my yeah. My, uh, Oh, Derb's going, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called charcuterie. Oh, uh, charcuterie? Hey, rich nigga shit. Come yeah, on now, man. Yeah, yeah. Derbs. Charcuterie, they nigga. They know all Derbs, nigga. Charcuterie, nigga, man. Come How on, man. How do we say it? Right? Claudia, I'll have another drink, please. Charcuterie, Damn it, I'm getting lit today. Come on. All right. So, let's, man, let's see. You try to veer away from the point, but no problem. Come on, man. Uh. <laughs> hey, yo. Rich nigga shit. Hey, yo. Come on, man. Rich nigga shit. Man, come on, man. Hold on. Man. We got to hit you with one of these. <laughs> we got to do it again. Come we got to hit it with the... All right, Paul. Wait a minute. Claudia, Claudia, we need you. I suppose I can't do this. Wait, Claudia, can you come here, please? Because it's kind of... Uh, yeah, your, your family, Paul. It's kind of mook, It's kind of mookish if I do it. Can you uh please, feather bro. this man while he has uh grapes, please, on camera? I think this is oh, above oh. my pay. A woman has to, don't come worry, come it'll come be come the come bonus. Come 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 it's feather him. Come on, He's in New York. This is no face. <laughs> no, no face. Just a hand of visibly a woman. Hey, listen, nigga. Hey, listen, nigga. Round right hey, of applause. Nigga. Hey, listen, nigga. He can't do that. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing what that. do broke ass niggas know about? And eating grapes. Drinking cool water while wow, white girl fan you, nigga. They don't know nothing about that. Man, come on, man. At all. No, come on, man. That's that's some high level come Kobe Bryant shit. Nigga. All right. So get it fan by a leaf <laughs> eating grapes while a white girl is fan you, nigga. That's a fact. That's a fact. Oh, this nigga, is craziness, bro. You whole ass niggas, ain't, bro. Hey, only on the facto yeah, on, show. Man. Only on the facto show. You whole ass niggas ain't living like this, bro. Right? At all. Again. At all. Again. You fucking snaggle too, sissy. You is in a prison cell right now, nigga. Right? Feel me, right? And try not to get fucked. You feel me, right? To get eaten. <laughs> Are you talking Corn about this, and sardines. All right, and not this broken nigga that works for Angela E. That's Nagel Two okay. Sissy is in a jail cell right now eating cornbread and sardines. Smoking K2. Try not to get fucked. Smoking K2 and having men sex. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm on a factor show getting fanned down eating grapes uh-huh. and cacoteries, nigga. And no, wait, Life wait. Good. And not only that, those are organic grapes, right? Mm. Uh, Claudia, yeah, only organic grapes. Man, we on. don't even know what the organic grapes mean. We just want to pay extra because we have no budget here. Man, right. come on, man. Anyway, so as you said, let's get back to your, your point. original point about yeah. uh, Juice World. He said that Future is responsible for Juice World's death yes. and he wishes uh, nothing but... Jail on a nigga and any everything bad to him and a nigga like him. Yes. Now here we are. I disagree. Though. Let us. Oh, no, oh, I, I got this. As us both being people who are we're not we're not shy or we don't. We, I, I would call us real niggas because we have people that influence us and we give them their flowers every chance we get. You know what I'm saying? Um, if there's a guy that influenced me, Fifty Cent. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Gave Fifty Cent his flowers. Fifty at first he was a little. Uh, like being, I want to say hater, but standoffish, not knowing, and then he embraced me. Cool. Mm-hmm. Now you, sir, you influenced by one of the one of the greats, the uh, DJ Academics. Mm-hmm. Round of applause for our guy right here, right? Yeah. Cool. I see Academics didn't do the the Little Wayne. He, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. Little Wayne did the Young Thug. He did the right thing, right? Show sure love. Now, if Academics and all his bullshit wars, Chirac talking craziness, mm-hmm. right? If now you you talk outrageous, you mm-hmm. remind me of War Chirac on steroids. Nah. I'm just saying, I've, I've seen you. Yeah, I've seen you. Okay, okay. I listen. watch your shit. Mm-hmm. You probably you and Wack are the only niggas on No Jumper that I watch. I fuck with Brick Baby, but I I tune into y'all niggas. I'm adult, man. Right? Yeah. So you talk crazy. Mm-hmm. Now if something was to say happen to you, not on my watch, not in New York, but if you went somewhere and somebody said, "There's Flacco, let's fucking." Smack the shit out of him, wedgie him, mm-hmm. even though he's gonna call the cops. Mm-hmm. Let's just do it. Yeah. Is academics to blame? No. Well, why not? Because Futures is blamed for uh, Juice World's death. No. Because War in Iraq ain't influenced me to start this. But you did. Now, nigga, get this nigga out of here. <laughs> I'm show it over. He ain't right? full of shit. So blame Troy. <laughs> that was a good spin move right it's there. It's that simple. You feel me? That was, like a good spin move. That, was a good, that was a good spin move. Right. Speaking of spin moves and putting uh, date rape drugs in women's drink, um, you said that uh, mm-hmm. Big Sean had something in common with Charlemagne the God, meaning they both had rape cases placed on their head. Uh, 
Well, I didn't know about the Big Shaw shit. I knew about Charlemagne with the Desiree girl when she was, I don't think it was 15. A big I think it was like one of the big Oh, you, oh no, you no, wasn't here. Hell no. Flacco has inside information. Yeah. This nigga, he, he's no. high level. He's like hey, he's like playing hey, on on, on real excellent. Quick, please. Yeah, he's real, real, this is recent. Uh, no, not recently. This is back, back, right? Well, Way back, this. red and black lumberjack. Right, yeah, yeah. This is no, listen, like, no. The, like me. He was accused of gang raping a 17 year old. Gang rape is crazy. 17 ain't as bad as 16, 15. But gang rape is crazy. If what does gang rape mean? Three, four niggas? No, it, it was him and his his big black ugly homie who was <laughs> you feel me like you know you know uh, I, taking pussy. I you know, know his homie was big black ugly. It was him have we his seen big, him? Huh? Have we seen him? His, his, yeah, ugly. Lord. Yeah, you call bro, that, bro? Ugly <laughs> nigga, man. You call a lot of niggas some outrageous shit. Nah, I, this was I ugly thought nigga, I was man. outrageous. I ain't gonna lie, my nigga. You outrageous. This was one ugly nigga, man. Are you ever in fear? Cause you go to no jumper often. That's your place of business. Are you ever in fear of niggas pulling up? Like I asked Whack, like Whack, are you in fear of Big U pulling up on you? Dad, no jumper. You know what I'm saying? Is it well like what makes look, you this fearless of <laughs> Look? <laughs> what niggas would come see you? Uh let's let's pull it up. So let's pull up real quick, man. The people want to know when will uh, look, Flacco do a show in Atlanta? Look, bro, bro book me whenever. <laughs> listen, 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 hey, hey, listen, hey, some more in the building, man. Listen, book, li listen, listen, man, listen, <laughs> listen. If y'all want me to come to fourth world, third world, first world, second world, if I'm right again, don't be stingy with that cheddar, cause bro, I see how Troy Ave is living. I see the whole Troy Ave got, nigga. <laughs> You feel me? And I'm trying to live like that too. So, I think it's a right? zone. You feel me? So you go to zone four. Well, zone, zone four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, oh, man, nigga, right? Give me that check, right? Listen, 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 listen. Me, I'm coming through. Creep the Guafi is coming through, right? Folks is coming through. Two real is coming through. Troy Ab is coming through. No, I'm not man. coming through, nigga. Me? I, uh, <laughs> I did nigga tell you, not Ab. Listen, I got Troy you in New coming, York, nigga. New Jersey. Troy Ab is coming, nigga. Going there. Listen. Did you see the size Listen. of the guns in Atlanta? We what? can't even carry those. We can't even buy those yeah, out that here. Shit was crazy. All them guns that they still can't slide for their homies is crazy. Now, this is outrageous. Listen, all, all right. them choppers, AKs, whatever. Listen, Iraqi and guns, and they still can't slide for their homie, bro. Lord Marlo still ain't. Listen, listen up, bro. Listen up, bro. Young Dolph passed away, right? Oh, fucking right, okay, young Dolph. Listen, young Dolph passed away. A comedian nigga made a funny joke about Young Dolph and was dead within two hours, mm. right? Round of applause. Young to Dolph the, uh, homies been sliding. To the pre. Immaculate. And they still sliding. You mean to tell me, bro, Lil Marlon passed away, man, and baby still in slide for Lil Marlon? Man, yes, come on now. Man. But back to Sean, man. Look at this, bro. Right? So, Big Sean and a friend called Willie Hansbro. Oh, that's a definitely a rapist name. Willie. Any nigga <laughs> named Willie is up to no hey, good. Willie. <laughs> Willie. <laughs> Willie. <laughs> Any had, nigga named Willie is up to no good. That's a fact. A fact, right? Had each been charged with forcible touching, second degree unlawful imprisonment, and third degree sex abuse after a 17 year old girl told police she was sexually assaulted, right? Um, and, and after a Wiz Khalifa concert where Anderson performed. Now, they both, right? Both pled guilty to a single count of second degree unlawful imprisonment. No, so, he didn't. So listen. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. They pled guilty. So listen, right? So look, they said, hey, listen, man. What's unlawful imprisonment? That's crazy. You kidnapped the bitch to take her pussy. Right? But, right? But, but, now listen. Maybe they couldn't get an Uber. Hey, listen. We sat here and we said, yo, Lil Boom got to go for a plane down, right? It don't matter, nigga. We see the footage and you pled guilty. You got to go. That's a fact. Big Sean pled guilty to some outrageous shit. Now, if he was innocent, but take it to trial, nigga. Right? Listen, Thug said, hey, nigga, fuck the DA, fuck the judge, nigga. We taking this shit to trial, nigga. Right? Do you so, believe Thug is innocent? Fuck no, nigga. Okay. <laughs> fuck no, nigga. So, listen. And hey, listen, nigga. Hey, hey listen, nigga. Listen up, bro. Free young thugs, listen, man. listen up, bro. Stupid, ugly little nigga, man, taking it to trial. No one did. Well, sorry. He, listen, he ain't even have no option. Nigga said, bro, ain't no plea deal, nigga. You, you doing like. But Sean played, but Sean played guilty to it though. So you telling me now, right? Do you feel comfortable, or would you ever interview Big Sean here? Yeah, I would. So after Big Sean done played guilty to something as outrageous like that, you would interview. Bitches be lying. He played guilty, nigga. What the fuck? Listen, the, the, he probably what? didn't know her age at the time. He, 
Oh, come on. Yeah, you know, if, I tell you, listen, if I'm making millions and... and, and what year and, was this? It's probably like... Pledged, you're fucking, the kidnapping her, bro. I think it was like, what? Like... No, bro. 2000. 11 some listen, 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 listen. And I ain't gonna lie, not knowing a bitch age is never no excuse. No. Unless she give you a fake ID. But it's past that though, right? But if look, a bitch look a little right bit here. young, I'm no. yo, let me see ID. Listen, right? Listen, no. It, it's past that though, right? And he ain't just fucked the bitch. He kidnapped the bitch, stopped her from fucking leaving, and took the pussy. And, and pled guilty to stopping the bitch from leaving and kidnapping. No. Man, listen. Minus, right? This <laughs> nigga was, listen, this nigga was probably perked up and feeling so bad for some pussy. That he kidnapped a hoe to fuck her, man. Niggas like, come on, perks, man. Niggas do perks in Detroit? Right. I thought it was mushrooms and shit. Hey, listen. Mushrooms, psycho, does whatever, my nigga. And his dick was throbbing. Him and, and Willie. Right? Him and Willie. Well, and then you time? saying that you don't give a fuck and you interview. I would. See, hey, man, listen, yeah. man. It's, it's, hey. it's my choice. No, it's, it's, it's my choice. No, 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 the same way the now, Juice World Future. It's, if you, it's my choice. Facts, if you look. interviewed him and he told you, he admitted to you that he did that to a bitch, what would you do? You better, bro, you better. I'm just saying, bro. I smack, I smack, I smack the shit out of him. Say his interview over, nigga. He's a Fat, fucking I mean, pedo. I'm just saying. I mean, if he say that, hey, I'm probably, yeah, it's different. Like if, but he does say I, though. He played guilty to it. I interview R. Kelly. Got a point. <laughs> no, you got a point. <laughs> he played guilty to well, it. now on the other hand, I would interview R. Kelly. I want it. Why? Because it's an interesting why? story there. He, he, did, no, he did worse. Did he? he did worse. Did he? Would you interview Diddy? Uh, Brother Love. Yeah, no, we not. We not. It's a, it's there's no Diddy slander here. You're in New York. I'm asking. Y'all outrageous. Anyway. First of Listen. all, R. Kelly, like I said before, mm -hmm. I said again, if R. Kelly gets 50 years for whatever he did mm -hmm. with those kids, those parents that bought those kids should split that time. Yeah. Yeah, you get a five, you get a five, you get a five, you get a five. That's a fact, because they, they uh, facilitated that bullshit. Now, wait till, right? So also, too, right? Let's be clear, though, right? Mm -hmm. like, I just want to point out you haven't answered the question yet what, that what? I asked you, but what? Yeah, no. I, no. you've been Listen, spinning though. the whole time. No, yeah, no. no yeah. Wait, uh, though. No, look. No, no, look. So... So I said I was influenced by Troy Ave. So so if Bullshit, I get God. hurt by repeating Troy Ave's mantra, then blame Troy Ave. No, no, no. I'm not talking about my mantra. I'm talking about you standing up in front of a camera yeah. and saying outrageous shit where even I'm looking at like, did this nigga just say this? Hold on. I got to call somebody. Yo, look at what this nigga because just Troy said. Troy Ave told me. Nigga, you call a woman a, a cum drinker, cum spiller, and her lips, are, her face is good for nothing, but yes. you talk, it's, nigga, because you Troy talk told crazy. Me, you said Troy dirty Bronx me, rappers. <laughs> yeah, of course, listen, why? Because Troy Ave told me all these niggas is pussies, these niggas is hoes, these rappers ain't shit, the street shit is a myth. So if I believe... Then I didn't even say that. <laughs> I, so, I didn't say that. So if I interpret it like you saying the streets, yeah, right. the, the streets are a myth ass, bro. These niggas is hoes and pussies, play mm -hmm. with them. And I play with them niggas. And I get hurt from playing with some real niggas. <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> Blame Troy Ave. Oh, my gosh. This is outrageous, only, right? man. It's outrageous. It's only fear, right, Ave? Nah, I mean, no. I'm not admitting <laughs> to that, nigga. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, I'm, I'm not admitting to that. Yo, look, um, this, this is what I wanted to know. Um, What's up, man? I, I wanted to know, like, I asked you, like, mm -hmm. how are you not in... In fear at no jumper with all the shit you talk about of somebody running up, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I always wanted to know that sure, because you sure guys place the first time I ever went to no jumper to do an interview, yeah. it was all secretive and yeah, yeah. You go around here, it's a private location. Now everybody fucking knows it's like a workplace. Yeah. Like the first time I went, that shit was in a garage. Mm -hmm. Now it's like to the public, you know what I'm saying? So what's to prevent uh, the wild yelling in LA? So a blood or a crip or the pie rules or the Oh, uh, you know what I mean? To uh, come through. Sure. Hey, listen. I, I learned real early on in life, right? Probably right. Probably like at the age of 16 years old, right? Mm -hmm. That niggas are only tough with other niggas. That's a, That's fact, a fact, though. Round of applause fact, right? for this nigga That's learning this shit early in life. We just spoke about that the other day. If all mm -hmm. that shit with niggas get extorted and the, like the mafia, I'm going to break your windows, nigga, just call the cops. Mm -hmm. And that'll be the end of that. I Niggas run away with you. Oh, you a snitch ass nigga. Yeah, but I'm you're not gonna you. take two thousand dollars a week from me. <laughs> listen, <laughs> right. listen, listen. No, no, listen. These niggas are big bad with tough niggas. No, sorry, they're big bad with other niggas, man. But as soon as you bring a white man in a black suit, these niggas is terrified. Yes, sign, sir. No, please, sir. Yes, sir. That white man these bang on that door for that rent. <clears throat> you and your mother get out the apartment. <laughs> you're thrown out. Like, they leave. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Now. So look, so now I know, right, that there's a 
Blonde hair, blue eye, white man called Adam Twenty Two in that building. We gotta put that on the shirt. And I know <laughs> niggas are only tough with other niggas. That's gotta be on the shirt. I, I'll be real. So, so I know that no matter how tough them niggas say they are with other niggas, that them niggas ain't tough enough to come and touch no white man. You feel me? Out of applause. So, as Black long K. as that white man is in that building with security, I know I'm safe in that building under the umbrella of whiteness. Now, right now, outside that building. I don't want to breathe another nigga after 5 p.m. Meaning, minute, minute, bro, minute, bro. I don't want to smell another nigga. I don't even want to know what a Negro smells like at 5:01 p.m. I'm sorry, right? So my protection is I don't go around. I don't hang with niggas. I don't chill with niggas. I make my content. I make money for me, right? Mm -hmm. I am cooling. So at no jumper, I know I'm safe because these niggas ain't touching no white man. Right, and then I find no jumper. I'm safe because I don't be around no niggas. Has it ever been a time where shit got a little shaky for you? Has it ever been a time where you could be? Oh, oh, it's perfect. So me, I came to no jumper for the second time. The first time everything was hush hush yeah. and and quiet. And the second time mm -hmm. I came to no jumper, I think that's when I met you. Yes, he showed love immediately. I recognized uh, a real nigga because that's what I would do. You know what I'm saying? They call me gay. Listen, love. man. Listen, man. Right. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. After Troy Ave left. These niggas said, bruh, you got a man crush on Troy Ave or something? And I said, hold up now, now, nigga. Rich nigga, suave nigga, all the hoes love him, right? Thorough, stand on his principles. Mm -hmm. Nigga, don't you got a man crush on him too? Round of applause. Yeah. The fuck? Round of applause for Flacco here. The fuck? And I think, I think it's, it's, it's not real show, nigga. If a nigga got an impeccable shape of him, like, nigga, that shape of fire. Nigga, that outfit fire. Like, yeah. I think niggas should, I think more men should just give it up. Like, pause on some niggas show love. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but man. but here's the thing. But Look, I was my, Dick Rodden, though. My, he wasn't Dick Rodden, yeah. but here's the thing. Yeah. A real nigga... A real man is never gonna take it as as dick riding mm -hmm. because you a real man. If you do dope shit, fly shit, mm -hmm. you would expect people to react the way you would react to somebody. Facts. A fake nigga who <laughs> is all through junior high, high school, he never had no bitches, nothing. Now he got fame. Yeah. Now he gonna be oh these niggas on my dick because mm -hmm. he's not used to that. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Just like niggas have start having bitches, but all the bitches used to diss them before. Now they got bitches. They want to just. Be throwing water on bitches and dissing them like, nigga, you should be used to bitches. Now you got more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, it's different type of niggas in entertainment. It's niggas who, you, if you was that nigga before this shit, I was already that nigga. I was already getting money. I was already fucking with bitches. Now I got more and it's just more of a spotlight. These niggas go from zero, mm -hmm. zero to having, and they and now they abuse the power. Sucks. Same way with a fucking a cop that was a dweeb, and he used to get wedgies and beat him up. Now he abuses his power. He That's pulls so. you over yelling, yeah, they, they, these type of niggas. Mm -hmm. But anyway, what what I, what I what I meant to ask you is, the niggas that would say that you were, were dick riding, yeah. I want to ask you and I want to ask everybody here, mm -hmm. and even the audience, chat niggas, real ones, what's worse? A nigga that's showing love to somebody that he fuck with and they call him a dick rider yeah. or a nigga who may have said some foul things about a nigga yeah. and then when he sees that same man, mm -hmm. he says nothing. He puts his hand down right. and he holds, what's right. up? And then puts his head down. That's all the time. That's all I'm time. saying, what's worse? We because boys. because mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't know at the time because nigga, I'm not, I'm not a passive nigga. I'm sure. confrontational. You know what I'm saying? If, yeah. if I had to be. I found out that somebody in no jumper had some shit to say, and I think I even Ooh. I walked on a I don't I don't, I don't know nigga I, nigga that's worth every dollar I don't be knowing niggas name yeah. I don't care, but was he what black or light skin or what like he what? might have been like light skin but but like niggas told me after I think niggas in the comments or whatever was sharp uh -huh. no it wasn't sharp sharp was showing yeah. wild love but but I I walked in like when I came there. I forgot somebody said, yo, they on, walk on to the podcast or something. I walked in live while niggas was recording. Yeah. And it was one of the niggas there. It was like four niggas sitting recording on somebody yeah. in the building. And I walked on and it was none of that fucking energy. Well, who? It was, I, I, I huh? promise y'all, I, I would say a nigga name. Who was it? Who? Who? Whoever you could yell a nigga. I don't know the nigga name. I don't know the nigga look, name. Look, look. I don't know the picture, but it's a fact. They could look in the records. Look, who had no jumper? Show the film. Had, had some clip. shit to say about Troy Abel felt the way because you should have the energy in person. That's how you should always do. Him was it him? Nah, right? 
I don't know. I can't. Uh, okay. I can't well, say. Well, okay. well, yeah. I really can't say. I, yeah. I remember bitches' faces or niggas. It's a problem with. I don't keep mm. on niggas. You know what I'm saying? Who I know jumper is hating on on Latroy. You no, know, it was a nigga who said something. Great, you should have that same energy. Same way you okay. show love, Troy. If I fuck with you, a nigga should come up. Hey, yo, nigga, I don't fuck with you. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh wait, and then take whatever comes with that. Oh wait, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. I think the fans may be instigating a little bit, right? Because I think the conversation, like, and they're talking about. Was where was where like I was on the news right and I was doing my whole thing right where I say yo like Troy Ave is the realest nigga ever right I think that was it yep. um I stand with Troy Ave fuck tax don't fuck these other niggas right mm -hmm. I listen I, I'm riding for Troy Ave and, and you know and my other co-host you know was saying you know nigga you dick riding fuck no rat this rat this right so yeah I think that's what they're talking about right where like I was just just so like. Just so like and over the top, right? And they was kind of like saying, "Nah, but guess what?" So right? whoever whoever that nigga is, he's yeah. he's pussy. Damn. He's soft. He's not a man. He has no integrity. Because me, if a nigga come in here right now that I don't fuck with, mm -hmm. I'm like, get out of here, you bitch ass nigga. Fuck. And I'm gonna get up and remove him. And me and Meek will do violence. <laughs> yeah. And that'd be that. <laughs> yeah. A nigga <laughs> not gonna be in my space that I don't fuck with yeah. or any type of thing. That that's a fact. That's it's not like we in a club and you on the other side of the club. I won't go out my way to go yeah. do something. But yeah. if a nigga's in your niggas be having strong opinions through mm. uh, uh through cameras and that's not real I man shit what, what, should I like call a like suspect right now cause I don't, I don't think no because I because I don't think it was suspect yeah wh wh whoever yeah, yeah, it was yeah. I'm sure I'll be at no jumper again yeah, sure. and they can voice their, their, yeah, their right. opinion you sure. know what I'm saying yeah. but I never want to get in a war of words with men yeah, and shit not. like yeah. I like to either we gonna face time or talk face to face when it's a problem yeah, right. but I just settle like to say is who's more of a sucker and those and that's and mm -hmm. we know who's more of a sucker the yeah. nigga who had a problem with the nigga seen him could have did something and said nothing then voice his opinion mm -hmm. but those are the majority of niggas that will call a nigga being real Mm -hmm. And not suppressing how he feel. True. You can't be watching nigga interviews, rapping nigga songs, and see him and say nothing. That makes you a bitch ass nigga. Facts, of course. And also, but those be the niggas that will turn around and try to call a nigga a, a bitch nigga and a sucker because nigga is really them. It's really the niggas with the fake jury that's Ooh. mad big talking that's about another nigga shit. Yo, it's a fact though. Listen, right? Yo, you know how I knew, brother, like Troy Av was just a real nigga, bro. It's when I seen. Grown men, right? Grown men blaming their field rap career on Troy Ave taking a song they never owned. Like again, again, yeah. again, again. Think about that real quick. <laughs> Grown men are blaming their field. Oh uh, Bobby Lee right? Grown men are blaming their field Sneak rap career. Fucking Flacco got the United Nations in here. <laughs> Grown <Damn> men, <laughs> no, fuck type of shit. Listen, <laughs> hey, listen, no. Him right there, a child soldier. Feel me? Yeah, yeah, for real. A child soldier, like from the fucking uh, Somalia, oh, it was, like it was really like spraying shit, yeah, like like really like spraying shit, yeah, yeah, but child soldier, blood me? diamonds in the pocket to pay yes. the way in the country, yeah, type shit, me? yeah, but come on now, so, bro, what country? Liberia. That's hard. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, but come on I never now, met a real child soldier in Liberia. How many confirmed kills? You in the U.S. It doesn't count. Is it over there? He's worth listen. Hey, uh, <laughs> This ain't no He's Hitler. He's wearing the black rag, but, but like, he don't get This ain't back. no uh, uh, Hitler Jewish shit. Yeah. No. No, no, he no. He just killed black people. Nobody cares. Uh, I'm just, nah, no, I'm just joking. No, I'm joking. No, but. I'm joking. No, but listen, right? Yeah. Nah, listen, right? No, but look. So, yeah, like, I just knew, bro, that your aura was, was just something that attracted hating ass niggas. Because mm. a nigga was blaming his field rap career, even up today. Yeah. <laughs> the, the nigga said, the reason why I didn't make it as a rapper <laughs> is because Troy F. took a song I, I've i never owned, right? Because, wait, listen, because if he owned a song, he would have sued and taken it down, right? Absolutely, you, you absolutely. But because he ain't owned a song, he can't do shit. So when you see, bruh, like you at a point, right, bro, like where like you were still grinding and figuring it out, and you still had grown men trying to like tear you down and hate on you, bro. Like, how did it feel, bro, when you heard niggas blaming their field rap career? Again, again sorry. Mm -hmm. Listen, and I'm direct, right? Yeah, as you should be. It's a fact of show. I'm talking about the wide head, big booty, Manila Rose, nigga. Right, right. You know okay, me? yeah, yeah. Why? Listen, listen up, bro. <laughs> right. That's crazy. Listen, yeah. and listen, and I'm thick, but that nigga is super thick. <laughs> He's thick. No He's nigga thick. should ever be that oh, thick. Wide head, big booty, nigga, Manila Rose, He's right? He's thick all over. 
Don't forget his face is hideous and he looks like he has cervical cancer. But that's another story. Yeah, sorry. Whatever. Yeah, sorry. Got yeah. a layoff on the drinking. No, right. But Yellow eyes. <laughs> it's crazy. It's the downhill fall is crazy. Bro, when I seen an interview recently too where he was blaming his Phil Rap career, ten, like damn near 10 years later, or you taking a song from him and how that make it? Well, feel? I call him Manolo Coke up the nose and this yeah. is the most uh, notoriety he'll he'll get. <laughs> yeah. And that's because I know them from selling him Coke to sniff. So mm -hmm. I know so I know him and his uh his peoples mm -hmm. or whatever. But uh nevertheless, I felt no way because like I say, I ain't new to this, so I'm true to this. Nigga, I come from that. I come from I come from a block or a neighborhood where I don't, I'm not not to diss my whole neighborhood, but I come from where niggas was reading up on ounces and shit and having eight balls and breaking it down. Mm -hmm. And then, nigga, I started with 10 grams, and then I went to five bricks, so, six bricks, you know what I'm saying? Every first and 15. But then I, I came from asking niggas, yo, I need to, yo, where could I buy a 62 at? Mm -hmm. To now, nigga, I'm supplying the block. Mm -hmm. So that comes with hate. The success comes with hate and envy and jealousy, whatever. So it didn't make me feel any way because I knew that, in in rap, in in entertainment, mm -hmm. I hate to not to just down diss rap. In entertainment, period, a nigga hating on you is different from a nigga in the streets. Mm -hmm. It's actually way safer and way more pleasant. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying? nigga hating you on the streets, nigga, you might die, nigga, you might go to jail, nigga, you might get tied up and you have all kind of shit. Nigga hating on you in rap, uh, just some words and and whatever. It could be violence, but whatever. So I felt no way because my previous uh. A career of being a successful nigga, everything I said I was, mm -hmm. is it built me for that. I was feeling away. Look, though, listen up. Like, look, how does Jackie Robinson feel about the racist fan throwing a beer bottle down at him while he's hitting a home run? Huh? Niggas throwing beer bottles, crazy. It's like niggas booing Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Jordan, you boo, we hate you, Jordan, you black so nigga, what? boo. Uh, whatever. Yeah. I'm leaving. Hey, yo, what up, y'all? This your boy Troy Ass, and a new white Christmas is here. This one is a special collector's edition, number 11. They trying to lock me in jail, so we might not get one for a long time. But as always, you know I deliver. I need y'all to go buy it off iTunes and support the real independence. It's out now, so do not wait. God is great, and the paper's straight. Powder. Now listen to what? I knew that Troy Av was a cold nigga, right? When Troy Av was getting richer and richer, while watching Manola Row starve, listen up, right? Listen, bro. And he went from being a, a, a big booty nigga, and he even turned skinny, right? Because he was starving. And Troy Av ain't even give him a dollar, man. Troy's rent, my nigga. I oh, said, come on. Like, like, damn, Troy, bro. Like, bro, this nigga went from being a big booty thick nigga. Now he's skinny, his jawline showing, he's starving. And you up M's, man, and, and give him a dollar, man, for that song, man. Well, well his, well, his, <laughs> yeah, his on, thing man. with that song. Cold niggas, Troy. That song is my song. I owe him nothing. I owe him nothing. I well, owe him starving, though. I own the beat. I, it's not my He's <laughs> yeah. still starving. He's he's selling weed, allegedly, in the hood. Damn. Not, he doesn't own a dispensary. He's just selling weed. In the hood? Yeah, in the hood. There's a fact, though. <laughs> oh, man. And that nigga's starving, man. Hey. That, that's crap. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up now, bro. You mean to tell me, man, all right? That Tax Stone crashed out so bad. His name is Ratstone. Sorry. We address these niggas by their name up here. <laughs> Sorry. With respect. Sorry. We have to address it by their name the up here. Snaggle Tooth Sissy Ratstone. Right. Crashed the out so bad. K2 smoking, man sex having. <laughs> Ratstone. Uh, right. There you go. Crashed out so bad that he let that he left his homies out here selling weed on the corner. Like, well, niggas, after their run. Niggas is who they going to be. And I always say that, man. Crazy, man. You are who you were. You is who you gonna be, nigga. Like straight up, if niggas was bum ass niggas before, yeah, there's no amount of uh, clout and and success. You're gonna retreat back to being a bum ass nigga, just like a bitch who you meet in the strip club or whatever, and she's a whore, whatever the fuck she it's is, floor. and you try to take out the game, and then what nigga shit don't work out, she's going back to that. Mm -hmm. So you are who you were. It's a fact. These niggas bum. You always look back to a nigga's first video. Any you pick a rap out of hat. Mm -hmm. Look back to their first video. That's who they are. Mm. Nigga talking about being a kingpin. No, nigga, you was broke. You was dirty on the block. That's who you are internally, nigga. Yeah. And I know how to tap into those insecurities and tap into those feelings of who the fuck you really are. Of course, man. Because niggas don't, niggas might uh, uh, change on the surface, but in their heart, if you, that's who you are. If you a yeah. pussy nigga in your heart, nigga, you can't portray to me like you a tough nigga. I'm going to see through that. It's a fact. If you a hoe in your heart, and now you got mad followers, and now all you dating is 
fucking high level uh, niggas who play big contracts for teams and yeah. you're still a whore. Listen, it's a fact though. Yo, listen, Russell. Look. I'm not fooled by the surface. Now listen. So here's how I knew that them niggas was just bum ass starving niggas, right? Mm-hmm. They got to a point where pick a name out of hat. It's a it's countless bum ass starving sorry, niggas sorry. running around New York uh, City. Rastone, yeah, and Manolo Rosa, them niggas, right? Okay. Here's how I knew them niggas were just bums, right? They was getting booked for seven hundred and fifty dollars in Texas, right? And these motherfuckers was packing up the caravan. Driving to Texas. Driving to Texas is crazy. But then, right? Driving to Texas. Driving to Texas is crazy. Yeah. They comment on social media (sighs) and popping their shit as if these niggas was winning trophies. Meaning these niggas was... YK hit that round of applause button. YK. YK, (laughs) can't roll me, YK. Because that's why this my man. That's crazy, right? We're like-minded. I always thought a niggas going a couple of niggas yeah. might be mad. But it was popping it, man. A couple of niggas might be mad. I don't, yeah. I don't care who I offend, nigga. Yeah. The shoe fits. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to personally offend anybody, but if the shoe fits. Yeah. If a nigga say, man, fucking, I hate dark skin niggas, <laughs> yeah. I'm dark skin. All right, whatever, nigga. Uh, yeah, but cool. I don't think you per- personally talk about me. But okay. I always felt like it was some bum nigga <laughs> shit. <laughs> To drive 18, 24 hours from New York to Texas or for New York to Florida. For, man. For, for anything. Yo, it's Memorial Weekend. We're going to drive down to Florida. Are you shitting me? You know they had planes, right? You know this is the year 2020, 20, 10, 15, 20, 24. Why are you niggas driving? You niggas is fucked up on the paper side. Listen, Don't say oh, we, want, we want to bring the straps down. Okay, let a nigga go drive with the straps, and you niggas fly. There's no fucking way. I yeah. o- whenever niggas told me, yeah, yo, we took the road trip, we drove. Mm-hmm. I always, and he even was, he was friends of mine. Yeah. Like, like some of the friends of mine, close. I'm gonna speak. I'm like, Good. how the fuck y'all niggas driving, nigga? That's some bum nigga shit. Now nah, you know niggas just wanted to take the trip. Nah, and yeah, niggas was fucked up on the paper side, nigga. <laughs> Man, yeah, come on have up, it. Yo, now, what's even worse shit. is this, right? It's that these niggas, like, here, listen. So, if your trophy, if you winning it, if you, if your I made a moment is you driving 18 hours to get paid $750 for a show in Texas, bro, can, bro, can you imagine, like, what's, like, what's your starving moments? Well, again, if, nigga, I made it is, I'm driving to Texas to break down $750 among five niggas. My manager, my booking agent, and the three goons. If that's your I made a moment, what's the happen for you, nigga? And and, nigga, and, what, and, like, and look, Flacco. What's he picking roaches? That's Flacco, crazy. That's bro. the thing. Yeah, nigga's picking roaches out the cereal. But <laughs> that's whatever. That's crazy. It went through a little struggle. Yeah. But this is what I'll be saying. This is why I started the facto show because yeah. I felt like a lot of niggas wasn't qualified to speak on shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you have rappers that's having opinions. On niggas' music, y'all niggas don't got nigga. I got plaques, independent. Mm-hmm. Whatever an independent nigga do is ten times what a nigga do on a major. Man, that's gold on, going platinum. Man. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's on, that's not fake independent. That's real independent. Money out my own pocket, Jeez, pushing my own man? shit. You know what I'm saying? And that we got, we got many plaques, many plaques Fox. for the BSB records. Then you got niggas talking about uh 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 being in street shit. There was never no street shit, niggas. And in my in the other set that we had facto show, we showed me. Really busting my gun in a pressure situation. Mm-hmm. We show my car. Really shot up. Most of these niggas, mo- this is a fact. Mm-hmm. No offense to nobody, but if the shoe fits. Mm-hmm. Most artists, most of these people, when they get shot in their car, they die in hoopties. Mm-hmm. Thought you was getting money. Facts. You dying in fucking hoopties. Facts. Don't talk that money shit if mm-hmm. you dying in hoopties, nigga. We see I my car shot rappers. up. It sounds ignorant, but it's the truth. I'm still here. Mm-hmm. They praise God. Mm-hmm. Nigga, my shit is an exotic foreign in the middle of Brooklyn, nigga. Well, drop top right, winter time. Right after. Wait though, right? But look though. Now listen though. Now. Niggas we give too much opinions, they're not qualified on. Yeah, right. Now listen though. Now they missed you though, right? Right? Cause cause bro, you had a bum ass nigga in an HM hoodie, like sh- like cold as motherfucker. It was, a, it was a spider <laughs> coat. He, he, said, he said it was a spider <laughs> coat. Yeah. He said, bop. He might have had an HM hoodie. <laughs> bop. <laughs> bop. <laughs> Right, but now, hey, listen. If you had That's a rich nigga, funny. That's not funny. Not, hey, listen, That's though, crazy. If you had a had a give money nigga mm. who was in the North Face, a oh, goner, goner, right? Because that nigga would have been warm. I, I'm gonna tell you, you had why. a broke nigga. 
who was shivering while you for me. I know, not only I know, yeah, yo. Call this motherfucker, man. We can't. We. I. I won't joke about the blessings of God. Yeah, it's a fact, though. So a fact. I did. I got hit multiple times. Yeah. Who got got a bullet in my head right now? A yeah. bullet still in my back right now. Yeah. But the 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 main reason why. Well, I mean, God is the main reason why mm -hmm. I'm not dead. But. Because I'm Choi Av is no stupid nigga. I'm not no dumb nigga. Mm -hmm. Like shout shout to Shorty Wolf. Wolf was with me in the car. She said, "Babe, if you was a dumb nigga, just playing music, mad loud, rocking up, nigga, you'd have been going." Mm -hmm. And it's niggas like that, nigga. I'm always on point because mm -hmm. I am what I say I am. Mm -hmm. I don't give when I come through the block, nigga. I'm in my rearview mirrors. I'm not on dumb nigga time. Not mm -hmm. paying attention. You feel me? Sure. So and then if I was a pussy nigga, terrified for a nigga pull up. Oh, hands up him. Put our fucking hands up, nigga. Yeah. You see a nigga approaching, nigga? I said, what the fuck did I do? I'm on ankle bracelet. Mm -hmm. The whole fucking New York City knows. Mm -hmm. So what's what's a better time to try him? He's probably not going to be strapped mm -hmm. because he probably going to get his black ass thrown back in jail. Mm -hmm. Cool. I was in a I was in a hood that I terrorized. So I, I was slipping. And I'm never upset at when, when something happens and you can point back to, okay, I can see what I did wrong. I'm not upset at that. Now, if I was going to my house and niggas caught me slipping at my house, mm -hmm. where you supposed to be on point, niggas ain't supposed to know where you at, then that would have been something different. You know what I'm saying? But just the fact that a little simple gesture, like see a nigga creeping, nigga, mm -hmm. I didn't do no scary shit, nigga. Nigga, what? Nigga, like, and mm -hmm. put, like that'd make a nigga think, you know what I'm saying, you about to... Whatever, mm -hmm. that little point second of hesitation got me to get the fuck up out of here. Of All the shots went off cool. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Look. So that's how you judge a man, how, who he is in a pressure situation. Everybody good on offense. Everybody question, look good right? on offense. Now, now question, right? Now, I think yesterday, bro, like, right, like, even, like, folks say, yo, hold up now, bro. And he's in a Ferrari? Or, 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 again, I'm a broken nigga, right? No, it was a Lamborghini. Yes. Yesterday. A, a Lambo truck, Sometimes right? I'm, yeah, Lambo. Yeah, I, yeah. I do the Ferrari, too, though. Yeah, So right? folks wasn't off. I do the Ferrari. Yeah, right. That's why we drink Ferrari champagne. He said Lambo, only by the way. Ferrari right, yeah. drive. Oh, all right. Yeah. He know what's up. Yeah, right. He, but he I'm funded broke, I'm a lot though, right? of niggas out of mm. Chicago. The and facts. You know what I'm saying? He know what's up. Now, look at this, though, right? So so when I said, wait, pause, bro. Like, so Troy, I still got the Lambos. Still, still, like, still got the Rory's, got the Rolls Royces. Now, listen. Now, let's say this, It's right? not still. That was my life before rap. You right. go to my first video, yeah. I had a fucking Mercedes Benz. Not right. no CLA. Right. Not no C-Class. Not no E-Class. Yeah. Eh, and that shit. Yeah. And I don't know what niggas do other places. In New York, mm -hmm. we drop big bodies. A S class, a, a, a SL, mm -hmm. CLS, the minimum. Yeah. I had the minimum. I was a little nigga. Yeah. But I had a CLS 550, big body Benzes. That's how we roll out here. I don't even know what you that know what I'm saying? Like, the, 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 but it, but, that's how but Flacco, am, right? you getting there. You, you start, you on the way. But question, right? Everybody. Wait, though. So I'm like, wait, hold up now, bro. Yeah, what do Troy have do? For, like, do, like, right? Like, because, because, nigga, bro, like, like the Lambo is still parked. The Ferrari is still parked. The, 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 the big body Benz is still parked. A private the plane. The Bentley, don't forget the Bentley. I don't got a private plane. Right? Don't forget the Bentley. A new club in LA? Like, I said, club. nigga, wait, wait, wait. How you know about the club, man? You wait, know about Wait, 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 wait. Don't right. forget, oh, man. Like, what does Troy Ave do, man? Like, you still, you feel me, selling a little, you know, little something? No, fuck no. Fuck no. No, fact. And you know what's crazy? Yeah. I'm, I'm proud to say that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know I've grown. Because the broke nigga's going to say, man, bro, it's impossible. He still got that rap money and turn it into millions. He got to be selling drugs. But I know for a fact Troy Ave selling drugs. Nigga, look, you, look, the, here go the thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I know where 80 to 85% of my money went mm -hmm. when I started getting uh, uh, clean money. Mm -hmm. I could even tell, nigga, where most of my dirty money went. Yeah. Not the first run. The first run, I blew it. Second run, yeah. I know where it went. But, like, like you could just count the money. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember I went on Breakfast Club, and I told nigga, look, nigga, I just came home from jail, nigga. I, I spent a million. You could count it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Look, look at this car. Look at that car. Look at this house. Damn. You could count it, nigga. And my shit paid for. Ain't no mortgages, no nothing. Yeah. But the simple fact of you see that plaque, mm -hmm. that shit mean a nigga sold five hundred thousand records, right? Five hundred thousand at ten dollars a, a piece. No, at a dollar twenty nine. Oh, okay, that's a single. Okay. Now that shit is already uh, platinum. Mm -hmm. and nigga, somebody can check it or whatever. Uh, that's independent. A million. I get ninety five percent of that money. Damn. You feel me? Yeah. Not to mention I own my label. I done had shit in TV yeah. show. Whatever, whatever. Airbnbs. Nah. Creative, I, all type of shit. I got one Airbnb, but I got 13 properties. Mm -hmm. So which every every nigga should do is 
Every time I would get a little couple hundred thousand, they got to buy a property. Yeah. I don't care if it's 200. I don't care if it's 150, 300. I'll buy a property because I know if your money's in a bank, like, nigga, it's going to come a time that you get money. And I remember always saying, man, if I get that double XL cover, that's all I want because I know I'm going to be able to make a million in cash and I'll never go broke from there. Mm -hmm. So once I um knew that banks banks will give you 4%, 5% on your money, Mm -hmm. Unless you There's some banks That give you 10% Some high risk shit Whatever sure. I don't I'm, 50 Cent told me that too Again mm -hmm. If you put a million in a bank They give you 80,000 a year Whatever Once I found that out I said well you know what 4-5% ain't nothing Because I know I could buy a property And cause that's cause I seen it done Knowledge is key mm -hmm. You buy a property That property is gonna appreciate mm -hmm. So say you buy some shit For 250,000 Whatever yeah. it's, it's a, a little number You buy some shit For 250,000 Nigga, if you put two hundred fifty thousand in a bank, that bank is gonna give you four, four and two. You're gonna get ten thousand dollars on that for the year. Yeah, that's at five percent maybe okay. or whatever. Did I? Did I forget. I don't even know if I did the math right. But whatever. You put that two hundred fifty thousand in a property. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to live in there. You could rent that bitch out. Mm -hmm. Say you rent it out for whatever a thousand dollars a month just to, for low numbers. You made twelve thousand a year plus. Not to mention, at the end of the year. At a slow pace, that property that was two fifty, yeah. unless a bunch of niggas playing loud music <laughs> moving to your neighborhood, yeah. that two fifty is gonna turn into three hundred. Two, no, 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 maybe two seventy. Okay. So now you done made thirty two thousand dollars on your money, as opposed to putting that bitch in the bank mm. and making a little ten thousand. You feel yeah, me? Of course. So the way I get money is, nigga, I've been getting money. I hustle. Facts. You feel me? Yeah. So who I am, who who I was is who I am. This yeah. shit don't change. What I had, I still got rollies. I just had smaller rollies before coming in the game. Sure. This shit don't stop. Why do you think though that you are still you is still driving the Lambos, the Ferraris, but Manila Rose is selling Reggie on the corner of Brooklyn? Well, because well, he started as a user and a junk and a junkie. Okay. So he upgraded actually. Now he sells weed. Yeah. Now, but he's selling weed like it's 1998 with. Little nickel bags and shit like that. It's it's not when niggas opening dispensaries. Crazy. Yeah, wait. he's selling. Wait, bro, he's selling like a point five gram of. <laughs> I, I don't know what he's putting in bag. It's probably $5? it's probably point five with the bag. <laughs> you know, some niggas like whenever niggas say they got some work for me, nigga, nigga, it was it wasn't it was over with the bag. If you want to buy, you yeah, feel me? Of course. If you buying an ounce, it's gonna say twenty nine on the scale. It's a fact. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what, what, what does that mean? Is. I don't know. Because an uh, ounce is 28 grams. Yeah. Some oh, niggas will give you 28 grams it's with the, the bag. And you guys, like, guys, 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 nigga, the bag is a, is, a, is a point. You know what I mean? Ah, so, wait, 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 wait. I always wait, wait. kept it fair with niggas. Wait, though. Wait, You can tell a lot about though. a nigga by how he, if he keep it fair or not. <laughs> wait, though. But if I buy a, like, ounce, right? Uh, if we talking about ounce of Coke, not weed or yeah, nothing yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right? It, it says 28, like, with the bag. I, I, I'm actually <laughs> think that, bro. What type of like starving nigga are you? <laughs> like, hey, look, look, wait, 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 wait look, folks, can't, look, right? Look, 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 it's look, a look, lot look, of starving look, niggas. Look, 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 right, so look, 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 look at this, right? No, nigga, no, I, don't let you start getting in the no, weight. The no, whole shit, a lot of shaking at the bottom of the bag. Niggas sell you some shake, you be like, nigga, this shit full of yeah, shake. Listen, right, no, right, but look, right, but look, right, but look. So if it says twenty eight, right, then that means right that he right, so he measured it. <laughs> It says twenty. <laughs> right, so look. Right, right, I'm gonna keep this for you myself. Measure it once, right? A little one and, and one. And it says twenty-eight point four. <laughs> this starfish, nigga. No, straight twenty-eight. <laughs> it ain't give you point four. Straight twenty-eight, nigga. Yeah, twenty-eight grams. You scooped it. out the point four. That's crazy, bro. Uh, nigga, when you so starving, bro. You scooped out the point two. Look, Jay Z <laughs> said it best. Little in the baggy, little in the purse. How these niggas crazy, doing, man? These niggas crazy, man. Huh? But, bro, scooped out the point too because you died. But stopping. that's the battle I fight out here. Yeah. You'll never hear about a yeah. real, real man or a real nigga or no yeah. real niggas. They meet me, they embrace me, they love me, nigga. Cause real recognize real. Facts. The real relating fake just hate. Facts. It's always bum niggas, dirty niggas, mm -hmm. fake tough niggas. Those are niggas that have problems with me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Until I obliterate them and I go too far, mm -hmm. and then they don't want no problem before. But we can never piece up after that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's it. I, that's just what it is. Yeah, man. Hey, but, listen, man. I, I agree, man. Listen, man. Like, uh, like when listen, man. Like, for example, bro. Like, I just always have identified. I've been really great at at looking at situations of wars and just saying, "I right, 
and he's on fuck shit, right? Like, so, like, mm-hmm. from the very beginning, bro, I just, listen, man, like, if, bro, even, like, for example, right, before I met you, bro, I was out here saying, bro, Troy F is is the realest nigga ever. Tax Stone is a bully, blah, blah, right? Right. And, bro, and, and like, I didn't even know that Troy F was going to be there, like, the following day, right? Mm-mm, that's right? crazy. Yeah, right? That's how God works, nigga. In fact, right? But, like, I just looked, looked at, at that and seen, yo, okay, so one nigga was getting money, and winning, and niggas was doing interviews saying, yo, he feeling himself too much. That's why I don't like him. Yeah. Bro, listen. The ask Rastone, why do you hate Troy Ave? Mm. And and he and he couldn't give one reason that that yo, bro, like, you feel me, bro, like he fucked my bitch, he bothered me. No, he just said he feels himself too much. I mean Man, that, like, like look, come if on, my confidence makes him insecure, mm-hmm. I'm not sorry for that. In fact. I'm never sorry for that. And then, and then I, I wanted to say that, um, like, nigga, I see your climb, pose if applicable, yeah. and what you're doing and the consistency. Facts. And I definitely want to applaud that. You know man, what I'm saying? You, I want to tell you that. I know I told you that through text or whatever on the phone, but in person, and it takes a lot for a nigga to be consistent. Like, mm-hmm. that's 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 staying after the after the game and shooting them jumpers in the gym. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Until, until the shit get right. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So... I wanted to ask what I know what drives me and mm-hmm. and a lot of successful people we share a similar story. What drives you to keep going? What drives you to stay in it when when it looks like or it felt like man this shit wasn't moving or it yeah. wasn't no success happening? What drives you to keep going, nigga? Man, listen, man. So look, because I'm gonna perform in front of two hundred people the same way I'm performing in front of fucking a thousand. Yeah, you know what man. I'm saying? Not listen, Avra. So about like three months ago, right? I was on like my my like. YouTube live stream, right? And we should have live streamed this, by the way. Fact, Fuck, man. I fucked that up. No, can we no. live stream right now? Why can't you know how to do that? No, no, we gonna do it no. like live from the academy live stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Claudia, can we do that? Ak was just telling me about. But we okay. we can live stream and we can still keep all our shit that we did, right? Yeah, 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 to yeah, put yeah. it on episode because I you got put me on a live stream game. Yeah, facts. Man, you look like QCP bad, man. Nah, <laughs> I ain't gonna <laughs> friend. Maybe that nigga was coming <laughs> to kill you that night. Hey, nah, and, Maybe and he was facts, coming to kill you that hey, night. Hey, hell nah. Hell, no, right? QCP can say, yo, listen, man, that wasn't me. That was Flock. Nah, hell nah. nah man, the man, fuck listen, is y'all talking about? Hey. <laughs> Who? Huh? Oh, the nigga who African nigga stole the bread? Uh, hell oh, nah, man. nigga. Hell <laughs> nah, nigga. You feel me? Look. Shout out to Hush Puppy. Look, Chris, bro. When you put your name on a Versace robe, you're going to jail. The fact. Listen, it's a fact. <laughs> I got bro. Versace robes, and I would never put my name Lambo, on it. Man. Bro, I never... man, come on, bro. Hey, listen up, bro. When I see you, bro, listen, bro. Like, you bought a private plane, a purple Lambo. Doing what? Nigga, when you have 200 colognes on your dresser, <laughs> you you're going me. to jail. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? You scared There's me, certain man. shit you don't show. Like, Hell no. Nah. Nigga, your name on a Versace robe is outrageous to me. No, I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't do that. And I own many Versace robes. Hell no. Nah. At every household, I got a Versace robe there. And I wouldn't do that. Some, I have two in there. That's, that's outrageous. But I think you look more like QCP than... Listen. Like, I never looked at Hush Puppy. Pause. Not that I looked at QCP. I heard QCP before. I heard Murder Mook. I heard Meek Mill. Nah, you don't look like Murder Mook. Yeah, bro. Like, oh, Meek Mill. You look like QCP. Yeah, for, for, yeah They yeah, say bro. I look like Martin Luther King. And I wear it. I'm the... <laughs> for sure. No, fuck all y'all no, niggas, honestly. No, what the hell now? That hard. No, no, what the yeah. Fuck? <laughs> now, th- wait, yeah. let's, no. I'm the evil Martin Luther King, and <laughs> no. I wear that. I'm proud oh, of no, it. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, trust me. Like, Martin Luther King was a, you know, like, he like he yeah. was. Smoking cigarettes, fucking bitches. And he was treacherous. Yeah, of course. That's the <laughs> that part they don't talk about. That too, my nigga. Despicable is crazy. Wait. You can't call Martin Luther King you despicable. Wait, no, come on. You ain't hear the text? Nigga, no, don't do that. Don't do that to all people. Listen, Troy. Listen, when I heard those tapes, bro, and seen how much that man loved them white women, bro. Why wouldn't he? What? You don't I love, said, you... oh, now, now it all makes sense. He's fighting to desegregate because this nigga love fucking white women, man. Feel me right? Round of man, applause man. for Martin Luther King, Michael Jordan, Troy Ave, and all the greats that indulge in white women. Bro, he, listen, no right, fact. listen. My bro, man bro. from Milwaukee. I know you indulge in white women, nigga. Oh, from Cali? Yeah, Who's from Milwaukee? No. He indulge in white women. Uh, no. What? Hell no, nah, nigga. Come on, man. He like a that, black man. nigga that don't have hot sauce <laughs> on his fried chicken. This is cap. No, listen up. I gotta check your ID, Fuck nigga. That shit might say it can't say Milwaukee. I'm talking yeah. about Racine County. 
Oh, all right, all right. Y'all ain't, you feel me? You got a white bitch riding with you and she gonna take that charge, nigga. Mm -hmm. But I ain't going Like I indulge in white women But I You know I'm equal opportunist But I do Do you love them though? Mm. Well yeah On them calls I, On them calls I'm not MLK gonna lie. was like Boo loving Mackin nah, I ain't. Pimpin but he, but he was in love With them white women I ain't bro. gonna lie it, it, ain't, it ain't a bitch living That can say I was on Some lovey dovey shit With them Nah that, cause I You got have my, kids though I got my But I, it doesn't matter I got my heart broke yeah. By a chick When I was a, I was like 16 in high school Damn and, But but it was the best thing Ever happened to me yeah. Cause some niggas They get older And then their wife Break up with them And they tear the house And wanna do a murder suicide And become like, a terrorist Yeah I became a cold <laughs> yeah, nigga yeah. From then on And it's the best I hope I hope that my sons Get their heart broke early And, and nigga I'll assist in breaking their heart yeah. To make them cold niggas It's like nigga It gives you callous On your, mm -hmm. on your exterior You know what I'm saying Not But though. the more successful You get you'll indulge In white women And nah, you'll enjoy no. it How old of us do all right, nah, well, I, no, nah, you say hell no now, but then we you know we'll see. Nah, I mean, listen, right. me, listen, man, like I, I date black women and black women only, right? Me and this, right? Listen, I date black women too. Afro Latina, do anything. I don't want it. You feel me? Oh man, you crazy? Uh, you in the wrong city? Hispanic, I don't want it. But I'll be real though, bro. Like when I seen like the one that you had last night, <laughs> I said, listen, man, I, I may feel me reconsider, man. Feel me, man. Uh It's opportunity knocking, open the door. Hi, my name is Troy Ave, and I'm a successful self-made business owner. If you have a product or service that you'd like to promote on our show, hit the contact info below. But please, make sure it's dope, because unlike most, I ain't feeding my people no bullshit. So listen, like I said, I'll give you an Instagram, nah, nah, and then you go from there. Nah, nah, nah. I'll even talk it up, <laughs> because look, this is for me and my niggas that do. Yeah. Like, and, I, and I have... I don't care about this. I remember one day we was on a uh, set to a video, mm -hmm. and I got a homeboy. His name is Yankee. Yeah. Yankee pulls up. Yeah. And he's like, looking around, he's looking at all the models, mm -hmm. and then he gets to talking to him. And he's like, "Yo, um, yeah, what's up?" He's like, "Yeah, y'all doing good on here, all right, yeah." And it, it like, they get to ask him what, what he doing here. He's like, mm -hmm. oh, "Now nah, you know, I run all this shit. I'm just making sure my money's being spent right." You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, he's it was all my money, <laughs> but it was all my money. But I'm not gonna be like, no, he's a liar, nigga, nigga. Oh hell no! Nah. Do what you gotta do, nigga. Oh uh, uh, hell no! Nah. Hell no! Nah. They gonna hell do this? Nah. Yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. Nah, he's I'm a, a CEO. He's not a CEO, ab, my listen, man. Ab, I work for him. Ab, whatever. Hey, listen, ab, listen up, bro. I'm a whole ass nigga, bro. He if the, the bad crap. bitches come around, nigga, and you start acting like you running shit, <laughs> I'm your employee, nigga, right? You feel me? Like, I'm here on your job? Hell nah, nigga. Flacco, you gotta hell stop nah, that. Nigga. You gotta I'm stop the nigga that. in this room, nigga. You gotta stop that. Man, hell nah, nigga. I mean, what, you gotta up, stop bro. that. Troy, wait, Troy, wait, Ab, listen, Ab. There's many to go around. Wait, listen, Ab, listen, Ab. I went to the studio and I made She Belong to the Game. I grinded. I also see these uh, on the corner. No, no, I never sold CDs on the corner. I sold them <laughs> out of my <laughs> sold them out of my Chevy Tahoe <laughs> on twenty twos. Yeah. Right, 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 no, right, right, no. But though you grinded to get to a point where the bad bitches enter a room and they salute a nigga. Mm. I think you have a wide nose, pink lip, decrepit, broke, <laughs> no good for nothing, crevice looking nigga coming into a room and talking about. Oh, uh, you know, this is on 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 on, on my time. Yeah. Negro, please. Well, look, this is this is my theory. Ten Man. times out of ten, Man, early on, on in the video, I've already uh situated out who I'm gonna fuck later that day. Okay. And there's always enough to go around. So Hell I'll nah, never nah. be a greedy nigga and wanna have all the hoes. I want my niggas to indulge, mm -hmm. everyone indulge. You know what I'm saying? Well, on my listen though. You gotta stop that. You can't do that. <laughs> listen though. I want them to have fun and fuck the hoes too, but 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 like I want the hoes to know. 
That <laughs> this is my shit. But you, you know what? what? I'm, I'm yeah. I would love to hang out with you when you become super successful and you're in LA, so it's gonna be great. Oh, and yeah. TMZ is follow you. I'm gonna hang out with you and I'm gonna fuck all the white bitches that you don't want. Oh yeah, It'll be perfect. Yo, Ab, listen, yo, Ab, listen, bro. Listen, in five years. When when I'm at the mountaintop, at, mm-hmm. oh bro, oh bro, I'll make this, bro, I'll make it hurt for these niggas. Talk that shit as you should. Listen, as you should. Like I said earlier before. L- listen, like I said earlier before, money is gonna change me. Don't get it fucked up, bro. Listen, don't Grand get it applause. fucked up. Yeah. And start saying, the nigga admitting that money's gonna change him. <laughs> oh my God, Flacco, you changed. I'm telling y'all right now, I'm not a humble nigga. I'm just broken, right? Yeah. Meaning this. Right, again, I'm not down to earth. I'm not humble. I'm not a nigga who. Yeah. Nah, bro. I'm uh, a Geechee nigga. Oh, right? I'm a man. fake nigga. My right? grandfather's right? a Geechee right? nigga. Right? right? Yeah. You feel me? I'm a pompous and arrogant nigga, but I just know I can't be pompous and arrogant right now. Right now, right, right now. Okay. But when I can't be pompous and arrogant, you, will. you niggas gonna feel it. As you should. Make so you now, like man. you like you like a bitch to get her body done. You just wait to get the body done. Absolutely. And you go, you go yeah. Absolutely. Outrageous. My nigga, and that's why, that's why. We love to have you here on the Fact Up Show because we are a home for that. We applaud that. Where other people will frown upon that. Oh, you can't change. Why the fuck wouldn't I, nigga? Man, come on. Nigga, now. this shit different. I smell different. I drive different. Oh, I live different. different. No, no, There's no... There's no air mattress. Like, the fuck are you niggas talking about? Mm-hmm. This shit different. I'll be damned if I... Nigga, I'll tell a bitch quick. Mm-hmm. Bitch, you better not put your motherfucking feet down. You're in a Lamborghini. This is a $350,000 car. Mm-hmm. This ain't your Honda. You don't go putting your feet up on a <laughs> bitch. That's a fact. I tell them quick, unapologetically. Nah, like, this like, shit listen, is changing. Listen. It's like going in the library. You be the fuck quiet. Listen. No, no facts. <laughs> no facts, right? Like, Man, listen, bro. Don't touch this fucking radio. You this ain't no push by radio. Now, this is a screen. You don't go touching that. You don't know how to work that. <laughs> listen, man. Hey, li- listen, though. Right, but look, though. It's always... The uneducated Spanish bitches, right? Like, bitch, bro, like, you in this shit just to get fucked and to suck something, right? Oh you my a God. bitch who ain't graduate like... high school. You uneducated. You can't read, can't speak English. I'm just here to stuff dick down your throat. But you in this bitch acting like the first lady, right? right. Foot on the fucking dashboard. Film me taking pictures. Bitch, you ain't the first lady, bro. Well, y'all, y'all Spanish, y'all lady. Spanish bitches in Cali, and all Spanish bitches are different. Y'all it's have Mexicans. Different. Y'all got like Mexicans. We have Dominicans. We have Dominicans, Puerto Ricans. Yeah, we had we had different Cubans. Spanish bitches. No, 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 no. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all have no Dominicans whoa, 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 in California. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is yeah. very rare. Wait though, I'm talking specifically about the about the Dominican hoes who love Michael Kors. You feel me? <laughs> Those bitches. Oh, I'm talking about. Listen, I'm talking about dumb whores, oh, right? Oh my gosh. Listen. Oh you bring a Dominican bitch. You have to take him to Dykeman, uh, you Listen, gotta, gotta, man. Gotta, gotta oh, you, man. Listen, man. You bring a Dykeman, Dominican, Puerto Rican hoe who love Michael Kors and put her in a Lambo truck. The bitch start acting, acting, brother, like first lady. You know right? Like, hell no, bitch. Fuck no. Right? I Listen. Know. I think that's any bitch. That's no, hell no. Nah, it's not any bitch. Hell it's some nah. class. It's some woman no, with class. That's, that's you got to, even mean, if you haven't, you got to act like, you gotta act like you've right been now. here before. Yeah, come on, Like, bro. don't say, oh, can we smoke in here, bitch? Are you dumb? <laughs> come on, right. now. Are you dumb? You ever been <laughs> anywhere? <laughs> of course, 300 plus and you can smoke in there? Ever touched Have you ever? this fine, bitch? You feel me? <laughs> man, like, man, nigga, come on now, bro. How about this? Oh, man, how about this? I was saying this. I had a bitch. Mm-hmm. Hey, the bitch, come to my condo. That's why I yeah. slay all the whores. I don't bring them to the big house mm-hmm. ever. Ooh, Me, you know. We don't bring them to the big house. That's where the kids are. <laughs> Make a little pool party. We have a private pool party sometimes. Mm-hmm. But I slay all the hoes in New York at the condo. Mm-hmm. Slay them, whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, a bitch had the nerve to hang a rag on my fucking... Uh, what is this, the roughing of the, the shower handle? Like, I, the I, got, I got shower heads and handles. She had the nerve to hang a rag on there. Fucking the project, and, bitch, man. And put, a towel, <laughs> and put a towel over the fucking glass. Yeah. Actually, like, bitch, she, are you dumb? Was she from the hood? Of course she's from the hood. Man, nah, come on, I, bro. <laughs> Yo. <sighs> Nigga. That bitch never left about, me, man. You feel me? <laughs> All leaving the heads around like you don't got a girl. <laughs> hey, come on. Blow your shit up, like, but anyway, on, but but not not only that. This is wait, this, this wait, is what's just to quick, me. Though. She wasn't that one wasn't from no, her, but no, there's no. many. But I don't listen, discriminate. But though, when you okay, so obviously she's a gutter bitch, right? She leaving like fucking like a a towel with a fucking glass. Well, I just think the, she didn't know she didn't know how she was. was. The, pussy, though. the pussy was immaculate. I'm gonna give you that. <laughs> listen though, but 
And that's what comes with it, though, right? No. When you know, again, it's a gutter bitch who, again, a gutter bitch with no ambition knows how to do one thing. It's not only, how to fucking suck. It's not only gutter bitches, though. Like, I indulge in all kind of women. And and sometimes, it's, well, many times, I have to correct women when they get to trying to crimp their hair or tur- twirl or whatever they do with mm-hmm. their fucking hair. Mm-hmm. I said, bitch, this is a, a, a $7,000 marble <laughs> sink. Man, come this on, This is a $7,000 marble <laughs> sink. I pick. I picked out the piece that they cut. Mick. You do not put a hot ass curling iron Mick, on this motherfucking now. fine Italian statuary of gold marble. You do not do that. Have you ever touched marbles this fine, bitch? You feel me? These are heated, these fine, are heated marble floors. Mick, are you shitting up. me? Listen up, bro. Hey. So you got to correct up, them Hoso, a little bit. Pull, listen up, bro. Hold so poor man like she's seen marble, bro. Bitch, they think, bro, this shit a rock. That's a, bro, bro, look, you, look, Yo. you see this shit. You won't see this shit nowhere else. Man, come I promise on you. Man, come on, come on, on this man. shit different, baby. It's custom. This shit different. This is custom. Man, come on now, bro. Man, man round of applause. Now, we, fly. we like fun shit here at the Facto Show. We have charcuterie boards and marble and shit like that. Wait, you know wait, what I'm saying? Wait. Listen, just, listen. This is hey, what we like to do here. Listen, listen up, man. Feel free to take that. Whatever you want, I, I, I saw you. You had on a hat yesterday, and I want, look, my nigga. I want you to start taking the sticker off your hat. I don't want you to wear the sticker Where? on the brim. Oh, I just take know. it off. Yeah, no, just, what? yeah, just take it off. Uh, okay, Look like you've been there before. <laughs> you don't want, but niggas don't need though. to see the size of your hat. But I have it though. So okay, you, you, right. <laughs> Look, you got to practice. You got to practice for now. I, I'm so starving, man. You got <laughs> it. Ain't where you at? It's where you going. <laughs> That's a fact, though. Wait, 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 wait. All right, so wait, so like, so okay, so brim etiquette is you take the size from off the brim. Absolutely. Okay. You take perfect. the size off. Any stickers like yeah. that? That was a new thing. At first, they never used to have stickers and all kind of uh, shit. I think that's a train taking the ratstone yeah. to the federal prison. <laughs> but anyway, they never used to have uh, mm. uh, different stickers and had. And once they started doing that, niggas started keeping it on. Mm, it's like wearing man. tags on your jeans. Yeah. Uh, the fuck? Whoa, Why I need to know the size of your hat? Wait, 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 wait. Listen up, bro. If I ever get to a point where I can afford some purple jeans, nigga. Dumb hoes gonna know it's purple, nigga. You feel me? Listen, don't if, get it fucked look, up, nigga. If they know, listen, they know. If they if know, the they know. If the tag comes off, nigga, the whole thing, bro, bro listen, look, again, if the tag in there, yeah. the bitch gonna think, bro, these H&M's, <laughs> ho, <laughs> feel the fabric, bitch. You know what I'm saying? H&M, bith, it's you, bitch, I paid a thousand dollars for these purple jeans, nigga. Are you feel stupid fabric, or are you ho? dumb? You right. <laughs> you, you right. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, out, in certain places, if they know, they know. Man, come you know on what I'm saying? Bro. I'm just saying. Yeah. If they know, they know. So I would I would definitely like you to take the stickers off your hat. I was watching the interview. I'm like, man, I wish my nigga would take that sticker off his motherfucker. Yeah, but, man. but no, yeah. but just sitting with Ak. Ak is the nigga who keeps stickers on his hat. Oh, really? And I'm like, oh, I see, bro. Yeah. Uh, Wait, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's the butt? Ak wears off white fucking uh, butt butt sneakers. Those... I said, don't do that, Ak. Come on. It's, no, it's terrible. <laughs> Listen, though. It's not the off white Jordans. It's the. But you was killing it. Though. You had the patent leather fucking uh, 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 high ones. I'm oh, like, oh, nigga, really? oh, shit, I'm like, nigga, he doing the thing, but mm-hmm. he had to stick on his hat. I'm like, fuck. Listen, though. But Ak has, has like, no excuse, though. Ak is a nigga who been rich for a while now. Feel me, right? Has right? No, right, listen. Ak has no excuse. At that point, yeah. my nigga, <laughs> like, you just... But he owns up to it. He said, <laughs> I don't... Like right, right here, right here in our studio, we have people that do they uh they do like a bunch of fashion. They do fucking a word. uh fashion a shows and runway. Yeah. You no, know, like they make shit from scratch. It's like art. Like they do dope shit. Word. And they wanted to dress act and act like yeah, uh, I can't wear that. Like nigga, this some fly shit. Are you dumb? Yeah, he just wants word? to wear all black. Yeah, that's this fact. Yeah. Like some Asian people, they. They, it's like an Asian guy and, and then they're gay. So you know all gay people make great clothes. No, no, hell no, 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 no. Are you wait, shitting me? Wait, wait, hell, listen, nigga. I'm not letting no sissy pickle fighter dress me, nigga. I'm good. You feel me? <laughs> the <I> was, the <laughs> fuck? He got it like... Pickle fighter is crazy. You got to touch you with shit. <laughs> no. And, and measure your hymns and shit. Measure your <laughs> fucking hymns and, and your lift and whip. Hell, listen up, man. Ain't no pickle fighter about to put a ruler to what? To, to anywhere on my body. I'm good. Hey, oh, he said Shannon Sharp does. Listen, right? I, I seen his stylist that he spends. Did you see him at that sex party with. that you went to? The stylist? No, no, hell no! Nah, he nigga wasn't there. there? Hell no! Nah, oh, I you ain't see him? Man. Okay, all right, cool. So who did you see there? And I, I ain't go. Oh, you didn't go. All right, that ain't what I heard, but I take your nah, word for I, it. Listen, listen. I, that's not what I heard, but I take your word for it. Hey, 
Listen. They say they yeah. they said they said the Flacco went to a sex party. He was invited by some chick, some chick with no jumper. They oh, said no, the no, nigga no, no, showed up no, and yeah. it was niggas blowing beef sticks. It was women there too. Pickle fighters? Yeah, they they were pickle <laughs> oh, no. fighters. No, sorry. <laughs> and they, Hey, I don't know the rest. I didn't want to hear no more. I don't want to hear. No, no, sorry. Hear. No, 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 no. You, so you got to take it from no, there. No, no. You want to explain this? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, no, sorry, 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 sorry. So look, so there's two instances, right? And, and, two and, instances of fucking no, gay listen. sex parties that you attended. Look, right. So look, no, so look, I talk about this in Ono Jumper, right? And there's a viral clip going right now of me and Josh like talking about this, right? And yeah, I, I feel like No Jumper is very uh, no. pickle fighter friendly. Uh, yeah, you oh got yeah, right? you got whole pics of penises over there and all kind they of things. They embrace all cultures. All right, you know but no, that's right. that Cali shit. No, look, right, but look, <laughs> right. No, look, no, look. So Kazumi had invited me to a uh, sex orgy. Let me right? look at Kazumi. Right? What does she look like? She's an Asian bitch. Right? With like, with, again, she's Asian with Orgy a BBL. Point? Right. Now listen, <laughs> automatically, bro. I ain't Asian trusting BBL. Listen. I Asian asses be really flat, so flat. I could understand her getting a BBL. Her name is K A Z U. Yeah, K A Z U M I. Right. Listen, okay. So, so just automatically, Kazumi, Kazumi. I'm distrusting and ain't trusting no Asian bitch with no BBL. So I told her, I'm good. And then, and, and then I got the was formal one came back and said, "Was, was a BBL good. made in China?" That's yeah. what I want to know. You feel me? So then. <laughs> You know, a I team ain't go to the party. A BBM from Timu. Facts. Taiwan. You feel me? You gotta lift for, the ass cheek and see where it was made at. Her shit good though. Her shit cool though. You feel me? Oh, man. Oh, man, look. All right. No offense to her. I don't know her. Man, look, I'm, man, I'm come go- on. Man, listen, but her shit cool though, bro. You feel me? Listen, but her shit cool though. I see, I see her face. All right. All right. You feel mm. me? Right. Listen, though. She's a really good person, right? So How's her massages? I never had one, right? Oh. But I fuck with her, though, right? But look, so she said, come to this party. Now, automatically, I'm distrusting of 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 all Asian bitches, right? So I, I said, no, I'm not feeling like, and I ain't going. And then I got the 411. I know some good Asian women. Right, I was just right? with an Asian woman in North Carolina. And Ooh. um, you wouldn't know her. She's uh, She does need a BBL. I'm not going to lie, but... Mm-hmm. But her pussy's immaculate, you know what I'm saying? And she met hurried her at the massage place? No, no, not at all. I oh, met her I met her on in Miami. It was her and her cousin, and we went crazy on them in patios. But I, this is what I'm saying. The good thing about her is she knew that I had like one of my my main bitches coming, mm-hmm. and I say, Yo, you gotta leave this hotel because this bitch is slick. She's gonna figure out a way into this room. Mm-hmm. And she said, Okay, I'll hurry up. Mm-hmm. And the best thing about her is she cleaned up her hair after she left. Oh, wow. uh, so okay. I applaud her. Round of applause right. for her. She's a good, yeah, she's a very good woman. Now the black bitch would have been trying to leave all type of clues and a fucking great come truck. Yeah, yeah. Like, she'd have waited in the elevator. She word. She'd have waited in the elevator, and when the door's about to close, yeah, Troy's room like. down the hall yeah. type shit. Man, listen, man, listen. Up, so bro. back to this Kazumi no, sex party, no, and they yeah. said you attended. No, so I never went, and then I got the four one one of what was going on there, and I said. Thank God, because if they would have caught me in, in the room, just, like for example, right? I step in like not knowing what's going on, and then and then they say flash, click, and just me walking in like this, and then two niggas fucking. My career would have been. That's a fact, because they right? would have, because you'd have been like this, yeah. and it would have been niggas with dicks behind you, yeah. looking crazy. But guess what though, yeah. right? Right, propaganda. You got right. In. Now look, um, now there's another clip that's going viral of me and Josh talking about some party, right? Um, and who's Josh again? So Josh is like the CEO, manager, HR of No Jumper, right? Mm. Okay, right. Uh, so I met Josh before. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we got a guy named Josh yeah, used to be Josh, here. So. You was there, you was there. CEO. Josh Hammonds, but yeah. he's a, no, you was there for me. Yeah, uh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So look, no. So uh, so me and Josh was having the conversation of a party again. I didn't know, right? Mm-hmm. I did not know what was going on, right? I went to the party. Just un again, just unknowing, right? So it's fucking dangerous. You just go yeah. with, with, just go to parties with fucking strange white men, no, no, unwillingly, no, 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 just no, no, not knowing. No, 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 it's my guys, right? From right, right. How much is he your guy if you didn't know what type of parties he go to? He didn't bring it down. Yeah, exactly. True, right? True. So that look. was your coworker. Don't never get the too confused. Oh, oh no, 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 no. You'll end up with no, no, fucking no, 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 smelling no. man sex. Wasn't <laughs> done, right? No, no, sorry, right, sorry, right, sorry, no, sorry, no, look. You know, 
it, you know, like again, like we're all friends, right? From right. Okay. So we're all friends. Uh, my friends don't invite me to gay parties. What if the rest look though? That's some LA right? shit. N- listen, right? <laughs> now look. <laughs> so like I never knew, right? So we get to the party, and yeah. there's rappers and YouTubers that we all know mm-hmm. engaged in ungodly shit. Oh my gosh. So me and You Doc, gotta bring my man. The fucking from Liberia, he did t- 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 sniped all that shit down, facts. and niggas would never invite you to one of those shits again, facts, cause right? they know you ain't for play. No, no, no. So fact though. No, right? you, listen, what they said in painting full. What's the sense of having soldiers if you don't use them? No facts, right? It's a fact. Right? No right, no look. You feel me? What's the sense? No facts. But that'd be a hate crime. No. <laughs> no. Me and Everybody Josh though, two hundred years having a conversation though, and on the live stream, and people like clipped like that conversation. And said that Flacco like sold his soul when I said oh, man. said listen, I said I ain't participate. I wasn't there for long. That was that was a crazy part, Flacco. That was a crazy <laughs> part. I wasn't I there. Walked in and that, said some that's the clip and left out, nigga. But that's the clip. I wasn't there for long. That's the headline. Like is uh, a poetic Flacco gay party. Then the quote on TMZ. I wasn't there for long. I wasn't there for long though. Yeah. Listen, that's the crazy part. I walked in and seen some fascia going on and left out. Nigga, you should have pulled out your camera and been outraged. Look at this bullshit <laughs> these niggas got me in. Ah, and left. This shit normal, though. Like, Is it? In LA, yeah, of course. In LA? Yeah. The orgy parties are like, like every weekend. Like, yeah, but like, that shit normal. But orgy party with bitches or niggas? It's everybody there, bro. Again. So why you feel comfortable living there? Where? In LA? Yeah, getting invited to orgy parties with niggas. Listen, I've never voluntarily went to one. So when you went there, you wasn't there for long. Is what did it smell like? Huh? What did it, it smell like? It, it, it smelled like... Hey. <laughs> Badussi. <laughs> Listen, man. It smelled like Badussi and Mesothelioma, man. <laughs> Mesothelioma was crazy. Yeah, I only see commercials, but I can imagine. Hey, All right. Was hey, it man. like... Was it hey, in an unruly a, smell. Was it an apartment? Was it like... What was the area? Like, was it an apartment? Was it like a house? Like what? Uh, a crib, yeah. Like where, like a in a building or like just a house? No, no, like it was a house. Was there security at the door? No. Nah. So you just walk into a house. Who opens the door? Is it a woman in lingerie? I'm asking, like I really want to know, Kazumi not the nigga part, but oh, Kazumi. Op- <laughs> so, <laughs> what was Kazumi wearing? Hey, 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 hey. Listen, she's a very good woman. We fuck with her, but her, but her orgy parties is a little off. All right, so you you safe to say you would never attend another orgy party at all? Voluntarily, no. Voluntarily? Yes. All right, so, Flacco, let me ask you this. When you get your first million dollars, there's two things you're going to do. Besides shit on niggas. We know you get shit on niggas. There's two things you're going to do that what? you always wanted to do. What, what do you shit. mean, though? Like, you got a million cash hole? A million, or- a million hole in the bank. Like, it's just a million yeah. hole. Like, nigga, this is what I'm doing right now. Mm. Uh, so look, right? So look, no, look. So, uh, so on my live stream, like two months ago, right? Um, I did, uh, you know, uh, uh, a motivate challenge, right? But it was me just being a fuck nigga and trying to flex, right? Speaking of live, are we live, YK? Right? Oh, my Black man, this is up. dope. No, right? So look, right? Black look, no, no, said no, we're no, live. no, 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 Black dog, get, get them a tumble. What? Get yeah. Get them a tumble. It should be on the Academy page. Oh, right. Damn it. We got a Claudia. Let's get Ack on the phone. No, no, right. right. So look, now look. So about, I think it was, it was like three months ago, right? Yeah. Now, I wanted to flex, but I disguised it as let me motivate y'all, right? So I clicked on the live stream and I wired my mom 50000 right? You feel me, right? You wired somebody 50000 My mom. Oh, all right, all right. Right, right. right? To flex on the niggas, but to motivate right. them, right? Right. Now, so if I ever get a, a, a million, like, my mom right now is retired, right? Like, right. Her, her, you feel me? Like, bills are paid for. Round of applause for moms being retired. Yeah, man. Feel yeah, me? yeah, that's a fact, though. Right? Right. So, bro, listen, bro, like, I guess bro, other than, like, get fly and really make it hurt to these niggas, like, I, I don't see me doing much with it, you feel me? Okay, yeah. Well, you know what? That's a good thing, too, because if somebody asks me that question... Um, I think somebody asked me that question before, and like my my reply was like, "Nigga, like really, at that point when I got that, mm-hmm. or when I would get that, I would already have most of the shit I want. All I ever wanted out the game, out out the streets, was to get a brick, 
um, to get a Rolex and to get a Benz. Then when I got in a rap, all I ever wanted was a Ferrari and to own a building. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like uh, infrastructure. Yeah, because I, I know once I got it's like a trophy and it's a, a asset or whatever. Yeah, the, in the streets, the brick was my asset because I know like nigga, other niggas got ounces and, and big eights, 125 yeah, grand. So, um, w- once you once you get that, it's like the million dollars. Like nigga, the fuck It's just what I'm gonna do? Save it, invest it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? What does GIGPS mean to me? I mean, God is getting the paper straight. You feel me? Like, I'm super blessed. I'm blessed with good health, good energy that I give and receive. And that just comes from me really being a genuinely good person. It's like the love outweighs any negativity that may come my way. And that's how I'm able to go through so much and come out stronger every time. You feel me? I pray a lot, not just only for myself, but for others. And with that in mind, I design these clothes. Really thinking about peace and comfortability because that's really two of the main things that I personally want out of life. I'm here to motivate, spread love, and destroy hate. I'm Troy Ave. God is great and the paper's straight. But, um, anyway, I, I went to ask, I wish we was fucking live. Um, I don't know much about this shit, but I know like like I said, nigga, I be going on on your on your uh, Instagram page and I repost shit on y'all and they ask people what they think, whatever. Um, what do you think of this uh, Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj type? Of, I mm. personally, I you know, the Big Meek is here. He's a DJ. Man, is it foot, perfect? <laughs> Which big for bitch? Which man, one? Millicent Brown for <laughs> fuck that size nineteen Sasquatch bitch, man. Listen, man. Listen up, man. That listen. See, he's from Texas. Everything's big in Texas. Stallion. Listen, that hoe. Oh, yeah, listen. Yeah, you feel me? And that wide gaping pussy is big too, oh right? My gosh. But that hoe has gotten to a point where, right? She, she, she's been able to monetize off of being a victim for the last three years, right? Now it got to a point where, right? Listen, like even like the. Gatekeeper said, damn, bitch, brother, brother. Like, damn, bitch, brother. We done gave you every award possible, bro. Bitch, we tired, right? Let's find a new agent of chaos, right? And now they're leaving her now to have her own career. And she's saying, damn, bro, like, I'm losing, all, like, and all the attention, right? Like, I'm not selling the same no more. And now she's reminding us of wholeness, hostage every chance he gets. I got shot. Yeah, bitch, we know you got shot, nigga. We don't give a fuck no more. Bitch, you six foot three, nigga. Tory Lanez is five foot three. Niggas At get shot point, every day. At that point, nigga, it's a fair fight, right? At that point, nigga, niggas get shot every day, B, right? You was a nigga. You six foot three, 260 pounds, nigga, right? So at that point, nigga, you a nigga, right? And he handles you like a nigga. Cool. But you got rewarded for it. Listen, did... This bitch won Songwriter of the Year at BMI. No, she didn't. Yes. How? Yes. For what? Because she got shot. She's a professional victim. This is crazy. Rock Nation As, do a lot of shit. Me, y'all got to keep me in the loop of this. I had no idea of this. Yes. We Fest. went, we Fest. went, uh, we went Flacco to try that damn champagne because he's never had Ferrari champagne. No, whatever. Where was it? We can go live? You know how to go live? Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. disappointments of yeah. the fucking uh, no, but, academy. No, we have few disappointments. No, right. But there are some. Hey, right. Hey, Any hey. more disappointments? I'm coming to No Jumper. Listen. Get the paperwork ready. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> hey, listen up. Listen. We're going to have a foul this deep when Troy F. come to No Jumper, and we're going to really violate these rappers. Right? right? Listen. I'll, never, I'll never leave. I'm loyal. Unlike, uh, well, I won't go there. I'll just save. I'll save it. I'm Whoa. not gonna go there. Uh, 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 I'm a who chip. Left? Sometimes I, some, no, I'm not talking about who left. I'm just talking about people who ain't loyal. But I want. Sometimes mm. I choose to. I uh, choose to chill. Little baby, them. No? Little baby did nothing to you. Have huh? you seen little baby right now? Would you tell me he's pussy? Of course. Have man. you seen little Dirk right now? Would you tell me he's pussy? Listen. I will say... Don't listen to the fucking I Liberian say, child soldier. Listen, he's looking over you there, up. right? He's looking over there like, yo, fucking you, you, you got me? Or oh, fucking so rifle bigger than him. Got me? Don't listen to him. I will say... <laughs> my man got the fucking... I will he say, got the, nigga... He got the A-Rab rap ready pussy. put over his face. I don't... Listen. A nigga with a shy C is nothing compared to a nigga with one of those yeah, shits. That's a fact. Dumb hey. shits? 
Nigga, I'm so grateful. Hello, Akbar. Craziness. You are pussy. Don't move. Hit me. Look. I'll be real, bro. Listen, I will tell him, bro, you are pussy. Please hit me. That sounds like a lawsuit. Nigga, you got Rolls Royces, Rolexes, right? Bust downs, APs, nigga. I want some of that too, nigga. Please hit me. I want some of that too, nigga. Please jump me. Please up a blick on me, nigga. Please traumatize me for the rest of my life, nigga. Right? Please make it impossible. Listen, please give me PTSD to where I don't, listen, to where, bro, I can, listen, to where I can't leave the crib no more and work. Give me PTSD, nigga, to where, me out of here. listen, hey, give me, me PTSD up. to where I can't travel no more to work with Troy Ave, nigga. Nigga, guess what? You're going to have to pay for it, nigga. Right? And, and guess what, though? Right? Hey, listen, I made a couple hundred thousand in 2023. Mm-hmm. If you make it impossible for me not to travel, nigga, you got to fund that lifestyle for the rest of my life, nigga. This is true. Please up books on me. Little, ba- little me, baby's nigga. not pussy. I fuck a little baby round of yeah, I went. Up, I just want to ask you about that. So, Big Meek, have you heard the Megan Thee Stallion diss towards Nicki yeah, so Minaj? Listen, and, what, yeah. and what was it about? Like, So listen, right? It wasn't, so look. like, her name wasn't brought up, but it was like you an indirect, have. it was like an indirect yeah, yeah, going towards her. But Nicki, Nicki, Nicki went off. Oh, so Nicki responded? Yeah, Nicki responded. Nikki was like, it's crazy how you lie on your dead mom and uh uh-uh. uh. Did she say anything? Because in my diss songs, I like to reveal new things that people was, never heard. It was like Did she a, say anything or just play on the old shit that we already know? It was like, bitch just hate on Megan, some shit like that. It was simple. It wasn't I, nothing crazy where. Speaking of diss songs, because I, I don't really, I, I ain't gonna lie, I don't listen to female rap. I'm, I can't be singing a line and then it comes in, yeah, nigga, and I up the blick and I'm down to suck a dick. I can't sing those words. Right. So it doesn't appeal to me. But anyway, uh, Flacco, we, I'm, I'm glad you have here. We had a conversation on the Facto Show where we talked about our top five diss songs of all time. Yeah. Right? And um, our top five diss songs, and I think you would agree with our list. Matter of fact, I think it was sent to me. Mick, you got it? it was it sent in the group chat? Uh no, it wasn't. But I think at 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 number at number five, we had uh, was it the Drake shit when he dissed Meek Mill? Yeah, back to back. Right, back to back. I think at number four, it was your shit. We had yeah the badass, it's the Troy Ave Joey badass diss. I think at number three we had, was it Nas Ether? It was Nas Ether. What was it? Say again. It was the top. It was the top five diss songs. Top five songs. all time. Look, speak. Look, mm. speak of the devil. But in North Carolina, woman who was trying to come up to my hotel room is calling me right now, but I will not answer because listen, oh, listen. Hold on. Yeah. I, I was just telling a story about when you was trying to break into my hotel room the other day. You heard? She Asian? Me? Yeah. When you when I was at the fucking hotel in NC and you kept having them call the room. Bro, I had them call the room. One time. And one time is too many. Oh, if you have somebody call the room when mm. you call their phone and they don't answer, that's a little bit crazy. Yeah, because yeah, I, I can smell the poverty in, in her room, breath, my nigga. Stupid. All right, whatever. I, I can I, smell the poverty in, in her breath. Right? Talk to you later. Man, <laughs> listen up, man. Listen up, bro. Huh? Sure. So, so then we had we had the the Nas Ether and, and three. at at number two was fucking uh, Gucci Man. What was the song? Um, Gucci Mane and the, the fucking diss to Young Jeezy. And then at number one, diss song of all time, we had uh, hit him up. Tupac hit him up. Do you agree with our list? Uh, here. Wait, wait one second. This guy's unprofessional here. Sorry, He's here. Oh, on phones and all kind of shit. This is crazy. Yeah. He would he would never do this on a, on a, no, off fact. the record. No, this is outrageous. Listen. No, facts, right? <laughs> listen, though. Um, no, well, listen. You want us to give you the list one more time? No. Uh, here, right? So, no. Right? So, here's my list, right? Um, so, uh, it's back to back is number one. Claudia shot, please. Right. Getting lit today. Right. Back to back. Yeah. It's number one. This song of all time. Before I hit him up and that's number yeah. one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, back to back. Uh, how? Take over. How? how? Sure. Look. Sure, how? Look. Sure, I just look. say number three though. No, look. Ooh. Well, well one, guess what though? Uh, it's the highest chart in this song. God, that doesn't mean nothing. Right. Same right? shit I said. That means right? nothing, bro. Same shit I said. All right. Number one. Look, and come, I'm going to refute your, your point. If Taylor Swift makes a diss song today against Kanye West or you, it's going to be the highest shot in diss song. So we it's can't really get the numbers. We it's, can't really get the numbers. 
It's not hip hop though, right? But we can't. But hip hop, we can't really get sure. in the numbers of why sure. it's treated. Uh, well, uh, give uh, me right. another reason why sure. it's the highest uh, bet, charting. Because the highest selling album ain't the best sure. seller album. So look, right? So look, okay, bet. So look, ain't the best album. Right? So, look, so one is the highest chart, and two, bro, it was the most strategic shit we've ever seen. Meaning this, right? Listen. So look. So so, and he shouts out, yo. Is that your girl tour, right? Again, yeah, that was hard, right? Uh huh. And playing a seed of insecurity in me, right? He did do that, right? Listen, do that. And playing a seed of insecurity, right? Which guess what? Eventually led to them breaking up, right? Because they was at the store. Meek ain't have his card with him. She was spazzing. <clears throat> you heard that too, right? So right. So now two, Drake shouted out some niggas that nobody knew, right? Called AR app, right? Feel me? Right? Right? You feel me? Right? I'm riding in a no, Ray no, Buffett no, AR app, right? That's too crazy. Claudia, I'll check it. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, me can take oh, it. Right yeah. Well, right. we're listening. No, 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 Will no, you no, have no. champagne with us? So look. Will no, you have a no. celebratory glass? Listen. I, I don't get, drink, but but that was good, right? But look. Up up here. Right? A celebratory so look, glass of right? champagne, so look, guy. I do. It's the highest charting. It's the most strategic way. I mean, this chart doesn't count. Right, right. So look. And he made a song, right? That planted a seed that ended his relationship with Nicki Minaj. Launched him and into some fucking street beef that was some real shit in the streets of Philly because he shouted out AR Ab. They started cheering and celebrating like groupies. Me got tight about it. Now, guess what? They got street beef now, and me can't come back to Philly no more, right? Now, three. And mm. he made a song that was a dance song that's being played in the mm. clubs, in the radio, right? Being played at Bar Misfits, being played at high school reunions. That's what Bro, I said. he made a song you can't really escape. Meaning this, right? You know, like like hairbrush, hairbrush, hairbrush. So look, first off, right, I fucking bitch, right? Cool. Like that's not being played, you know, and at no bar mitzvahs, nigga, and no high school reunions, nigga, and no school parties, nigga. But Drake made a dance song that this nigga can't escape. That's a little different, my nigga. Can't give. I can't give a number one. I I, I just can't give a number one. I can't give a number one because of the, mm -hmm. the times we're in, and I don't think. Like, I think Pac got to get number one because, nigga, that's a battle of, nigga, one and two. It's like sports. It's like college football. Two number ones going head to head. Mm -hmm. Pac and Big. That's a real battle, a real diss. Like, Drake was already up here. And wait, wait, Meek wait, was a big wait. artist, but it wasn't Does like... Capital, wait, 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 though, right? So, look. Now, we tend to have revisionist history. Mm -hmm, we do. At the time of Biggie's death, his highest selling album. Oh, come on. You're in New York. His highest selling album was about 60,000 copies first week at the time of his death. Biggie was not a top five, top 10, top 15 rapper. Over. Ready to die went platinum. Yeah. We'll wait till afterwards, right? Right? No, Ready to die was the first album went platinum, sir. First album went platinum. Yes, first sir. week sales, though, was 60,000 copies first week. I, I, we got somebody got to check that, please. Somebody fact yeah. check that, please. Yeah, this is, sound like bullshit. Ready to die though, wait. Platinum. Biggie was the Ray guy. Ready to die though, like, it's so was like, dropped up before or, 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 or like, I say die. So, no, Ready to Die was the first album. Yes. Life After Death was the second Life album. Death was death. And that's yeah. so, so how much? Oh, that shit went, come on now, bro. How much? 57. First week. Yeah. Ready to die. Yeah. Bro, he was never in earth. This is his man. He a probably just said anything. Of all time. Hey, this nigga's a plant. You might say anything. This is bullshit. Meek, you gotta check that, Meek. Yeah. Look at that. Bullshit. He was never a rap superstar ever. Biggie wasn't a rap what? superstar? And he You're died crazy? and became a superstar. No, it's it bullshit. What? I don't know. Ready to die. So 57,000 copies first week, bro. Ready to die, yes. I, but but Biggie Biggie blew up. Manola Rose. Was y'all bumping was y'all bumping Biggie out there? He's a superstar. When Nola Rose and Biggie was selling that. the same amount, bro. Come on out, my nigga. <laughs> Listen, yep. bro. Notorious B.I.G. and when Nola Rose was, was out here selling the same amount <laughs> first week. Dumb niggas with triple styrofoam, my nigga, right? Nigga so I'm just so saying crazy, it, right? Again, man. you can't be no legend selling 57,000 copies first week before Why not? You die. Those are the times. But Hell that, no. That what album, you mean? That album eventually went with Who uh, sold 800,000 copies first week? Pac was selling 400,000 copies first week. Biggie was not even on them niggas' levels ever. Biggie died and became a superstar. Excuse me, Trigger Man. Can you check the album? Can you check? <laughs> Trigger Man, that's a good one. Man, no offense. Nah, yeah. can, we were, the same album. Can you see Ready to how die many first times we went platinum? No, first week means nothing. But, but he died. Listen. Wait, 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 w
Re- ready to die. He died how, and became big, How many big, records bro. did it sell? He died and became big, though. So, no, so, so what? Because no, Biggie. Yeah, was, he died Biggie and became was big. Huge. Pause. Already in in life after the, I no, mean, ready to die. No, first I, album. No, bro. Nigga, he bought the whole East Coast back. He sold fifty seven thousand copies first week. He was listen. Hmm. Man, come on now. You look at the audacity of niggas saying six million dollar <laughs> live records. <laughs> That's exactly. So six million before. What? That's why. Yeah, what? Big, uh, yeah Flock, don't do that. What? Don't shrug your shoulders at six million records, nigga. What? He. W- it's so six million. Man. Yes, six million before. What? Look, yo, get what? this. Yo, why can't look at this nigga? What? See how niggas do you? What? He gonna shrug his shoulder like what? six million ain't nothing. He, he was, was never a rap just, superstar. He just said fifty seven thousand. That was it. Now yeah. a nigga tell you, uh, not nigga twelve times more, and you just go, what? That ain't nothing. This is blasphemous. Listen, You're not being listen, fair. No. When I think about that's the why I beg to differ. Right? That's listen, the name listen, of our no. show. I beg to differ. Listen no. when I think about the rap superstars, I'm thinking about niggas like Snoop who was selling. Now, Eight hundred thousand copies first week. I bet you. I bet oh, you. Snoop's album. I guarantee you. Snoop's album did not sell more than six million. Snoop's album. Uh, his first album. Uh, come on. Let's roll the dice. What? Snoop's first album. Uh, Gin and Juice. Pound, uh, Doggy Style. Yeah. Didn't sell more. Doggy Style. Nah. Fuck no. I'm about to see no. That I, 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 no. Nah, it didn't. How many Doggy Style? And, no. Whole 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 album. And how about this? And. and no, no, no. I said total, 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 Man, total. Man, no, total. Yeah, total, total. total. No, and are, are they here? and huh? Uh, and how about this? It ain't have a bigger impact. This a fact though. Oh, uh, really? Y'all had NWA. Y'all had West Coast niggas already doing their thing, and then Snoop came. And, matter of fact, a West Coast nigga that's already doing his thing helped to issue in Snoop. Biggie had to come in, nigga. Cold Turkey. It wasn't New York was dead. Right. Oh, really? It's a fact, though. Same way I did. New York was dead. I bought New York back. Biggie bought New York back. He revived it. Snoop didn't revive the West Coast. The West Coast is already running. Question, though. Uh, I consider Pac, uh, uh, um, you know, like an East Coast artist. Oh, come on. Why would you do that? Yeah, right. No. I mean, no. he was born right. out here. Pac but, was born right. in the East Coast. He from Pac is a West Coast. He's a Cal- nigga. California love. West Side. West Side. How? 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 He didn't sound like one? Niggas from niggas from New York sound like they're from Atlanta. What does that mean? Wait though, wait what does that though. mean? Niggas sound like from Atlanta. It doesn't mean how, how you do. Wait, I'm confused though. So because Pac lived in like New York and the East Coast his whole life, and then went to the West Coast, it wasn't his whole life. And started cosplaying as a gay man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why he live on the East Coast his whole life? That niggas no bullshit. Y'all niggas no bullshit. Right? No, wait, 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 wait though, right? Wait though. Like, Pac died at 26, right? Or 25, right? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. One of those ages. Was, and Pac graduated high 20 school, 20. school with, with like, Jim Pickett Smith. So, we know for at least 18 years, Pac was on the East Coast. Eh, he was in Baltimore. And That's the East Coast. Baltimore is the, is it? But you hit Baltimore is, like, it's, south. So, Pac spent, saying, wait, though. It's East Coast, but it's, like, it's very so Pac southern. Pac spent his whole life on the East Coast. Then went to the West Coast and started cosplaying as a gang member. He was in Oak- he was in Oakland, yes, Oakland. And started cosplaying as a West Coast game banging nigga. Like, come on, my nigga. Like, be for real here, bro. Pac was a, listen. Pac to me at that time was the biggest East Coast artist. He was a, was a New York nigga. I think I think it's too much whack one hundred influence over there. Hell no. Nah. Talking this bullshit. This is bullshit. <clears throat> if it wasn't for Tupac, nigga, it wouldn't. It was an East Coast West Coast beef. Beef, mm-hmm. and it started. And from Tupac, Tupac was a representative for the West Coast. So if a nigga playing an All Star game and he's wearing a West Coast jersey and he's the MVP head player, you pause. You cannot tell me that he's not West Coast. It's a fact, though. He's clueless. We need to yeah. hit the cricket button when we're nah, man. one of the crickets. That's a fact. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. If you spend eighteen years of your of of your life in Baltimore. And then spend a couple other years like being like 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 a background dancer, and you spend about three to four years. It's outrageous, at, right? man! Again, oh, this is exactly. Is is LeBron a Cleveland Cavalier? Yes. Yes. How? He didn't even win no. He won one ring there. But he's known for that though, right? 
No, no. So Shaq is a Laker or is he a Magic? My point. All right, so my fucking point. Thank you. What about? Thank you. What about that's your man's. What about that's Jordan? Your man's. Bull. Is is Jordan from Washington? <laughs> no, he's from the Bulls. But he was on Washington. Exactly. Fuck a year, but the Bulls Bulls for like what? No, fuck. It was like it was like it was like two three years. Sure, but he's a bull though. Like we know Jordan, Jordan bull. as a bull. Pac. But well, he was on Washington. Well, Pac. Pac ain't, ain't a New York. Pac ain't an East Coast nigga. I would love to claim him. Cost like two or three years, right? You feel me? Uh, Yo, bull. Bull, right? bull. Yeah. But he went to Washington, right? Yeah. So Pac was a New York nigga. It's not the same. That's not the same. How? If Pac was over here in the East Coast, it's all his life. Then he went to the West Coast. He went to visit. They 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 recruited him. Mace, c- come on, camera, and talk this. We have extra mic right here. Yeah. We need you right here. Cause you talking blasphemous shit. We talking blasphemous shit right here. Mm-hmm. We gonna get to the bottom of this. What that? Whoa, what that gotta do with where I'm niggas good. from? Pull a mic to you, pause, please. Thank you. you no know, niggas was living around there. Well, yeah. All right. Yeah. So tell us what you know then, since you saying that. So y'all didn't consider Pac a West Coast nigga. But he was cosplaying and pretending nah, to be we, we could, a I know, I know where I'm from considered him like a nigga. These words like pretend. He was, like a, he was a nigga that was in New York, and the New York niggas got down, and got down on him on some New York shit, and then yeah. he ran to the ops. He was a pancake nigga. He was an actor and a little, he was a, he was a civilian, Yo, like the Juice Boy. He was like Juice World. Like then, who? He was like Juice, Juice World. World. Then the New York niggas with the shystiness and the razor blades and all that took <laughs> all this shit and did him dirty, and he ran to the West Coast. Like Y'all know he off. y'all's. Y'all got to claim y'all. This is crazy. The, the type of shit, the type of slander that they come up here with is outrageous. I just want y'all to know these do, people do not represent the views of Facto Show, and they may be jet lagged because they've been flying for a while. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This Ow. is bullshit. Was it like a six-hour flight? This is bullshit. I took an uh, hour and a half flight from Atlanta. Cool. Okay, okay. Listen, though. That, <laughs> Atlanta, Atlanta is no room to talk. Yeah. How? Nah. How, oh, dare from, you, how, from, how dare you call I'm from Chicago. A pancake. But facts, though. How dare you? Fin, listen, bro. This is crazy. Man. See, Chicago niggas start. Man, I remember. Where's all the dirt? I remember the you days. You think about this. You from where all you do all your dirt, all these cases, all that shit was going on in New York City. Yeah. East Coast. That's that's a fact. Mm-hmm. But now, now here's the thing. I'm gonna tell you about the, the. This is my issue with Chicago niggas now, and the same issue with Atlanta niggas before their music was popping. And you know, was it, New York had it for a long time, mm-hmm. but. When I remember Chicago, y'all come from the time of, hey, in the middle of the yard. Let me tell you something about that. And now. Let me tell you something about that. That, was, that was the west side of Chicago. The oh, that was the west side of Chicago. It's crazy that how niggas music try to y'all hear, differentiate. That come from the south side of Chicago. That, but it's that's a like, big ass difference. So that's like niggas in Philly saying, nah, nigg- these niggas from the south Philly. I'm from north Philly. From north Philly. Yeah. It's all Chicago. It's y'all don't, difference. y'all don't let us separate. New is York. there a difference in the boroughs? Y'all don't, yeah, but, but you know, ask the question. Is there a difference in the boroughs? It is, but yeah. y'all say okay. New York niggas. Nah, no, but y'all say it. New York niggas, so y'all don't get to separate us. Hey, hey you know what? Bronx, 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 well, Shout out to my niggas out west. They get some good money, niggas. They like to party and have fun. So was hey in the middle of the barn? Like was it like did it go over my head? Was they talking about getting money or do? Yeah. What was that song about? No, they about? really talking about smoking weed. It was like some country sh- out west. Y'all oh yeah, that know, was bro. that was I, no I was, good. We wasn't fans of that. That was no good. Like, yeah. Man, come on now, bro. Listen though, but but again though, like the facts right, can never be seen as disrespect. That is, that is true. If Pac was an East Coast nigga. And got terrorized and bullied and ran out of New York and he went to. He didn't get terrorized and bullied. Every time he came here, something bad happened to him, Flacco. You wasn't alive, I don't think. Haitian he Jack was terrorizing Pac, bro. Haitian Jack wasn't terrorizing. Haitian he Jack was terrorizing was actually, Pac, bro. Haitian Jack was supporting and nurturing and, and, and giving him swag. Jimmy Henchman sound like, Haitian it Jack sound was like street, It sounded like Pac, street bro. grooming. It sounded like friendly extortion. <laughs> but Haitian Jack never took a dollar from Pac. So, street grooming, that's a good way to put it. Oh. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> hey. But. Haitian Jack Listen gave Pac his Rolex. Listen First go Rolex, he put it on Pac. No, right though. Nigga probably had but six though, of them in the closet. Right, no. <laughs> that, he, that he took from other niggas. <laughs> yeah, he has another one in my pocket. <laughs> no, but though, according to, to the dude and who robbed Pac, right, that Haitian Jack and Jimmy Henchman and had asked him to bring him like, like the Rolex and some big ring that Pac had, right? So, yeah, if, I mean, he gave him the Rolex. But then, but then, but, you feel me? but then I took it back. You feel me, right? Mm-hmm. So, listen, I'm just saying this, right? That we know for a fact that Pac was from New York, that Pac got, I got shot a real up, real question for him, Pac. Well, let, let me say I'm answer this. Yeah. If all that didn't happen to Pac out here in New York, would he ever went to L.A.? Man, come on now. 
Possibly. Well, yeah, because he was already well, in Oakland. Well, yeah. okay, because yeah. the, the body was out already in Oakland. Yes. Shit. He was already in so, Oakland. How about that? Yes. he Pac was already oh, yeah, in Oakland. He, 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 he had yeah. a little Oakland in See him, too. See how quickly niggas better forget. Niggas forget. I forgot about the Niggas Oakland shit. We're revenge is a promise. Oakland. Because it was so short-lived. Most of his time was on the East Coast. That's not true. Brenda got a baby? He was in Baltimore for a short time. I found out about Brenda got a baby. He had on a fat-ass UNLV coat. That wasn't in no bait. That, that was in New that York. That was a style. I wore a Dallas Cowboys coat. I loved him. I, I had him too. Dallas at the time. I had him too, but I knew he, he was somewhere real cold. Enough. Brenda got a baby, could never be on the West Coast. The bitch was putting motherfuckers in alleys and under the garbage and shit. That was straight New York shit. But why can't why right. can't why can't a man why can't a, why is it that in a black community? Hey, get this on me, cause I'm the evil Martin Luther King. Why is it mm-hmm. in a black community we don't allow our brothers to grow? Y'all don't say y'all don't know where Garth Brooks is from. Y'all don't say well Garth Brooks is not he from Nashville. Not our concern. Y'all never say that. Not, not our concern. But why is it what that Pac can't be from? Why he can't be a man? Why he can't just be from the culture? No, wait, 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 wait. Garth Brooks ain't no, from listen, the hip hop no. culture. No, but he's from the southern culture. But he wait, doesn't get ridiculed back, like black the people. Backwards, right? So no, 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 we eat our own in this culture. Listen, right? Listen, we encourage growth, but Pac started off. As a yeah. good nigga doing the right thing, and then Mama went to the West together. Coast. Don't we all start off as a good nigga? Gangbanger. He went backwards. That's not growth, nigga. backwards. Right? We, right. we all right. started right. as a good okay. nigga. Okay. okay, okay, say that again. Miz went from theater to 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 a cosplay as a gangbanger. That's crazy. If you put your so, kid through all so, this all so, this so terrific schools we, and shit, then he turned out to be a gangbanger with Suge in him. Do we blame Shit Knight for that? Uh, no, what? no, you blame Pac. Pac was already shooting niggas and claiming Thug Life before Suge Knight, so absolutely not. Yeah, man, he had a couple lucky shots with the pole. Oh, I'm on now. I'm, I'm asking shit. you because, he went out because shit you, said, wait, hold you blame Bruce Wells death I, over future. Sure. So I'm trying to put the two and two together. Sure, right. So look, and Pac was still pretending to be a game. Why you got to use the word pretend? Sure. Why you have to use the word pretend? Because yeah, he wasn't that, a game That's inflammatory. Hold on. So when they pretend? he became a, a game, so do we blame the West Coast? I blame whoever Pac was influenced by, yeah, right? It's so funny to see the West Coast and East Coast argue over... <laughs> Pac, no, Pac's, Pac's blood, blood, I guess. I <laughs> right? think, Chicago, I think, we care yeah. less. He I came think, there and disrespected motherfuckers because no. of a little yummy shit and shouldn't mind this fucking business. Who's that, Pac? Yeah. And that's the source of his anger. No, I was going to say Pac <laughs> fucked one of your bitches back in the no, day, no. but that's the source of your anger. Because I, I sense some deep-rooted anger. No, he can't. It's, fa- it's, a, it's a fact that he came after uh, Yummy like Sanford hatred, got man. killed or whatever, the little shorty, the little killer, the 11-year-old killer in Chicago. Uh-huh. And he wanted to come and speak about it. He had his pennies in the bunch and said some wild shit at a concert and shit. Oh, Pac said some shit? Yeah, and he had to get ran up out that thing. What he said, like... And he ran real fast. Pac is a very fast runner, from what I heard. I was a, I was a kid. I was young. Sometimes you got to get out of places, and yeah. he had to get and out of never come back. Zone fleet. Hey, you fought Pac for having to get out of here. Sometimes you gotta get out of places. Yo, you know what I'm saying? I wish he could have made it out of Quad Studio. Mm? Blasphemous, man. I, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, you don't wish this he would have made it? Ow. He did make it. Yo, and he I, went I, on to make wait, all in one piece. Me. I mean, in one, one piece. Ass. Albums ever. In one piece. crazy, no ad, bro. Like, listen, bro, bro. What bro. the fuck is this? Is dead presidents? Yeah. What's your niggas <laughs> with dreads? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? That's What's a dead president <laughs> song? <laughs> Feel like I'm a little hitty right now. Right right the dollar like effects. This is a '90s hip hop. This nigga Flock okay to New York. He say, Yo, I want '90s hip hop. I want fucking. You ever seen that movie? Yo, son. You seen me some nation? We're after. Wait, what's going on in America? All right, go ahead, go no, ahead. No, 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 wait though, right, but bro, wait wait though. When you done, done, like, say, yo, listen, man, Pac took pussy and I don't care. Pac was cosplaying as a gang member. I never I said care. that. I was just... At what point do Troy I say, yo, bro, like, Pac stood for a lot of shit that I condemn in, in real life. Again, you condemn cosplaying as some shit that you're not. Pac was a theater nigga and went to the West Coast and started cosplaying as a game banging nigga. I agree. You would condemn that if, again, and if Rat Stone got out of jail and started acting like he was a big bath thug, right? Because we know he pussy, right? Right. So if you know this, so then why do you ac- accuse, sorry, excuse him of some shit that you know that you wouldn't, that you wouldn't tolerate from nobody else? Well, the, 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 like you mm-hmm. said, you cannot be mad at anybody about stating the facts, but mm-hmm. it's the way that you twist and report the facts. Okay. Because you, you know what you're doing. Nah. You're, saying, you're saying he was in theater. No, he went to a school of arts. That's he a, went... That's, he he didn't a, have he on, just said the same he thing. He didn't have on ballerina he pants. Acting he just nigga, said the same thing. He didn't have thing. on ballerina pants. He was a dancing, acting, acting nigga. That, that means he was creative. 
Dude, why a why actor, do we man, frown upon him. somebody being creative? No, if, we love he that. He did greater poetic justice. If he was intelligent and they put him in, right, we'd never get poetic justice if he wasn't creative. So he was intelligent, he was smart. It's so what, hey, Troy, but, hey, Troy, but, what but, happened but, between the poetic justice to get to Suge, like to hit that, him up but and how all about that? this? What how, happened? How y'all going to completely excuse the Black Panther movement and that Pac was a, a part of and affiliated with? He supported it. Y'all just said no. mom was a part of it. Huh? His mom was a part of it. Y'all just gonna skip. I, I see this is what I don't like about niggas. It's the audacity. Why, why did he niggas. not? Why did he the feel away from that niggas, though? They pick we love what they men. want the points they we make love the and men. they shove everything else away. So Wait, what about we, that? We don't like it when he start cosplaying, bro. Yeah. When he was a Black Panther, and he was goddamn it. Brenda got a baby and telling yeah. the truth about this and shooting police. Niggas rocking with him all over the world. Yeah, he so, became a fucking Damu blood overnight. Why, why can't? Why can't he be both? Why can't he, he was a grown man though. Nigga, a game grown, and a revolutionary how, how about this? Nigga? Why I can't be why I can't you be, cannot be a listen again, rest of the, I, I I don't I disagree. I beg to differ. Why? I could be the father of the year uh -huh. and I'll still turn around and and kill a nigga for playing with me. And then I'll still turn around and go to my grandmother's house and eat Sunday dinner. And then I'll still turn around, I'll go to jail, play dominoes with niggas, do my little time, and then I'll still turn around and come out and have beautiful bitches and Ferraris and sleep in fucking Ave California no. king-size beds. Ave why no. can't I be that person Ave no. all around? Why you got to just Here's focus Wado, on Ave, the one though. time? Here's Waddle, right, Afro. So look, so you can't claim to be revolutionary, I'm trying to progress this shit further, and, and then join a gang, which are the biggest obstacles in, in our community, who has set us back... A thousand years. These niggas are worse than the KKK. These niggas caused more destruction in our community. Man, he said he KKK. fucked another black man's wife. He was like, capping line. Bro, nigga, I'm pretty he, sure you he, fucked he, another black man's I mean, yeah, but I, I don't claim to be a revolutionary. I'm a gangster. Oh, that's true. Okay. You know like, like, but like, why, like, why, on, why can't people change? Why? He didn't no, change. No, no, he changed, changed for the white nigga. He was, he was all good. He changed for the white. Look up my nigga. He left the suburbs and came to the to where you from. He hung out and brought ounces, nigga. But do, but did y'all see what happened to him that made him have that change? Let's let's not um let's delve into the psychology of it. He, got he went through he he went through some okay. shit that made him look around and nigga like these niggas is disloyal. All the niggas I show love to fought for represented, they did some disloyal Just shit to me. Just say y'all out here the East Coast, niggas. he didn't hate everybody. It was a specific area that he targeted. So y'all frowning upon, y'all frowning on, upon Pac because he is a man of many different uh, uh, personalities. I think that's a human being to me. I Hell think nah. the niggas that's always mad, always tough, always happy, always a lover boy, that's fake. I feel like you gotta be, it's many different, you go through many emotions not on no sucker shit, but through life. And I think if you show all faces of that, that make you a real and nigga. Pac was there all the way up to he met those L.A. guys, and then the New York guys kicked him up his ass, and, and everybody was scared of Haitian Jack, and motherfuckers was like, man, you, you on your own, kid. This he is shot outrageous. his ass to the West Coast and became a gang member. Wait, this, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's crazy, bro. Wait, 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 we don't honor we, that where I'm from. We don't, we don't, I don't ex, know about out we, we don't accept... Uh, we don't accept opinions of how niggas should react in Chicago because y'all are overreact anyway. No, nah, it's clear. Oh, it's wow. on the news oh, wow. all the time. Y'all niggas and overreact. New York, they yeah. don't even have to report on New York. New, 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 New York is a little place. bit safer now, but y'all niggas, yeah, I've seen a nigga now. go on Facebook Live and run a drill. Where does that make sense? At what point did this get? At what, what point? They niggas, victims though. They in New York, though. niggas wasn't like even when we do shit, yeah. talk about shit in songs. Y'all would never know shit I'm talking about that I did in a song. Only niggas that know know that was because I speak in our terms and clear. Why I need to know that a nigga from this gang shot a nigga from this gang and y'all talk about that it? That was a part of our what? new group. That was a part of our. That was our, that was our contribute to the hip hop culture. Y'all yeah. did y'all hip hop things, the African band bottles and all the other things y'all did. They we did drill. He gonna say we, we didn't like the mirror that. in the barn and all that yeah. out west shit. So. We created drill to give y'all a little real. I thought New York yeah. liked the realness. Yeah, because okay. I see y'all created a New York drill also. Okay. So, well, uh, so listen, we did something look, right. Yo, Ab, listen, right. Yo, Ab, listen, right. So he just tried to paint self snitching. Yeah, niggas Chicago, had media training. But he had, <laughs> had, had, no, had no media <laughs> training. Yeah. Yeah. No, no nah. training. Yeah, you've been around, from New York, you've been around for a while. You've been listening Bro. and watching, <laughs> and you know what's up. How niggas say the murder and self snitching and doing all kind of. Obs obscenities and came from New York. is contributing to the culture of hip hop. That was that was ill. You ill nigga. Right? At least, get, at least no. we didn't contribute no pedo shit. I was told that snitching came from New York. We, we did no pedo. No, we don't do freak off parties. I was I mean, told we that do riot started shit. in New York. That, uh, again. Yo, isn't R. Kelly from Chicago? Absolutely. He sure is. Round of applause. But who, who, R. Kelly. Who, 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 I, I mean, R. Kelly's a victim. 
Oh, get that, get this he was nigga set up. Here. He what was set up. What you talking about? Hey, no. set up. By who? Y'all got puff daddy. Young bitches I don't pussy. That shit, Y'all got set puff. him up. Listen, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying. I'm not saying R. Kelly ain't wrong, but don't no. It's a pile of these niggas. So let's pile them all up and sweep them on the same rug. Uh, or, or no, and that rug is in they Chicago. just wanted R. Kelly money. Yeah, that rug is in Remember Chicago. how much R. Kelly was worth? They just wanted his no, money. No, 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 Sent them no, no, up no, out of here. No, no, folks. Guess what though? And, and the parents a, handed over the kids. I'm sorry. They yeah, absolutely did. Right? I That's agree true. with that. I agree with that. Wait though, sure. and he was indicted for for like for again for the sex trafficking shit in, in like in like in New York. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> like, yeah, what you got against New York? And you've been going crazy. Place. A lot of, a lot I think I might be the only thing, happen. only person. Me and Ak is the only nigga you fucking from New York. What's, what's up with you in New York? Listen, I am mad at the New York niggas and the East Coast niggas for starting snitching and then pretending like snitching is. How bad. can you say? I, 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 I don't got nothing to do with that. I don't got nothing to do with that. These niggas are the original rats. These niggas been telling since since again since 1969. Then niggas telling Larry Hoover when he got indicted. Sure Absolutely, and that happened before here. So what are we talking about? I'm was, not gonna lie, Menace society. Before the from, games, right? It's from the West Side, huh? isn't it? Was Mafia before the games, right? What is oh, Menace? Was who? Oh, 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 Mafia. Yeah, Mafia. Yeah, yeah, way before. Way before. And, and they were. But that, I, uh, you know, back in the days, y'all had Nicky Barnes. Y'all had y'all fair share. Y'all, y'all had. Matter of fact, y'all had. Y'all had before this. Frank Lucas. Bro, they started it, bro. Let's if y'all want to go there, y'all had Jeff Ford and Man, all these on, niggas. Y'all had the 60s. Happy and all of them. Y'all, y'all and had a bunch of serial killers that told I'll the whole thing. Snitch off is crazy. Too. <laughs> I think it's about bro, neck and neck. Snitch off. <laughs> snitch off is crazy, man. <laughs> Listen, though, but, but, bro, guess what, though? It's facts, though, that New York niggas started snitching. These niggas are the original tattle tellers. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold I mean, let's be real here, Mickey. man. Mickey, let oh after you say your point, let's swap all. Oh, let me get my man in here because yeah. he nah, definitely yeah, came yeah. from. He, he definitely uh, did get years of opinion. He has a fucking very opinion and some fine white women in Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, please join us and give us your opinion on this shit. Because I feel like unless you on some shit on if if you're biased, then stay off the show. Because our opinions are based on facts, not biasness. No facts. I feel like it's three against one. Man. Not that's just crazy. Yeah, this is crazy. It's pulling Mike <laughs> closer to you. At the round of applause, we got Milwaukee in the motherfucking house. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and listen, bro, Troy is trying to pretend like New York niggas ain't event snitcher. Shit, you got um, what you got? Gotti now? They was in the fifties. Man, we, Damn. We, but Sam, Gotti, no, Sammy, Gotti, Gotti no, crazy. Gotti is from the nineties. Gotti went to jail in the nineties. But we keep so it. We, we go on. We keeping it us. We keeping it. Yeah, our okay. Culture, yeah. Hell no. Nah. Exactly. Exactly. We'll go down the rabbit hell hole. Hell hell we'll go down the rabbit hole. You keep moving hell the goalposts. Nah. We'll you go be moving the goalposts a lot. The New York niggas was telling in the fifties because they get to talk about Al Capone and all them, bro. Yeah, you move exactly. So you moving the goalposts. Don't do that. Keep it with the black. think he's slick. He moving the goalposts. Let's keep it with the yeah. What city has the most freak offs? Oh, 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 that's in New York, right? <laughs> no, fuck no. I gotta be Cali. I'm a, I'm no, a, it can't York. be New York because we have I so was, much I diverse say Cali. culture. Then New York. Sacramento, what? You know, Sacramento. I would say Cali, then New York. It gotta be Cali, like Sacramento. You just told us they have a freak off every they, fucking time. I'm gonna tell you why Cali, because they do the most drugs. New York, certain drugs is frowned upon. They do. Nigga, no, Coke uh, is openly like a buffet in Hollywood. California. Hollywood. Hollywood. That's a fact, though. Hollywood. Anywhere yeah. drugs and sex. Guess what, though? Whoa, whoa, whoa. All whoa. the stories getting told by actors and cat webs, all that was in Hollywood. Guess what, though? That's where yeah. what all, the all the weirdo right. activity oh, don't be in Hollywood. Listen, Hollywood. That's, in, that's in your neck of the woods. Listen, though, doing Coke and having a freak off, I can forgive. But doing K2 Nigga. and fucking rats is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas is, bro, you but, niggas are but, outrageous. But he's doing that in jail. That's right, still doing that jail. But doing K2 and fucking the sewer rats is crazy. And, and yes, yes, yes. Who's doing that? Hey, he was arrested for it. Yes, yes, nigga was no, fucking a rat. This is Cat. I've been real. Who? It was on the news. What's his name? Michael. Some random nigga was on the news. <laughs> He's just making shit up. But doing K2 and I fucking just, rats. I, I beg to differ. He's just making I'm shit up at this I'm point. Told you, look it up. He's, hey, He's making guess shit what, up. Guess what, though? Guess what, though? Right? So look, right? So look. And there was a Philly girl, right? And who just got booked again? All the East Coast, who just got booked for killing animals on YouTube live stream and fucking eating them. You niggas is is fried and wrapped now, up. Now look, bro. I gotta say, hold up, ice cream Chuck, because yeah. the shit, shit that y'all call the East Coast, we don't call the East Coast. The East Coast well, is well, New we York. Can't, we can't do that. Though. We could nah, because bro, the, I mean, all right, so it's I'm Florida, 44 East Coast. years old today. All my life. I don't know the East Coast to be like uh, yeah. over this way, New York, yeah, uh, New York, DC, Baltimore, Baltimore, Philly, Philly, 
you but know? New Jersey. But that's what I'm saying. Y'all from East out of Coast. town. East Coast nah, is really New nah. York. I'm from here too. East Coast. East Coast. He's not from here anymore. You like what you said about you like Tupac, nigga. It's, like, it's over. But East Coast is New York. New York is East Coast. When we see niggas from Baltimore, oh, they from down south. Niggas from Philly, oh, they from out of town, down south. Yeah. They don't get the East Coast stamp. Even certain parts of Jersey, oh, them niggas ain't from here. You know else. what I'm saying? It ain't new. Yeah. We don't consider that East Coast. Definitely. Benny That's Siegel. what I'm trying to say. And then niggas Benny in Compton don't East feel Coast? like they in L.A. So. Exactly. Yeah, Benny Siegel's not. I Benny Siegel, Philly. It. It. Is it the East South Coast? Side definitely ain't the West Side. To y'all. But both y'all. To y'all. East Coast. What's East that? Coast is New York. Was that, was that snitching shit big, though, before the 85% came in, though? What's 85%? They jacked the number up. You do 85% of your time. 50% of your time to 85%. In, in the feds? Yeah. State, too. State, too. Yeah, in our, in, our, in our city, we got true for sentence where if you get 10 in, 5 out, you do the whole 10. See, I don't. No I don't, programs, no nothing. Damn. I'm going to keep it a buck. When they jack the number up to 85% of your time, that's when niggas start really. It got See, I'm going to keep it a buck. Niggas, what did it niggas used that? to only do, uh, or I think niggas still do 80% of the time, but mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it a buck. Like, even in my music, I never be talking about niggas snitching and ratting. I never experienced a lot of that shit. Mm -hmm. Like, niggas from my hood, like the successful, successful niggas, mm -hmm. two, maybe. Yeah. They never went to jail. You know what I'm saying? Word. They never had niggas telling on them. Like, niggas get picked up for little hand-to-hand -hand crack sales and shit, and they go to jail or whatever. So, like, a lot of my my music and my life, my experiences ain't that. That's why I never talk about that. Mm -hmm. I just talk about getting money and shit. Okay. But I know it's some niggas that been through that, got caught up in indictments. I got homeboys that they got caught up in indictments through, and that's more recently. That's during rap. That's not mm -hmm. in my experience well, 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 in the street. Um, Nuke, free my man Nuke, free Nuke the bloody. Well, he got well, caught Harv, up. Right? He was the head of non trading and Harv and them. These niggas is little niggas compared to Nuke. Okay. But yeah, he got caught up with that, and Nuke was got caught, caught up. Six in nine. That. He got right, but here's the thing. Now, Av, come Nuke, on now, Av. We got to keep it a hundred, though. No, bro. I'm, look, let me let me and tell. He's an OG, and like six nine. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's no, no, that's, crazy. that's the thing. This is yeah. why the, Nuke, the case with Nuke is crazy. Yeah, Nuke, it, he Nuke is a big dog in the non trade shit, right? Mm -hmm. But Nuke. Wasn't like with these niggas. Oh, Nuke okay. was robbing these niggas oh. and terrorizing these niggas. Like in Nuke's trial, they got Queen Wolf is in the building, and and in Nuke's trial, Queen they got more fucking um, they got um, him, them niggas saying, "Damn, Nuke took the jury. Nuke took took the role. He jumped in the nigga Range Rover. I think the nigga name was Rolling. Or so one of them niggas down with 6 9 and shot him all of them. Mm -hmm. And he hopped in there and he robbed them niggas. He said, nigga, every time I see y'all niggas, y'all niggas better have something for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he ain't on that type of... Nuke is a good nigga, but if niggas play with him, he gonna terrorize them niggas. Mm -hmm. He terrorized multiple niggas. He was on um, Jim Jones in them head. He was a uh, 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 true life with the mm -hmm. whole cam this shit. Is, is like, Nuke is, Nuke is a well, nigga. He terrorized Nuke the, this, sorry, is what, this is what uh, Chicago deferred from all y'all cities. Because don't know niggas like that exist where we from. Yeah, come on, they bro. play you late. We don't give a fuck who you are. Ain't no big eye little you. Them well, you know what? Over with. You know no what? Way. He was robbing niggas. He'd have been like, oh, that's yeah, nigga robbing everybody. He'd have been dead by the morning. But you know what? I, I think, I think like, the fact that you said it, you said them niggas don't exist no more? No more. All right. <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah. I think it's always a nigga that exists like that until somebody catch up with him. Yeah. And there's no way that, like, nobody's invincible. Anybody can get killed or whatever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, these niggas playing a different route and, now. And it's some, it's <laughs> some niggas that are more savage than others. And I know that from coming into the rap game and seeing how niggas are pick and choose who they gangsta with. Yeah, because bullies, oh, yeah. bullies get bullied. Bullies get bullied. Yeah, I get always bully the bully. Yeah. I never pick and choose. I'm going to take the problem as it come. I'm not going to say, well, all right, I'm, I'm going to go get this nigga, but I'm not going to get this nigga. You know what I'm saying? The question, though. So, so okay, so then who's your top five bitch-ass niggas in rap? I can't. I, come on, well, you, come on. Of course, hey, of, course, hey, of course, him and his guys riding hey, around like man, this hey, bitch come ass on, nigga. Keep it hundred though, Al. Come on now, bro. <laughs> I'm never scared. Give me scared. your top five bitch ass niggas. I'm you never scared. Right. Yeah. I'm never come scared. Now, I, a, I just can't think about give it. Give me your top five bitch ass niggas in rap. Come on now, man. Where's the? Who is Troy? Listen though. Are we I don't know. I'm not, I'm not invested in these niggas. Like, I, well. I me, can only say me. the people who who I had issues with that was doing like hating and shit. You know what I'm saying? But, but that's four. Give me five now. More. I don't even. I, hey, hey, somebody come smoking on, some I, good loud. That shit smells I, immaculate. If I'm adding, oh. what, hey, ah, listen, man. This is the fact. Top five right? bitch ass niggas in rap. Where, that's listen, a we're good not holding back. It's a fact. So come on, your top five bitch ass niggas in rap. Give me that, man. 
top five bitch ass niggas. I'm gonna say for sure. See, when I say a bitch ass nigga, mm -hmm. I don't. My criteria is might right. be different from yours. I'm not gonna call a nigga a bitch because he's scary or mm -hmm. he's frail or haven't done gangster shit. Yeah, sure. I call a nigga a bitch when they play tough, and they, and, and they only and pick and choose exposed. who they tough with, okay. and they really not tough because if you tough nigga, you tough all the time. There's no instances of taking L's and not no get backs. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say Chano. He gets one for sure. Okay. That's Chano. Um, what other niggas in the rap, bitch ass niggas? Uh, I'ma say my song because he never took his mom's out the hood. You know what I'm saying at all. You're not a real nigga if you don't make break, get your mom's out the hood. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you claim you doing, you fucking marching, getting arrested okay. for picking in Black Lives Matter, okay. nigga, you need to march down to the uh, uh, march down to the uh, employment office yeah. and get you four jobs and move your mama out the hood. That's, right. that's what I'm saying. Right. Have that type of energy. All right, that's true. Um. And then a, a, any nigga that's a hater is a bitch ass nigga to me. Okay, so um, are we talking artists or are we just talking like people in like rap, media, media people? And rap. Um Charlemagne definitely a bitch ass nigga. He right. plays a lot of gay games that's and, and and um he he date raped that girl Desiree. Uh, um really? yeah. and it, when she was fifteen and he was twenty two, according to her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. He charged. Charge not con charge not convicted. Allegedly. Yeah, a look um, yeah, I mean according to her. Yeah. <laughs> according <laughs> to her. Um All right, that's three. Um, let me see. Let me see who else. It's, I'm, honestly, I can't. Man, I don't be on, thinking I, about. Come on. I think Vlad. Vlad, of course, if we gonna count him. See a bitch ass nigga though. He's I, white. That's what I'm saying. Y'all be moving the goalposts. He moving the goalposts. Like, That's why I don't know. Is it rap? Is it? Okay, so Vlad. So who's um, five? And who's another bitch ass nigga in in rap? Ask, I can't even give Aston over top five bitch ass <laughs> niggas like. I, I can't like Asanova. He nigga, he'll, he'll fight. He'll get down if, yeah. if he had to. But mm -hmm. he definitely is a gangster group. And he gonna dick ride over nigga. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna treat. I'm gonna treat the same nigga with. I'm gonna treat the nigga that's a geek that's gonna do the computers as I'm gonna treat a nigga that killed four niggas. Okay. Like it don't. I'm Ooh, treat every one. man with regular respect. Heart. Oh man. Um, man. So five. Was, who's your five? So like yes. I, one more. I, I don't have a fifth. You you tell man, me. I gotta on, think man, about. That's it. crazy, man. Come on, nah. Ah man, who's the top five? Miki, who you thinking? I don't be knowing these niggas top of my head. Who's a bitch ass nigga from New York? Man, nah, man. it ain't. Why really... gotta be from New York though? You ain't. That's what I'm trying to say. No, I just think stay he... at home with it. Just period. Oh, in rap period. Yeah, yeah. Uh, top five bitch ass nigga in rap period. Um, hmm. Flacco trying to make air nigga get security. Yeah, he's yeah, trying to fuck it up. Yeah, yeah I ain't going to say Bitch nigga, <laughs> period. Yeah. With him, I don't know. <laughs> it's certain niggas that I have an issue with <clears throat> just for like personal shit. Like the way I feel like the way T.I. handled the Irvin Plaza shit mm -hmm. is how he should have came on some more supporting shit. I did go to, to a show to perform with him type shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And like I would never have a nigga pull up in my city, if I know it's going to be a... Pro you got to be cognizant of it. My man sure. Champ will always say, nigga, eh, nigga, ignorance is never no excuse. Mm -hmm. You don't invite a nigga to no place with no ops. That You know what I mean? That it could be a problem. Of course. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you supposed to stand by that and then just the way that... um, Like, the way that I see how niggas will go at... Like, 50 Cent was... I mean, T.I. wasn't as aggressive with 50 Cent as... He might have been with other people. I, I don't pick and choose, nigga. Okay. But, you know, I can't call him a, a bitch-ass nigga. Mm -hmm. But I'm just thinking about people. Like, I only so call... You just I only said say T.I., but... Shit. Right? Nah, nah. You definitely said T.I. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I ain't say... If I, if I say it, I have All no problem right. with saying it. But okay. I like to I like to keep it a buck. Like, I like mm -hmm. to deal in factos. And it's, I could only speak on niggas who I might have a problem with. Not a nigga that I don't well, how know do you with some shit. About if, if I had it, I'm thinking, but I can't put bitch ass five, nigga. And I, don't be ti, but he don't. No, he I can say a nigga. Didn't hand, he handles he ain't handles situations like a like a real nigga in that situation. But just because okay. you don't do real nigga shit, don't make you a bitch ass nigga. Maybe 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 I was more invested in the relationship than he was because right. like coming into this rap shit, I'm thinking is real, not knowing a lot of shit is WWE. True. These niggas ain't fighting for real. They ain't, I'm slamming niggas on their neck. Oh, you fighting too rough, Troy Av. We don't do that here. Nigga, I thought we was all solid. So I don't know. Who who, who you thinking? 
Uh, how about you? I only got one because I, I nah, come on, I, I only got five. Man, come on, we didn't no, you I know what we want? We want top of... five niggas from Chicago plus this one you about to say top five bitches. Give us some insight, yeah, because to- you know the top five hoes. You know the top, the top five, five bitch, bitch ass, ass fake Chicago. ass gangster niggas from Chicago. Because I got a few bitches. That's a fact from though. Chicago, only, only see, Chicago I'm not nigga to my city because ain't no really no they not no bitch ass niggas that come from there. Come on, stop that. The days that you was talking about, tell her to get killed. I what era we talking about? Because the real era. The drill hairs are no go. They 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 going. No, they going. we talking about in the hole. In the hole. Well, bro, bro, back, niggas, back in the day, I say twister on some real like real life shit. My nigga, the people from Chicago that you know niggas they know, know? They, know they they know. Like what? Like twister wasn't on he no was gangster just like a, shit. He was a bitch ass nigga. Like he was really with some people that was really putting the bags behind and all this and that. Then you know he did some switcheroo shit, running around hiding and. So he left niggas there, who like, first put him on. Yeah, shout out to my nigga Big Foot. You know what I'm saying? One of the OGs That's from crazy. The crib. He was one of the ones put him on. Then it's like I could go a little deeper into mm-hmm. like the Bump J shit. My nigga, shout out to my nigga Shorty Six who really. Wait, Bump J's not a real nigga. I mean, not nah, Bump a real nigga. It's just about that whole situation though. What one was my, the situation? One of my niggas really was involved in that situation where he was like the uh, CEO of Third Putting Brand that turned into Goon Squad and all that, and they tried to kill him off to get the you know what I'm saying. The nigga was like a whore. He was like de- trying to deal with everybody. He's like six niggas' hands in this shit in Chicago. And right, right. They but try that, to knock him off. To, they did superstar. some shit like that out here Bump before. Was our super, he was our 50 Cent at the time. And he was going to be that and he was that. And then they kind of, all that shit kind of ruined this whole shit, though. What nah, about? Bump not no bitch ass nigga, though. But <coughs> what about these niggas? I was fucking with them. Um, It was, it was like like two brothers, Chicago niggas, two two mm. brothers. Um, They came out like, like, 2000, like 2000, 2010. Mm. Man, these niggas was hard. It with was one had brothers? braids, one dark skin. But yeah, so yeah, nigga, no, they from Chicago. Some twins? Yes, they not twins. Oh. One had braids, brown skin, and one dark skin, short. Mm, Chicago like, artist. It was Chicago. It was a group. Do or die. Or something no, or? Chicago niggas, man. Is oh back man, in the day shit. Yeah, not that far back in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're going we gonna to bring Wolf in. Tell Wolf to get the topic so we can do it when we, you know what I mean? She'll sit next to Flacco, though. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, but she got to come with the, well, I'm, damn, I'm on camera. Claudia is being uh, uh, unprofessional. She could have clearly just texted me. She's the executive producer, man. You feel me? You feel me? She's making, yeah. you feel me? You know, not, like close on the fly. Not today. She's doing bad. There's no caviar. We're taking her name. She's no longer mm-hmm. caviar claw. Who is it? It's opportunity knocking. Open the door. Hi, my name is Troy Ave, and I'm a successful self-made business owner. If you have a product or service that you'd like to promote on our show, hit the contact info below. But please, make sure it's dope, because unlike most, I ain't feeding my people no bullshit. He's not DCG? No. Man, it's a group from Chicago. Was they famous? Yes, they was, they was big. One with name Count. My phone oh, number? L.E.P. L.E.P. Bogus Boys. Oh, L.E.P. Yeah. Bogus Boys. Shout out to uh, them boys. Bro. Bogus Boys official? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Bogus Boys official? Yeah, they most certainly were. Ah, uh, yeah. I fuck with... I'm, they, I, they, they used to confuse the Milwaukee Bogus Boys with them niggas. Oh, it was two sets of Bogus Boys. It was some niggas in Milwaukee. I like, when, I like when I yeah, ask about niggas and niggas be like... Down, yeah, they, they was official. They was more reckless. Like they that. CEO was super official. Yeah, them niggas. Yeah, were. see? I like that. I like when niggas be like, yeah, they was official. I remember a nigga from... um. A nigga from Memphis, like he would, he would keep me up to date with all the shit happening with Dolph and shit, like all all the time. And um, the nigga like when Dolph got killed, he's reaching out and he was like, "Yo," he was just keep me up to date. And I was like, "Damn, why this nigga tell me about a bunch of Dolph shit?" You know, like I fuck with Dolph, like nigga, I shed a tear when that nigga died. Of course, and I don't be giving a fuck when niggas die or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, the nigga was like, "Nigga, I ain't gonna front. You know why? Why we fuck? Why I fuck with you, nigga?" I said, "Why?" He said, "Man." One day we was in the barber shop, and and nigga was talking some music shit. Nigga Dolph came in, and you know niggas always gonna ask a nigga about rap, about some music shit. And nigga Dolph was like, man, nah, you know they like, yo, who you met? Who ah, uh, who's real nigga? He said, man, that nigga Troy I have a real nigga, man. And he started talking blah blah blah. This when I was going through all my my shit, and then nigga said, he said, nigga, every nigga in that barber shop fuck with you since then. You know what I'm saying? Cool. So I said that to say, like, I fuck with Count. I don't know the other nigga with the braids. Cool. Yeah, but when you tell me, yeah, the bogus boys real niggas, I'm like, ah, right, it, it made me feel yeah. good. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But who's especially the bitch? Count, especially count. Who's the bitch ass niggas though? Because we going you talking about everybody yeah, else. All I said, Twister's uh, a bitch ass nigga. It gotta be five. 
Yeah, bro. He you, made me sit here and think hot. about okay, five. Yeah, I had rappers that I, I grew up that I like. Can't you know, put a bunch of cool, man. Like, one, up, one, up, one of them was Hell Real out here. Okay, Hell Real. Man, me and my nigga, we made, we made a lot of money listening to a lot of Hell Real mm-hmm. mixtapes and all that. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's for me to live to see niggas treat them the way they did them in New York, beating on them and... Just dragged out and them. Now he ain't got, got a no bitch money. for that though. Like he just like, what am I? Yeah, he just a victim. So <laughs> yeah, that yeah, shit. Like, niggas out no, number. That's a victim, nigga man. Shit though, because I'm like, you know, all I listen to real. I'm like, damn, nigga tried to do. I, I know I'm about to hear a gun. My gun go off or something. Mm-hmm. Man, I mean, I felt the same way when Gucci Man and Jeezy had the battle. I said, man, nigga, maybe I'm just a dummy and down to crash out. But if I'm Jeezy, nigga, I don't give a fuck with money with Asian wife Lava I got, nigga. Night, I'm gonna. It's gonna be at least an attempted murder on Gucci Man on that stage. Nah, it's wild. the end of verses. Mm-hmm. We can do all the rapping as soon as long as you. I hear that dinner, 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 mm-hmm. and you start to go sing that fucking song. Um, what's the name of the song? The uh, go uh, dig your partner up, nigga. Yeah. That he won't say shit, That's nigga. Yeah, that, shit, that shit was hard. Man down. The that truth. Hard. Man mm-hmm. down, nigga. Mm-hmm. Don't perform. Have respect. Don't perform that. We shouldn't even be doing the verses together. Well, hold on. According remember, to the streets. The nigga told him on stage, nigga, I told you I was going to be all the way. He said it. Of like, course. He said it like, nigga, I fuck with Gucci, man. I'll let you know, nigga, I'm doing this song. Uh, that, that shit wouldn't happen. It'd have been, like, it'd have been a lot of, yeah, my nigga, come on, let's do I, the sound check. I had check. the pleasure to be and around both of them along the years, and Gucci most definitely. Is way more monstrous than Jeezy. Yeah, there you go. Little J. Shout out to Kinky B. Wait, Shout out to Kinky B. Though? Kinky B is the real nigga. Gucci That's really, a fact. Gucci though. A real Kinky though. B, the he real really nigga in Miami, lighting it off. And how you real street nigga? Because he really was getting to it. Nigga, look at what look at what he been through. He, he, yeah, he his walked story. to jail. Yeah. He, nigga, you know he was not only going against Jeezy, but the whole BMF because that was behind him. Yeah. One man army. So he went to jail, lied about killing a nigga, made us think he was tough. Come out, and now we found out he. He did. His brother kill, no, he uh-uh. did kill niggas, and he killed niggas who was coming to. I, his this brother was, killed niggas, not him though. Hold on. Yeah, go, yeah. Flacco, the only one, Flacco, yeah. Flacco was the only one running around saying this shit. Gucci so I don't know. Used to rob niggas. Yeah, Gucci oh. man. Like, finesse bare niggas face in Atlanta. This story is like, zone six. Ain't even his told. brother he killed oh, that nigga. That Gucci and Gucci lied about the body. And look, and let me let me tell you what's more gangster about it, right? Hey, did he say his brother did it? Man, that nigga Gucci showed up to Jeezy's birthday party, my nigga. If he didn't say but his brother did it, you saying he did? With the, I mean, with the full jail. fifth. Yeah. With, the, with the shit on, all that shit. Yeah. So look, playing with Gucci, this, this, this some gangster shit. This is what I look at. Like, okay. sometimes it ain't the thing a nigga do, Pose. Mm-hmm. It's how you do it, right? So anybody could kill a nigga. Mm-hmm. I think you more gangster than when you kill niggas that's attacking you. Mm-hmm. You could start a problem that like you got the gun on you, argue sure. a nigga, well, fuck you said nigga, and kill him. That's not gangster. Okay. If a nigga come at you and you kill a nigga, defending well, yourself, you whatever... Kill? That's gangster. I mean, my, my, my double murder, the two people that died, died with guns in their hands. As, as they should. Yeah. And I and I hope you laughed about it when you did it. I would enjoy it. I, I mean, I, 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 all the niggas that passed yo, fuck with me, I laugh man. over it. I don't I give mean, no of fuck. course. I mean, I sleep some people, they be, um, when I'm on in there having these, like on Say Cheese or No Jump on my interviews, people, oh man, you shouldn't talk about bodies. Nigga, I celebrate that, nigga, because they was trying to take my life. I wouldn't should. be here if I just was taking bodies on some bogus shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'd be gone. I had a capital murder, I was facing a death penalty. Mm, a I double homie, niggas shot kidnapped me. All the way to trial, yeah. They, they didn't try to kidnap me. How how the fuck? Like mind blowing. Wait, 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 wait. Mind blowing. It was like four hundred pounds. How niggas kidnap you? Gunpoint, nigga. <laughs> They say guns. get your fat ass in the car, nigga. Yeah, that's great. Fuck, oh, fuck you, mean, nigga. <laughs> nah, the, 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 the two people that's dead on my. The two, it was a big ass Lincoln uh, town car. Fit, uh, four hundred oh, yeah, pounds yeah. in the vehicle, man. It happened in the car I, I, discreetly at that. No, right? no, Troy. Look, it happened in the car. I drove with the dead body. You know, I rode with the devil. All I seen rigor mortis. I seen the body stand up after hit the gas and take me with him to crash. And oh, the to car was me. driving when you hit the niggas. Yeah, because it was like at that split second. This is where my self defense come in because I, I was giving them idle time. I I, I slipped my whoop out of here out of my sleeve like yeah. bam three eighty tours. Now Wait, I'm like this in the whoa, back whoa, seat. You got to go from the beginning because I want to uh, know what position you was sitting at in the car. I bet. So, so when I think of a kidnapping, I think of if it's a nigga driving, a nigga sitting next to him with the joint. Now check this out. Exactly. Not exactly. But these niggas were so monstrous. Mind you, I was seventeen years old. They mm. was 37, 38. They had just got out the joint. That's they, never that's never they, gangster. They, Whenever yeah, I hear thought, about that, that's they never thought, gangster. They thought they was just overly powerful. I was a shorty getting to it. You probably can relate, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and I, and I wasn't though. fucking with the older niggas. Yep. So I respect mm-hmm. all my young niggas that come from Chicago. We, mm-hmm. I, I, we come from the era like, oh, our older niggas was already in jail. I ain't trying to hear nothing nobody else talking about. Mm-hmm. But they had came home, broke fucked up, and um, I, 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 I happily had, you know what I'm saying? Was yeah, straight. doing your thing, yeah. Motherfuckers come get it from me. So bam, I gave them something. They went away for days, came back talking
and they couldn't produce it. So they wound up coming in the building late at night because I used to be a fat ass greedy nigga. So I stayed in the building all night by myself, no security. I'm not paying nobody to help do nothing. Everything I do about myself. Yeah. That's why I didn't have any rappies, nobody to tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't have that privilege. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. By myself. So they, you know, niggas coming to building the first night with the with the bullshit. They get walked up out of there by the security. Big ass shotgun. My man, like, see the shit. Like they they pulling guns out on me the first night. So I'm like, damn. So, Wait, so they came to rob you and kidnap you Because, man, this conversation been going on. Like, man, we about to get over to this. I'm, man, if y'all can't Oh, they bring talking the shit gangster back. shit over the phone. Yeah, you can't bring the shit back because I'm like this. I was a businessman. I, you know, I got right. gangster shit all around me. I, ain't, I, I already know it's, what's in me. Right. It's so, just like, bro, just come get you. Come. So for the people that don't understand, they, they came and they grabbed some work from you. They wanted to get put on. They they bought the work. They paid their money for it. Yeah. And then you you put them on, you gave them some work, and then they came back to you with the story, which often happened with niggas. Yeah, Yo, that bullshit. shit wasn't right. And what they was looking for them to do is be like, all right, well, I'll give y'all some extra shit or I'll give y'all y'all bread without no return. What he did as a businessman is say, okay, no problem, which don't really happen in the street. You ain't returning the work that's already cooked. Or I don't know what it was that you sold them. But he said, you know what? Bring it back to me. I'll give y'all niggas the bread. You know what I'm saying? Which, is, which shows integrity and being a stand-up nigga. What they didn't do, did which which really happened? I seen this happen time and time. Them niggas really sold the work and was coming to pull a move because they was fucked up. So now they couldn't produce the work to him. That he said, "Bring back, I get your money." So now it became a problem, and they told you every other excuse except for why they don't have your work. All the way to the frustration of uh, nigga, fuck all that shit. Oh, yeah, like you know yo, what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's a go to nigga move. So fuck like, all that shit. What do you mean? Like, it's like walk, fuck they all walked, the business. They walked me out the building. See, this is oh, my only fault. They walked me out the building the first night. My man caught him out the out the window. Damn, what y'all doing down there? Oh, they walked you out with the joints. Yeah. Then they like, oh, they, I'm like, see, they like. Then I swear to God, Troy, nigga looked at me and told me, hey, look, one of us gonna die tomorrow, nigga. So them and niggas I said, came. Damn, and I and I was still. I don't know if I was a, oh some flaco pussy boy shit, but yeah. I I really didn't want to smoke. Now the, right. it's a nigga in the window with something that was gonna knock everything down. Mm-hmm. But I'm just like, man, y'all so y'all he, tripping. Just so he the backed the back. joint out. On them, Man, what, out the window. What y'all down there doing? While they was walking you out with a joint on you. I'm like this. It's only th- three stories up. So they got the third story window like this. So he yeah. down there. Got this motherfucker so long out. Damn it. Like, what? what you, oh. My fault, oh, it's all good. And nigga look back at me and told me, tomorrow when us down. Man, them niggas deserve to so, die. No, no. They Listen, the judge, the judge said it. That was so an amateur move. They made a dumbass move, even though my, my guilt was, his. I was reason why I was in jail. Mind you, I had my lawyer come at, to the jail when I got locked up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So. It was it was more or less uh what I'm trying to say, uh But nigga, you don't pre warn no nigga and tell him you gonna kill him? Yeah, see, I that, wanna know how a nigga tell that. you he gonna you one of us gonna die tomorrow and then they then, still then, find then, you well, in the well, same place. Troy was mm-hmm. being greedy. I'm like, man, fuck that shit. Cause I'm knowing like we got S we uh, you ain't coming over here really doing nothing to me. Yeah. But it's like the next night, it's like bam, it's a banging night. How I, not before let's remember pause that the next night was a banging night. How did they get up on you? Because my thing, which they I was old, from over there, they walked in the building. But no, I motherfuckers didn't know there's no bullshit. But did y'all have conversations about them being on bullshit before that? Man, no. Nah, it was just it, it was just to me, you know, I was staying in one stands, like, man, just whenever y'all do that, holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to that. Yeah, I got to not even answering the phone. Like, man, this is when y'all got it. You know, I'm in the building. Come on. So I guess it was the frustration then that first night happened and bam, he told me that, bam, I'm in the building the second night. My little homie them had just left me. They like, maybe about to go in. I'm like, in a minute. I was trying to, I ain't gonna lie, I was trying to, I was uh trying to make up to 2,000 a day. So I was like, I'm almost right. there. So I'm like, nope, I'm just I, I know that feeling like, like nigga, I'm gonna stay in, you know, grind out. Four, yeah, between greedy, Between that four and six in the morning yeah, rush, yep. you know what I'm saying? My first get ready to go to work, I was something dope. So it was like, yep. I'm gonna catch it, you know what I'm saying? And them niggas caught me, you know what I'm saying? They, they must have watched everybody lay out, the, all type of shit. So it's, it's like a little hype that lived in one of the buildings. So I just be in the stairwell. I just knock on the door and I'm going to go in and I use the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. like this night, it's like, bam, she had just closed the door. And it's like, soon she closed the door, they like opened the door. So it was one of them. Now, they, these are some real little kidnapping. Yeah. Like they, they weren't no jokes. You know what I'm saying? They just thought, I, they underestimated a shorty. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So it's like, bam, they done got back in the building. And when I see them, I'm like, come on, man, what the fuck? What, what part of Chicago is this? The South Side. The South, it's just, the South Side would be considered like where Brooklyn is, like the most. Yeah, the most treacherous. All right. Yeah. So in in that in them times, Chicago was wild as fuck yeah, already, uh, right? Ninety seven. Yeah. Okay. Shit was it's wild as fuck. Yeah, so so it's you say off, you yeah. had the joint in here yeah, I because still got, I still got the scar on my arm because I had it taped on me so uh, like hard, and I had, when I pulled off, it, it left a long ass scar right there. On me. Yeah. It cut me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you mean. I so, got you know they the had my DNA in the car and all types of shit. So one, no, I didn't do it. It, 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 was, it was never that. 
It so, was never that. So, boom, just, just so niggas don't really know the story. Um, So, you had a joint in there, and that was a <laughs> slick move that he did because sometimes the D's, well, I know in New York, the D's, they would... Mm-hmm. They ain't trying to hop out on Winter you every time. time. The D's might just do bullshit and that's com- crazy. completely illegal. Mm-hmm. The D be like, nigga, sh- you ain't got nothing to show me your pull shirt. Your, and your, be like, your coat up. I ain't got nothing. You they know what I mean? Way, and you can get away with that. Yeah. I ain't got nothing. Pull your shit up. I ain't got nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But exactly. the whole time, he had his shit in there. Yeah, I don't know, big ass, it. like, triple fat goose and shit. That bitch mm. was all the way in Yo, there. That remind me of my my man, um, my man uh, uh, Zell, or D- uh, Dell, whatever. I, I used to work with the nigga. Mm. Funny story, I was fighting a gun case, so I had to get a job real quick. And I worked Ambulette. I worked Ambulette for like three weeks where you pick up the people, put them in a the van, take them to the hospital, whatever. Mm, okay. And and he was like a he was like a, a drug dealer from the 80s and shit or whatever. And he, mm. and he blew all the bread. He was working Ambulette. But whatever. But the nigga told me he was a fat nigga. Mm-hmm. And the nigga was like, man, nigga, he got all the stories of all the gangster Brooklyn niggas from before. Like, he was one of them in that mix. Okay. And nigga said, man, one time, nigga, I'm walking down the block. Nigga, I had two guns on me. Boom, boom. He said, I, I had two guns because I just went to go pick up some work. He said, I'm, wa- I'm walking down the block. Nigga, the D's pull up on me. Nigga, like, I, they pulling up slow. He said, nigga, I just start break dancing like I'm a stupid nigga in the street. Yeah. <laughs> he, said, he said, I threw them niggas off. They didn't look like, look at this dumb fat nigga. It just drove off or whatever. Not so I get, what you, nah, I right. get what you saying. Yeah, so now so, they grab you. Yeah, they, so they, they walk me out the building again. I one got, uh, they came with the very, same guns. They came with the same very, guns. You already know you've been a part of the case. It's very specific. The, the, remind you, somebody was in the scene this, the day before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So these guns could get described. They had a, a revolver. An automatic, a nine and a thirty-eight. Why didn't you tell so, that nigga bust the upstairs door? No, nigga, be on still, point. They whispered no, to me they, they coming no, back. No, because because it's like it's like they ain't no <laughs> shit. It was like seventeen. You're like, how I show these things, man? They yeah. got no shit, bro. They bring their dumb ass over here. They want to right, like, ignorant you know shit, like feeling invincible type. I'm shit. getting money. I'm trying to get to my my quota. I'm not yeah. even really think. I'm really, I'm really being naive to how yeah. serious they is. You know That's what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, man, they playing. They think I'm gonna just get them something, bro. Get the fuck right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? So, bam, they got back up on me. So this time it's like it's like man, what the fuck do y'all want? Now I'm I'm damn near aggressive. Like what the fuck is up? They mm-hmm. up them, man. Come on, man. Motherfuckers ain't playing. You heard what I said? So I thought they was about to shoot me right there. So God, I, that's crazy. I'm trying to call. I'm trying to hit the door for the little hype bitch. Open the door. Like damn, hit the door. Like come yeah, see yeah. this shit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody comes to the door. They man, come the fuck on. Now they're aggressive this night. Each time, be, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Each time make noise, make a scene. I'm thinking like somebody gonna see this. He walk me through this lane. They gonna motherfucker gonna see. I'm like, you thought the right, nigga was gonna be up there on the third floor like, again? All right. I'm just like got my hands up because they like yeah, like you want some? Put your hands up. Yeah. Like, now they on some. Check check me down and everything. I was tall and bigger than them. I'm like this. Like, yeah, just did this. Like damn. Oh, bro, so these is these is two little grimy, dirty niggas not getting no money. I'm trying to make that that out. I'm like, damn, what the fuck going on? Them niggas starving. Coming with us. Now I'm thinking like, go ahead, take the little bread. Man, y'all, I'm coming with y'all. The fuck you, me. I'm coming with y'all. Yeah, they walk me to their car, and I'm like, mm-hmm. man, now what the fuck is this goofy ass? Like, like damn, like I'm steady telling, like, man, go on about y'all way, bro. Y'all got that little man, go on about yeah. y'all way. I ain't gonna lie, hey and Troy, walk me, put me in that car. Now their back was turned when you shot them. I shot him in the back of their heads. As you so, fucking should, nigga. Well, I'll shoot a nigga in their back in a minute. Got, the passenger got shot no. in the back of the head five times. The driver got shot in the back of the head three times. Nigga, my mom's always so told me. No. Nigga, my mom's always told you know me what? it's the element of law, surprise. I'm in the law book. you absolutely right. This is what I fought. This is why I'm fighting the death penalty. That's why I had to fight the death penalty. Because it was a law. Anything shot behind the temple can't be claimed as uh, self-defense. But I feel like that's... I could have man- got a voluntary manslaughter. <laughs> but, but I took him to trial. I don't want no time. And I, I got on the stand and I told my story exactly how I'm telling y'all what right, happened. Wait, right. I had a jury. Now, people may say the people may say though again. Absolutely. Now look, folks, the dumb niggas may say I don't give a fuck if they try to kidnap you. I don't give a fuck if they did. You don't tell them folks nothing, right? Shit. You don't hop on those stand and tell let them. Me, folks, let me hey, tell bro, you what I did. These niggas kidnapped me them. and uplit no, on me, so me I killed you, them. Let me explain to them because yeah. they probably ain't killed nobody or did none of this <laughs> shit. Mm-hmm. So let me tell you what I did because I was trained properly. So when they, the, they they came and got me after they found their bodies the next day, they went to mm-hmm. the girl, to the dude, how, to the house, and they oh, showed so you the, went bo- on run. the body. The, yeah, the bodies were so exploded, you know what I'm saying? And it was mm-hmm. a car crash. Their bodies was obliterated. So they, they were skinny niggas. Did you get fucked the, up in a car fat. crash? Yeah, you know, I was fucked up leg a little bit. So you limped away? Lost my bang and everything. They, they had the banger and I got cut. So I'm like, damn, they got how my How you DNA. lost the blick and you Nigga, the car was total. It was a Lincoln Town car. It was driving actively. They got smashed in the backseat where I had to... 
get out, like, like you got about the window or the door. Yeah, like the door. The door was like where it's open from the hit. So it's like nigga I'm, think he Liam Nelson. And or shout out to Al West. And Joe I ain't never gonna disrespect Al West because it happened on the west side. They took me from the south side all the way to the west side to a dark alley where it all cost and Jackson. I don't know all the west side. They gonna be like yeah. Mm. Right so they was gonna leave you. Yeah, they was trying to leave me. They was asking for money. They was trying to talk about my brother. They was asking me a lot of shit to where uh, I was trying to get around. Like what? Why is they going so hard for this little shit? Why, what the fuck? So it was a bigger thing. It was it was like, nah, we gonna need this for you. For like, they gonna have to hit us. You know what I'm saying? I had a rich brother. Like you know some kidnapping type shit. Yeah, so I'm just. Like, I mean, like he's got he's got the, ransom. He's got to be the dumbest niggas. I'm the most I, I swear, niggas ever. Mm -hmm. I swear, I'm not gonna tell like the kids. Like I'm just some super gang. I'm, I'm telling them like, man, let me out of here, man. Like fight whatever y'all want, motherfucker, get y'all some bread, put y'all on, whatever, man. Y'all tripping, man. Like right. get the fuck on. So and you they, felt whole it was time like they were zooted up or something. Or something. They was just like, you know what? Fuck all this. Smoking shit over with. We already told you that. Yeah, yeah. I'm damn. So I'm steady like. These are senseless niggas that need to go back to jail because you're doing dumb shit. Dumb this, shit. This man trying to make a business decision with man, you. Dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? And you, they like the nigga in the um, paid in full, the nigga with no... Uh, Even the judge said, he like, if you ever come no back and you're going to jail shit. for the rest of your life, don't worry about it. He like, because you selling drugs and we, uh, we don't, we're not in the business of protecting and, drugs. And you had drugs. to tell him you were selling drugs I too. To tell, you know, I, my, my lawyer met me at the police station. Yeah, that's So it wasn't no talking to me without that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. With my lawyer, yeah, sit down. This is what happened. So it's you self defense. So you. So the only way we could go in it. So are they both in the front of the car when it's happen? Yeah, when it's they're happening? in the front seat. And nobody's in the back seat with you. Nope. You're not tied up, obviously. No. Nah. What nigga like me? Even if I didn't have a gun, I'd put a nigga in the head. Nah, but remember, I, they still had their guns. And dude, now this, it's real specific shit in my case. It ain't. I ain't. It is. It's body angles, it's ballistic yeah, reports, of course. you know what I'm saying, that yeah. proves That's everything I'm saying. That's what people don't realize about a real yeah, case. Yeah, I can say all type of wild shit, but the ballistic reports. So about, the, the, the passenger the front seat. like this. The whole time. But, the whole time. But he's, but he's a dumb nigga like most niggas. Now, that, he was a nigga that was, I felt sorry for the passenger because he went from around and he ain't know nothing about man, none of that, that shit. Nigga. He got, he got hmm. brought, he was a, a jailhouse friend. That's all bringing right. niggas from you meet in jail yep. around your neighborhood, all that. When well, you meet niggas in jail, they ain't in for a reason. They yeah. get it, probably not too good at doing crimes. I've yeah, met man. a lot of niggas. There's some good niggas in jail that That's I know. Right. I can't front. Stupid but most niggas, you be like, but but at the same time, as we know, most people ain't successful because they don't have follow through. And and I'm going to say that uh, kidnapper wasn't su successful because not, not only <laughs> having follow through, he probably took his eye on or put his Bro, eye on the road. You know, the truck, 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 it was, like, yeah. Yeah. it was like this, and they was trying to find this certain dark alley. Yeah. And the driver, he's like, where that motherfucker at? Maybe I put And that nigga said, nigga, nah, I, ain't play. I know you was telling me that shit. Play. Every time nigga turn around, I ain't play. nigga got a pattern. Every time he turned around. It, was like, it wasn't even like that. I ain't gonna lie. It was just like, I don't know if it's God or whatever. It was just like now. And I just ain't hesitant. So, how you get the shit from here to. What kind of gun was it? It was a 380 Taurus. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I used to have it through a silver with, with, with a black handle. With black taluses in it. So, you know, black taluses? The bullets. Okay. You know, they, they explode on impact. Yeah. So it destroyed them. Like in my trial, they, the, the state tried to hit me with, with this. We we'll put the big old poster board of them dead with their brains exploding and their bodies and all that. I would have smirked, smirked in court. The judge said, get that out of here. <laughs> yeah. Like the judge, I had a judge, no mercy, cast mercy. He was giving out football numbers. But, I mean, I took a, ju I took a jury. They was kept saying, like, take a bench, take a bench. If I, the, he told me when I beat my case, I beat it on the third day of trial. You know what I'm saying? He like, if you took a bench, he like, by law, I would have had to charge you for the one guy because he didn't have his gun actually out. He like, the I would charge you a voluntary manslaughter. He like, I, I would at least get you 20 years. He like, even you ducked you, this one. Even if you seen the gun, they came and got you with it. Remember, gun. remember, it's key shit and you smart. Mm -hmm. What happened the night before the first night? Mm -hmm. They came and back. They came I had a witness. And, yep. Mm. Mm. <laughs> So your witness was going came and testified for you? Yes. Shout out to Will Kill. That's crazy. Well, William, you know Will. Yeah. That, Will Kill's a hard name, too. Shout out to Will Kill. No, no, nah, that's crazy. That's a fact. That's my best friend in the world. But that shit, you fucking life. right. Yeah, you fucking Twice. right. Twice. <laughs> oh, it's another time. No, the night before. Because mm -hmm. that could happen that night. Oh, and, and he saved I, the freedom. Yeah. Yeah, shout, shout out to Will Kill. <laughs> I ain't going to front. That's, that's some ill shit. I want to know when the crash happened. Did them niggas, Oof. like, did you hit them? Did, <laughs> they was dead already when the crash happened because rigor mortis had the, the you got to understand with them black towels, you, you know, you look them up. And when I when I hit that when I hit the the passenger, his head exploded literally like a watermelon. So did the, what the other nigga do? Or did it happen he so froze, quick? He froze. He looked back and he tried to get his gun out. He never got it out. Stupid. It, I, I would have grabbed your gun immediately. It was, it was, no. Because you, no. look, if you, Bro. if you send it back, you hit a nigga right here and he's right here out of. That shit sound real. You know what? Let me show you how they died because this is how they, 
This is ballistic reports. Niggas got left like in certain positions. I ain't gonna lie, this nigga Troy sound like a nigga from the streets. He, no, that's Troy, a fact, nigga. Troy, Troy no, 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 exactly. He, I don't even gotta even. He, trying, he, just he gonna, paint it up. He know what the fuck hey, going on. No, he, he like, painted out really, the picture without he, me. He, he, like, he was in the with the nigga. Right? 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 He's speaking to all the mistakes. He's speaking to how nigga supposed to did it. Impulsive thinking, all that shit. He a real nigga, man. Just I say this, Troy. I for that shit, I was a shorty, and I thank God for that. I feel like, just want that smart. You I know feel what like saying? if a nigga reach for their gun at that moment, you pussy because you thinking the most thing you could do is have a gun. You nigga, by the time you reach for a gun and pull factor, out to a nigga, bro. no, this, take that gun from him. And go I'm going to tell all these little thing. kids and everybody what it is. If you be the toughest niggas in the world, don't none beat the element of surprise. That's a fact. Nothing bro. in the random world. Applause. Why nothing. I can't hit that random nothing. applause. Nothing. Element of surprise. So, so, so all you niggas you, dropping you, your locations and all that dumb shit. If Flocko and Troy got me like this and that, and they like, man, we already patted them down. It's cool. And now they want to toy with me and this and that. Yep. And now to get up and I just say, bah, 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 Yeah. Bah, bah. Don't mock me, nigga. I mean, you know, I'm niggas. just saying. I, I never mock you. I never mock you. Yeah. Yeah. That's how, that's how quick it happens. these niggas shoot with their eyes closed. That's a fact. Yeah, but I ain't shooting my eyes closed. Niggas don't even be shooting like that. They don't even aim at you. I know what, what's don't, about to happen. Niggas don't even aim for Niggas it. see me come out firing. I'm putting... Nigga, I'm now switches and, and put my shit on the bottom. Really nigga, I want to aim. Fuck nah, that. It was crazy though. That that, that motherfucker ain't played that. I'm glad you did that John Wick shit, shit. and because you up close with 382, it close? ain't no. I mean, you no, know, to, to be up close and, and, and take them lies like that though, it do something to you still though. It's like it don't. It ain't all just like I'm a kill. I'm walking around ain't. this bitch, nigga. What? It still do something to you. See, I seen souls leave niggas. Fuck niggas. If you ain't ever witnessed rigor mortis, to me, you ain't no real killer. I mean, you ain't really standing around to see what really happened to the body. You know what I'm saying? What does GIGPS mean to me? I mean, God is getting the paper straight. You feel me? Like, I'm super blessed. I'm blessed with good health, good energy that I give and receive. And that just comes from me really being a genuinely good person. It's like the love outweighs any negativity that may come my way. And that's how I'm able to go through so much and come out stronger every time. You feel me? I pray a lot, not just only for myself, but for others. And with that in mind, I designed these clothes, really thinking about peace and comfortability because that's really two of the main things that I personally want out of life. I'm here to motivate, spread love, and destroy hate. I'm Troy Ave. God is great and the paper's straight. So Rigor Mortis took me on a drive though. It's all in my yeah, car because yeah, because he turned. I mean, bam, bam, bam. So he gone. He twisted. He got his gun like this. He died like this with his head. I, I, see, I was gonna ask he you if like you if you heard that. That's what really got uh, me self defense. After you hit him, if you heard like, oh, but but it was too quick because it was quick. Not on the first one. Yeah. The first one. That third one because he got hit all five times simultaneously. So down wait, his head. the the first nigga because I'm thinking like how does nigga shot one nigga. Three times and then five times. Because oh, if it was me, I'd have been like, first boom, boom, I would have tried to do it real quick. The first, what made you go the boom, element, boom, boom? A surprise, and then, nigga. When I'm, man. Ma, 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 ma. Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> Can you imagine driving a car and the nigga you kidnap you what just you hit mean? shots? I'm now, thinking, nigga, is that police? Is it the <laughs> op shooting at us? You don't know what's, what's going, going on. on? Mm -hmm. This is crazy. We, nah, we don't got fine. no gun. My man got, he <laughs> thought, he probably thought, you know what I what I said? I said in court, he thought that his homie killed me. Yeah, oh, that's why I probably, like, he like, nigga, that's what why the fuck he got you stuck. doing? That's he the died, money. He died just like you said, stiff. And then his body stood up in the Lincoln and just, his, no. his head got stuck and his foot hit the gas. And we smashed into a gray stone. The car, the skin grade, all the way to my knees. That's how I know God with me all the time. Nigga, I've been shot up head to toe, nigga, from my from right here all the way down my and you know I'm moving through ain't nothing wrong. Mm, Bless. Mm, that's a fact. Kenny, right. Kenny's shot. went out. Shit, I was on dollars and six bucks, goddammit. Mm. I mean, the nurse gave me a kidney. You know what I'm saying? Trey, Bless. You, spoke, you spoke to Bless. some shit though that I know that shit happened everywhere. Remember how you said the niggas came and grabbed, they wanted to get the dope and then they sold it, come back and bust the move? Yes. So look, mm. where I'm from, this is what niggas do when they they'll build you up. I don't give a fuck what you selling. Niggas like they'll come grab two pounds from you. Mm. Then come back and hit you with another two. Then they go get on some police and shit. Then they gonna ask you like, hey bro, what you want for like 10 to 20 of them motherfuckers? Wow. And now you comfortable with the nigga. So now they build you up. I call you for that 20 nigga your life. Take done. your shit. You're done. <laughs> they take mm. all that shit. Mm, they yeah, build you up. And, and guess what? They build you up with other niggas' money that need the weed because everybody middleman. That's old niggas school like, robbery. Got some smoke there. Build you up like you need some smoke, but you don't yep. fuck with these niggas. Yeah, I know. I'm, I know middleman. Like. I'm building this nigga up right here. Half a pound, pound, two. So true. Then asking for a number for twenty. 
As soon as he tell me the number, I said, bro, let me grab the motherfucker. And, and then, I had a money only, like, bro, come and here. And the trust there. And a nigga that's, a nigga that's, so uh, they do that where I'm from. Like, somebody, they, 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 they do that shit in, in, in New York too, but a person that's not, only niggas that's not really hustlers would do that because a real hustler is going to understand, like, nigga, that one lick is nothing. To, vi- to me, work yeah, is worth hustler. more than money. But listen. I'd rather Troy, have... Troy. I'd rather have 50000 in work than 50000 in cash any oh, day. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? another thing that niggas do that's wrong. Niggas keep meeting you in the same areas. So niggas be like, I know this nigga house somewhere around. Niggas get comfortable. Keep having me meet Niggas got to be comfortable. Niggas, oh, niggas get comfortable. 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 Niggas but we gonna ride later on. We gonna come around this area and see if we see that car. And guess what? It be parked outside a little bitch house. A nigga fucking with them same two, two, three Goofy. bitches he dealing with. Leaving to work Goofy. over there. Same he trusts her so much. She got the Goofy. money. Keep, she got the work. He don't care about her too much. You keep telling nigga meet you on fifty fourth at the gas station every time. Nigga, nigga I ain't gonna lie. Oh man. First of all, you being lazy, nigga. Yeah. You ain't you, nigga. I'm on sixty third. Nigga, meet me on twelfth, nigga. Yep. Downtown, <laughs> far as fuck, nigga. I drive thirty. And by the met niggas in Boston Market. Cause you would think I'm down. But I did the lazy shit too at the same. Time, niggas but I also met niggas in Boston Market. Like it, like it, it's crazy. You just get comfortable. You was a sophisticated nigga. Yeah, yeah. all good. Yeah, you at Boston Market, yeah, bro. Nigga, like, no, no, I did the I'm gas station bad. and shit. <laughs> but in Boston Market, nigga, we I'm buying some chicken. You buying some <laughs> yes, chicken, sir, nigga? Right. Here, you take yes, it and sir. leave. Mm-hmm. I got a nigga book me in Boston Market. Like not like book me with no junk, but like finesse me out of some work. Mm-hmm. Jumped in the car. The work was fake and like. Shit fuck me over, but it happens with the game. Of course. But that's mm-hmm. crazy because you took you took like yeah. you ever be talking sometimes and like a nigga be like, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't do no last time I did like some sold some jokes was I came home from jail, I was fucked up on the paper side mm-hmm. and I had to make a move and like I, I felt I ain't gonna lie, I felt ashamed at the shit because I had already become a successful rapper in my own right. Mm-hmm. And like I remember being like, Man, if this shit happened, I'm not touching no more work. Nothing mm-hmm. like gave the little last shit I had away. Like nigga, this shit is working. Mm-hmm. And I went to jail. I got mad bills, all kind of mm-hmm. shit. And I had to. It was like a little two brick flip just to get some bread. Real, fuck it. And I was. I remember thinking, nigga, if you get caught out on you on half a million dollar bail, not that bullshit bail where it's ten percent. Like nigga, mm-hmm. your real money, a surety bail, what they call it. Mm-hmm. And you get caught, nigga. You gonna be the biggest headline. Troy Advocates caught selling drugs. On an ankle monitor, oh, dumbest nigga ever. The dumbest nigga. Yeah, yeah. They was the already calling ever. me Cheddar Bob, thinking I shot myself, cause yeah. I never came out and said, "No, this nigga shot me." They say, they the niggas saying I shot myself, the public saying I shot yeah. myself, saying I killed my man. Yeah. So Cheddar Bob get caught selling drugs, I'd have been disappointed. You would have had like a like, hundred YouTube videos about you. That's a fact. Yeah. Bro, he was caught selling bricks while on. On five thousand dollar bill, <laughs> and all the niggas who said a murder, oh, all oh, the niggas oh, who said I never oh. sold bricks would be like, oh, he dumb, he really did that, he's stupid. Just like all the Man. niggas who say, oh, he ain't on no gangster shit, oh, he's stupid, he shoot a club, look at him, he's a dummy. Yeah, nigga, this what Man. this what Man, we listen. talking about? Yeah. He would have been just another Fetty Wap. That's it, just another, another Fetty, Fetty Wap. Wap. Nah, Fetty Wap, Fetty Wap, 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 the the cheers is is way out outweigh the booze. The love outweigh the hate. Of course. Like it's just it's just the niggas that's boisterous. Of course. It could be all of us swimming, doing laps in the in Antigua in the water yeah. or in Aruba or Curacao chilling, having a good old time. Of course. It could be it could be a hundred of us on vacation. Mm. Beautiful bitches, everybody swimming, having fun on the yacht. Mm. Everybody's attention is gonna turn to the nigga that's flapping around drowning. Cause they the loudest ones, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just like looking at your comments and everybody's saying good <laughs> shit, and there's one nigga fuck you, pussy. You gonna look at that and want to reply, man? That's the only one you want to reply to, but all the positive shit you say. Let me ask you, you look right past. It's like, like it's a- <laughs> hey Troy, you ever noticed though the niggas that's, that's the niggas that's baby boy? I'm filming. I call you right back, all right? The niggas. Okay, y'all playing a new joint. All right, come on. I don't want it to copyright on me. I call y'all later on. I want. You ever notice that the niggas that always be, pick up for the, the kids? Niggas that be saying you're like not gangster and shit, they be all be civilians. 
That's a fact. The civilians and talk they, about the most street shit. Like, it be the niggas that ain't never been in the streets. You talk about can't the most relate. street. And you they can't relate yep. to half of the shit a nigga been through. They wouldn't know or understand. That's why I be knowing when them comments, man, ain't no, ain't no real niggas or street niggas on no internet arguing with no nigga no comments. No, 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 no. That's I'll a lie. I read no, comments. I read comments for straight no. comedy. No. A no real nigga is never gonna initiate an argu argument. A street nigga is the nigga who do the most internet shit no. ever. Nah. Uh, no, no, but, but a real but nigga. My street niggas. Those are the nigga. niggas that y'all consider street niggas. Yeah, you bro. could be. Those ain't real street niggas. But we we all know that it's just you could be like a street this. nigga ain't and no not be a real nigga. You no threat. Do no comments. It's all type. That's all I tell people. It's all type of niggas in the streets. It's fact. It's bad niggas in the streets that live it. Real niggas in the streets. Like it's subjective though. But street niggas. Do the most internet games. Street niggas is on the internet, self snitching, self incriminating, doing the most, hating. I, so I yeah. think the civilians is mad that the street niggas that came and took their lane niggas, a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, no, I, I think but, the, I think the civilians are upset. Like and <laughs> yes, Clubhouse. <laughs> it's fifty and sixty year olds who are, who are on Clubhouse, right? Politicking, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a great segue. Nah, that, that, we, I'm telling you, we gonna we come in. We gonna come in with the queen of Clubhouse and the queen of the trenches, Queen Wolf. We'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll be we'll, we'll be right back, but I definitely think with with when times change, yeah. I think it ain't no board. I don't. I I be giving a fuck about the streets just because of people coming up, and I know I got kids. God forbid my kids go to the street, but like it's certain rules and shit, and and shit changing. There's no board to govern mm -hmm. anything or say shit. So mm -hmm. the same way that they went from calling black people colored people to fucking black to African American rules in the street need to change and apply because now we can't go saying a nigga can't wave a flag yeah I'm a there street nigga no rules I'm a street streets, nigga man. we be having we be having blank but, conversations but what I'm saying is what I'm saying is I don't want I, I don't like it when people get looked at yeah he a street nigga not mm -hmm. but the majority of people don't know yeah he's a street nigga but he's not a real nigga you know what I'm saying? Because a real nigga is never going to go on and see a nigga and initiate in a hate comment or some shit. Yeah, yeah, a street nigga shit. will, and you'll get them confused. Mm -hmm. Just like you got niggas who be having a, 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 a bunch of big chains. They might be niggas with bigger chains than me and shit, but nigga, my shit is little, but I got solitaire stones. Nigga, right. my shit is real. That shit is a bunch of fucking uh, mm -hmm. uh, clusters, mm -hmm. nigga. That ain't it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sure. But there's no way to differentiate. So, sure. uh, so that's why classes and when I say classes, mm -hmm. like, I remember telling my moms this, and, and just, like, people, they like, um, yeah, such and such has a Benz. I'm like, yeah, because my mom, she don't know about that. I'm like, it ain't about the Benz. What type of Benz? Class. Right. So that's why classes and shit. Yeah, these old niggas is from the same block, but mm -hmm. this nigga's a bum nigga that wake up, and the first thing he do is have a blunt. Mm -hmm. This nigga's a bum-ass nigga that he sleeping on a futon. This nigga is a nigga that his baby mom's living in the next what building and he don't and his kids don't got no haircut. You, you know what I'm saying? Real they real all shit. on the same block, nigga. Mm -hmm. This nigga's a nigga. They're all yeah, street niggas. He's a drug dealer. All street <laughs> niggas. He's a drug dealer, but he's selling fucking uh dimes, nigga. Yeah. This nigga has the weight. This nigga don't even have a vehicle. Mm. So but somebody oh, just classified. Campbell was him. a street nigga. Hassan, Hassan Campbell was a nigga who lets men come on his yeah. thighs. This is a street nigga. He was also a street nigga. But I want proof, man. Well, I don't know Listen, about that. Came out of the his, clip. It came out of his no his own mouth, all pun intended. So he, wait, the fact though. So he said the African bambata nutted on his thighs. Yes, and wait a and minute, bro, wait. No, what, it's bro, a fact. So when you brought up African bambata, I'm like, hey, yo, whoa, hold wait, up, Ice Cream Chuck. Whoa, 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 yeah, he said African bambata had butt sex with him and came on his thighs, and wait. they called him Thigh Son Campbell. So Thigh son. African bambata oh, stuck his dick in him multiple times. Pulled it out <laughs> as a consenting teenager. He was 16, 17, 18 Listen, throughout the years. I have to hear this from his mom. Rem, bro, Rem, what what Remy Ma it. called him? What Remy Ma called Tyson Campbell? <laughs> Bombadam's Bombadam's bottom bitch. <laughs> so why yo, shit. Yeah. yo, she shout to Remy Ma. You said you can. I hope you didn't do anything uh, or say anything about Remy Ma, man. No, I love her, bro. Okay. I love Remy, but I made a video about her and Easy the Block Captain, and since then, like, she's been like calling around for me, right? You feel me? And asking about me who. Feel me? So it's like, damn, bro. Like, I hope she's not trying to kill me. No, she can't be mad at you reporting the, the news. <laughs> Remy, she'll just shoot you. She won't kill you. you you'll, bro, you'll be okay. Bro, I love Remy. We all been shot. Listen, <laughs> we gonna shoot the commercial. <laughs> take shot. a piss break. Yes. We'll be right. We'll be right back. We got Queen Wolf coming in this motherfucker, and I know you got you got some shit to, to tell us. You got a story to tell. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying? it's a show on BT called I Got a Story to Tell. I usually don't watch. 
uh, ghetto shit like BET. I'm, I'm more BET. like a, I watch CS, CNSBC, American right. Greed. Right. I watch, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I want to. Different class. class. You feel me? Yeah, I want to. I want to educate like and that, articulate buddy. myself. Yeah. I don't. I might. I watch Power. But I like Hell billions. Nah, I like to watch billions yeah, yeah, in. Power too close to nigga shit for me, man. Yeah, I, you, you, you right. I'm you're not wrong. I'm good. Wait, Wait, power, listen, on, Empire, all that shit. If you really good. watch shit like that, names like like Bernie Madoff, all that type yeah. of shit, it just ring bells. Because that's the type of shit I was watching. That's a fact, though. Yeah. Yeah. Bernie and, Madoff, and, Ponzi and it skin. teaches you. So I advise all niggas, if you're going to do crimes, nigga, do some white-collar crimes. You'll make way more money, do way less times. Exactly. But yes, it's a fact of the show. We'll be right back. Oh, this is great, man. We got we got coast to coast to coast in the building. Hey, middle 